you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed to see god's people experience his power and his grace but number two i came with a determination in my heart um, to see to it that every long-standing issue issues that have refused to give up issues that have been there the doors are called ancient doors but that under a certain condition they can lift up their heads in one minute I like you to pray you pray about so many things but pray that every long-standing issue that has refused to bow to the name of the Lord let this be the season that it must give up over my life go ahead and pray pray all our viewers are around the world connecting by faith make sure that you are also praying every long-standing issue the Lord summons you tonight Someone is praying. Long standing issue. You bow to the name of Jesus. hallelujah hallelujah the bible says the testimony of jesus is the spirit of prophecy do you know what that means that means every time jesus is proclaimed what you are hearing is prophetic that in what you are hearing is the ability to make it happen again so if you hear that jesus healed someone in that testimony is the faith for you to connect to make it happen again if you hear that jesus restored someone i don't know about you but please let me encourage you i know that this is a house that god has so honored with his power and with testimonies but never trivialize the manifestation of the hand of god can you imagine the kind of testimonies there is none of these people here who is acting or playing some games here no you are intelligent people delivered from the hand of death delivered from the hand of failure if he did it before he can do it again If you did it before, if you did it before, he'll do it again. Save God right now. Save God right now. If you did it before, if you did it before, he'll do it again. Wave your hands to Jesus and thank him by faith. A wave offering is a real offering, just like the one you put in your envelope. A wave offering is not, you are not just, this is not some ritual. Lord, we thank you. We wave our hands to you in honor of your power 
and of your grace for in the name of Jesus Christ I pray please be seated God bless you welcome to a miracle service for the month of February our miracle services are designed to give us the platform to experience the supernatural power of God to heal to deliver and to set free to bring breakthroughs we have maintained an understanding that while we love Jesus and while our primary focus is to learn of his ways and to grow we must always give him the allowance to visit his people in remarkable ways as we would experience tonight and bring them relief bring them healings bring them salvation and so I want your heart to be open the Bible says that the Word of God was preached to them it says but they heard the word and did not mix it with faith and the word did not profit them because they didn't mix it with faith let me start tonight by appreciating everyone our global family and then all of us who are here um, I am humbled and amazed to know the things that people do all the time week in week out especially at moments like this to help people connect from around the world there are people literally who have turned their homes their churches their business places to viewing centers literally without exaggeration they just connect and allow as many people to just come in and experience Jesus it takes the Holy Spirit to move the hearts of men on that wise and for these people we are truly grateful for all that you have done and all that you are doing to help people connect to what Jesus is doing in our midst we make bold to say God is in our midst and we make bold to say he's moving mightily and that this is only the beginning of the dimensions of him we are seeing so when we invite people to come and partake of this feast it is more than just a desire to connect to a man of God or to connect to a ministry it is a communication of our love and our desperation to see the power and the grace of Jesus extended to as far a people as we can reach so I really want to appreciate everyone I also want to appreciate all our special guests we may not have the time I'm sure that um, they had been recognized earlier everyone is welcome in the name of Jesus Christ I'm just going to give us a charge there's so much to do tonight and I don't intend to keep us for too long but at the same time we're not we're trusting God and in my prayers to God especially today I asked the Lord and I said Lord please let no one situation be shifted to another miracle service let it let it end here once and for all but you see you have a role to agree with me by faith you can decide that for you miracle service of me will be your own and you can be right based on your faith but I'm sure that there's someone who came here and said today this moment I discern that this is my time and this is my season may it be so for you in Jesus name we just finished a series on the supernatural and so for those of us who are part of this vision we are not in the dark as to the fact that God is a supernatural God are we in agreement and that the supernatural was designed by God to be commonplace for every believer the supernatural is every believers heritage in Christ a life of miracles signs and wonders should be part of our heritage in fact Jesus said these signs shall follow the there's those who believe that means believers listen carefully believers are not supposed to be signless they are not supposed to be ordinary people as you move something should follow you and that whatever follows you are also messengers like we have taught 
you are not the only one preaching the signs and the miracles God is with him they say the favor of God is with him they say come and hear and learn of his God they say these signs and miracles are not just following you they are saying something so the supernatural is our heritage in Christ but miracle signs and wonders require certain spiritual atmospheres to happen this is my message now most times believers want to walk in signs and wonders believers want to walk in the miraculous believers desire to see supernatural results happen in and through their life um, but most times believers do not know that the supernatural please listen the supernatural is atmosphere dependent say after me the supernatural is atmosphere dependent that means the supernatural does not just happen in any atmosphere and with any atmosphere there is a specific atmosphere that must be created there is a combination of spiritual components that must coexist to create the atmosphere of the supernatural but that if and when that atmosphere is created then nothing restrains the hand of god from reaching his people are we together we learn from biology and we learn from agriculture that a seed does not grow in just any soil and in just any atmosphere i had the privilege of visiting a professor and visiting his farm not too long ago and i was i was remarkably amazed as they did a tour for me around that farm hectares and acres of land superior technology brought in israelis to come and design you know the whole farm and i was taken somewhere where they grow vegetables in 21 days exactly 21 days from planting to harvesting exact technology but i found out that the plants they create a greenhouse system so there is an atmosphere they simulate the best atmosphere that can make for that result are we together so i'm saying that agriculture has taught us that every atmosphere does not produce is not every atmosphere that produces the kind of miracles that we want you can carry a seed and drop it on the ground and after one year you will be surprised to meet that seed there atmospheres speak there are atmospheres that tell the plant or the, the the seed don't grow and it remains there in obedience to that atmosphere but the same atmosphere you can take the same seed to another atmosphere and you watch the miracle of growth and the miracle of resurrection is that true almost every house has something called a refrigerator what do you think the assignment of a refrigerator is it's not just to cool whatever you put there the refrigerator is a manager of atmospheres because whatever it is that you put in there especially if to preserve the, it, it is, the refrigerator is built based on a consciousness that all the bacteria and everything, they don't just act on food. They depend on an atmosphere. So the atmosphere either avoids it or slows down drastically the activities. Is that true? Atmosphere. There is an atmosphere that can turn raw food into, you call it cooked food. It's an atmosphere. When you set your food on fire and you close it, you expect something to happen. Why do you close the pot? You create an atmosphere and something happens under that atmosphere. Most believers do not understand the atmosphere factor as far as the miraculous is concerned. And so there are all kinds of assumptions. People just believe that God is in heaven. He loves us. He should move and we become disappointed because we do not understand that it takes more than just the desire of god to touch you for you to be touched there is 
the atmosphere component and this is what i want to teach you tonight there are three major components i wrote here it's just a charge that creates the atmosphere for miracles that means everywhere you see the manifestation of the miraculous and the supernatural in the life of an individual especially when you see that it is a realm it is not just an event that happens when it becomes a realm of possibility continually it means that that individual has been able to capture the components to create and to live under that atmosphere and do you know the beautiful thing about the atmosphere of the miraculous is that it does not have to remain in church here you can find the ingredients and with the mastery of a chef, you can transport that atmosphere. Not just to your house, it can live with you. You can create your own climate. My goodness. So that you become a walking, breathing, living manifestation of the supernatural. In 2005, I was on an extensive study on the miraculous and on signs and wonders and the glory of God particularly. And I began to study the life of the Jews because they had such profound manifestations of the glory of God as recorded in scripture, especially the Old Testament. I wanted to study what they were taught that would cause the cloud, that Shekinah of his glory to rest with them. In fact, Moses said it this way. He said, do not let us depart from here if your presence will not go with us. He says, how shall they know that we are a people who are separated, consecrated? And he said, my presence will go with you. And because of that presence, I will give you rest. The discoveries that I made shocked me. Because you see, when you watch the nation of Israel through their journey, they were not people who really had weapons of war because they were on transit. Remember that when they started their journey from Egypt, they never had a chance to stop and camp. It was, they, were, they were sojourners until they got to the promised land. And yet they fought. Yet many things happened. They carried with them a formula and they carried with them a climate. Are we together now? That when the neighboring nations saw them, they were afraid. Not because of the dexterity of their soldiers. They were largely not warriors. But they understood something about an atmosphere that they would carry. They would carry the ark you will read in your bible when after they made the ark they would put it at the center and even when um balaam is called to come and curse them he would stand and try to invoke a curse and it would not happen and he said there is a formation something about the ark in the center has created a cloud that no speakings from whatever distance can reach them he said the shout of a king is in the midst of them listen if you can create this atmosphere in this atmosphere you will enjoy immunity in this atmosphere you will enjoy favor in this atmosphere you will enjoy all things supernatural the supernatural is not limited to healings and deliverances alone every manifestation that is beyond the realm of science beyond the realm of human thoughts do you believe what you're hearing So three components very quickly. Let this be a lesson for us. If you're a man of God here, please listen. If you truly want to see the miracle working power of Jesus flow in and through your life, genuine miracles, then here are the keys. Are you ready? Component number one, if you want to create that atmosphere that makes for the supernatural, that makes for the miraculous component number one genuine passion and a heart of total surrender write it down the first non-negotiable component 
you want to create the atmosphere that is ever conducive for signs and wonders it is the atmosphere of genuine passion and total surrender Matthew chapter 11 from verse 28 and 29 total surrender hear what Jesus said come unto me all ye that labor and are heavy laden he says and I will give you rest I will give you rest if you come unto me notice he didn't say follow me yet he said come unto me it takes a lot to come unto him to come unto him means that you realize you are inadequate to come unto him means that you realize that by yourself and unassisted there is not so much you can do we live in a world that is full of pride we live in a world where we are not committed to anything at all but if you must create that atmosphere of the glory and the power of God it comes with a price and the first component is genuine passion passion towards what God passion towards God and passion towards the things of God God is not a herbalist God is not a magician God does not play games with people if you come to him there must be a determination within your heart the psalmist said oh Lord you are my God early will I seek you my heart longs for you give it to us Psalm 63 it says to see your power and your glory Oh God, thou art my God, early will I seek you. My soul thirsted for you. Say passion. One more time, say passion. My flesh longed for you in a dry and thirsty land where no water is. What for? Verse 2. To see your power and your glory as I have seen in the sanctuary. Passion for God and total surrender surrendering your intellect surrendering your logic can i tell you years ago i listened to benny Hinn and he made a statement that i appreciated so much but now having worked a bit in the miracle ministry i can tell you i understand clara what he was saying he said this that in many of his meetings please look up listen carefully that many of his meetings you would find out that if people every time people came for his meetings if their attention was just on their healing their problem whatever was wrong with them most times they would not receive they would have to take their eyes away from the problem and focus on Jesus because for many people you see they do not agree that God has the absolute power to help them so they just feel God I don't want you to come into every aspect I've managed this one I just want you to touch this and that and God says you are either ready to get out of the way and allow me step in or you finish fighting and exhaust your pride and we live in a world that is largely philosophical there is over dependence on the flesh so when people come for a miracle service like this for instance you are trusting God to reach you and open doors but from head to toe you are full of yourself my certificates my qualifications I have all these things all I need is just a bit of anointing on it and I'm on fire and God says no except the Lord builds a house they labor in vain that build it except the Lord watches over a city the watchmen watch it but in vain it is vain to wake up early in the morning listen carefully to sleep late in the night only to eat the bread of sorrow we have seen skilled people suffer as if God did not call them and we have seen weak people weak people Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5 it says trust in the Lord with all your heart and it says lean not on your own understanding it is the same God who gave you understanding to lean does not mean to not use it it means when it has to do with dealing with God do not bring your understanding to compete with him his realm is higher than your realm his thoughts higher than your thoughts most times people come to God but they are not absolutely surrendered have your way Lord have your way you know that song have your way Lord have your way 
Have your way, Lord. Have your way, oh Lord. Have your way. Lord, I am here so that you will lift me. It is not my assignment to tell you how. If I could help myself, I would not need to come to you. Don't sit down when you are saying, Lord, lift me, and your mind has held NMPC. You are not going to let me. That is not how God lifts. Trust him enough to get out of the way. How you would do it, oh God, I do not know. But I know that I am in your presence. Let the lifter lift me. Over dependence on our intellect, our philosophies, will always corrupt that atmosphere for the miraculous can i tell you this many times when i'm praying preparing for any meeting especially the miracle service sometimes god will usually open me to visions of what happens what is going to happen sometimes literally or sometimes i just get pictures of people's cases and the rest but i prepare my sermon you see that i do my due diligence but i never come to stand here with just an over calculation of this i come he's the lord of host and when i come having prepared myself i am completely yielded to him to move as he wills in as much as i have a structure but he knows that when it has to do with this meeting he can move as he wills you see because i don't know except it is revealed to me i cannot know what is wrong with you and i cannot know the area of desperation and the area of need and it is pride to stand in the way of the one who knows in fact it's wickedness it's not just pride i'm trying to help you but i'm ignorant there is the one who knows exactly where to touch you and now i will not let him touch you and sometimes you can be the limitation yourself because you can think this is what you need but from the mind of god what you need is totally different it is up to you to say lord i i truly believe that you can visit me surrender there are times you can have pain and you may go to the doctor with with the arrogance of an amateur and almost guessing and you can say doctor i am sure it is this thing and the doctor laughs at you and laughs at your ignorance and tests you and tells you something totally different and says that's what is wrong with you but you are feeling another symptom and yet the doctor from a professional standpoint you think it's a financial problem open up your heart and let god visit you you will find out it has nothing to do with finances in fact sometimes you can think it's an issue of ill health but it is not an issue of ill health is the ministry of the devourer he knows that the only way or the most predictable way to destroy your finances is your health if he spoils your car you will leave it there you will not fix the car so he spoils your body because he knows you will not leave that body that way and since he has found out that you like this body and you want to live long in it he will continue to create affliction so that your finances will suffer so to you now you can think the real problem is finances but when you come to god he will tell you it is not finances the real problem is abc listen allow god to interpret your situation to you the first atmosphere is that atmosphere of total surrender lord i have come before you as far as i know there are 10 major problems with me disfavor no helpers oppression that's the best that i can know but i've come to you you are the wisdom of god diagnose me and do you know sometimes you see demon spirits walk like an octopus how many of you know an octopus that creature with many expressions like legs it can touch your finance same spirit touch your marriage same spirit you think there are different issues but they are caused by one and the same spirit how many of you would like to cut down a tree by removing the leaf one by one how intelligent does that sound and you are trying to say lord can you help me remove all the leaves in this area and god says no i know what the problem is the leaves will grow allow me to come and bulldoze that thing from the roots 
And sometimes when he throws it from the root, you will still see the leaf looking green. And he says, go and rest, it's dead. And he said, no, it is still green. He says, I, I know what I did. Ah. Total dependence. Some of you, it may be ministry. Ministry is not growing. And based on your interpretation, it is because I'm in an area that is not my maybe territorial area. Maybe I'm a Yoruba person among houses or a Hausa person among Yorubas. All those things are just flimsy reasons. God is telling you the diagnosis is there is no favor on you. Period. Lord, why is it that when I get a job in two weeks, they drive me? In two weeks, they drive me. And you have come with the name of your boss in your prayer request now. Hoping that by laying hands on him, maybe God will kill him or do something. But even if the man dies, for instance, will you really be free? Because what is really wrong with you is a pattern. It's a demo. These are altars that have nothing to do. Your boss just happens to be the one that was used to oppress you because of something on you. Have you seen people who complain and even if the object of complaint is taken away from them, the situation does not change. It's not about the person causing trouble now. It's about something on you that keeps attracting trouble. Are we learning? Atmosphere. Component number one. So there has to be genuine passion for the Lord and then complete surrender. Why do you surrender to him? You surrender to allow his wisdom go before you. To allow him be the one to truly interpret what you need. When you go to the hospital, imagine that you go to the hospital and you are seated with a consultant and you just say, sir, where do you keep your syringes? Where do you keep this? And he says, what for? He says, I want to inject myself. I know exactly what is wrong with me. I just want you to be a witness. <laughs> and you are breaking that thing and about to give yourself injection. And he said, you are even doing it the wrong way. He said, no problem. I know what I'm doing. And the man says, why are you then here? When you go to a consultant, even if you are a consultant yourself, you are not a consultant in that area. So when you go, you sit down like every other person and say, doctor or consultant, ABC is wrong with me. And you trust him and depend on him. Don't come to God tonight. In fact, some of you in all honesty, in all honesty, as you are seated right now, you cannot truly articulate what is wrong with you. You can only tell the symptoms of what is wrong with you. My money has been hanging for five months. Could it really be a financial issue? Let's find out. My health has been having a problem. Could it really be a health issue? Let's find out. Are you learning what I'm saying now? So if I'm here right now and the Holy Spirit says, everybody stand up and start jumping around and dancing, as stupid as it is, that's exactly what I'm going to do. It does not make sense to me, but you have to understand that I'm not the one doing it. It is the one who knows what is wrong with you. Are we together? I never stand on stage ministering to God's people and then close that door. To the wisdom of the spirit i am aware of how limited and how very ignorant i am as far as having the full capacity to help god's people is concerned you have come because you believe in jesus and you have come because you believe in me and i'm grateful for that trust but let me tell you unassisted i'm only wasting your time i can only share scripture and say let's pray do you know what it takes to stand from here and begin to make declarations over someone's life and like that doors are opening you are intelligent can a man do that unassisted no but i'm happy to inform you i'm not alone here not alone hmm. and the lord walking with them and the lord walking with them and the lord walking with them Number two, the second component that creates the atmosphere for miracles, for signs and wonders, are you ready? Is deep, heartfelt worship. 
deep heartfelt worship apostle I'm not a musician but you want solutions but you want solutions can I tell you if you are not a worshiper there are certain dimensions and certain levels of the atmosphere of the miraculous that your mind your life would not command you see a worshiper is not just one who sings a worshiper is one whose life words and then singing creates that atmosphere for the presence of God to be made manifest singing is only a tool you can sing and you are a singer and a musician and yet not a worshiper true worship starts from the heart true worship is a response is a revelation you know who God is heartfelt worship second chronicles chapter 5 from verse 11 second chronicles I enter the holy of holies I enter through the blood of the Lamb I enter to worship you only I enter to honor I am Lord I worship you I worship you Lord I worship you I For your name is holy You are holy Holy are you Lord For your name is holy You are holy Heartfelt worship. King of kings, Lord of lords, faithful and true, Lamb of God, I worship you. Shalabakosi. King of kings, Lord of lords, faithful and true, Lamb of God. I worship you. Praise the bread of life, Emmanuel, God with us, the one who saves. We praise the cup of life, that glorious spring. That washes our sins away. Hello, Imadona. Hello, Imadona. I tell you this I've worked with God a bit let me teach you how to neutralize negative atmospheres introduce an atmosphere of deep heartfelt presence carrying worship not senseless songs that don't carry any atmosphere there are songs that were written by people who are just ambitious I'm talking of atmospheres that carry fire the reasons why I always suggest the night it's not a ritual but you see, most times in the day we are distracted. Before you even kneel down, a call has come with all kinds of things. So many people are awake, sometimes they can just be distractions. But in the night when everybody is asleep, just you and your Savior, the maker of your climate for the miraculous is heartfelt worship. Number three, the last and then we'll pray. I'm already sensing a very strong anointing here. 
Strings, play the guitar for me. There are still more people you're bringing out. I'm seeing a book open before me, and I'm seeing a hand pointing on that book. And God is saying, It's the season of these people. There is something He's doing. Seasons, your season. There's nothing that will stop it. When God has opened that, is the season is open. Bring them out. Oh, 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 The Lord turn again the captivity of Zion. We were like them that dream. Hallelujah. Who is Jeremiah? I'm hearing a name Jeremiah. Who is Jeremiah? Is there a gentleman called Jeremiah? You're wearing a t-shirt. Jeremiah. Is there someone like that? Jeremiah. What's your name? Come. I want to pray for you. Halandes Calibra Katosh Calibri There is a man of God here. You are stepping into the prophetic. There is, I, I just saw like an eagle. And every time I see that, this is a symbolism of the prophetic. The Lord has been training you. You do not even know that he's calling you into the prophetic ministry. In the name of Jesus, may that hand from Zion rest upon you. In the name of Jesus, the son of the living God. Jeremiah in the name of Jesus you two stand here where they are here I want to pray for them now by the power of the Holy Spirit I decree and I declare my God I'm seeing light coming upon you and the Lord is saying he's shifting you right now take that grace by the power of the Holy Ghost please don't lose focus over what God is doing I'm seeing an anointing coming on this my people lift your hands take that grace in the name of Jesus take that grace by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ new dimensions of power the Lord is bringing you into new seasons new seasons of grace new seasons new seasons of power new seasons in the name of jesus new seasons of authority the spirit of delay is about to leave now the spirit of delay i'm about to declare please bring those people outside everyone on that apakatos kata under the yoke of delay at the count of three shout the name jesus are you ready one two three shout jesus i cast that spirit now delay in the name of jesus christ bring them out 
delay delay in destiny delay of the manifestation of the hand of God upon your life oh yeah yeah 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 hallelujah I'm seeing a man here this man is a military officer I'm not you, you don't have to be wearing a uniform this man you are in the this is someone you are a military officer I want to pray for you you are not wearing you are wearing mufti but you are a military officer who is that person is he a military officer where hold on please two of them okay you were saying something you are a military officer you are a military officer sir yes. where yes. sir in Kaduna. i want to pray for you please just bring them out something is happening here i'm seeing something that is very strange i'm seeing the right hand of people on fire and the lord is telling me he's placing something upon that hand just the right hand this will happen all over the congregation now like the right hand of people literally burning with fire literally burning with fire and the lord is placing something of substance and glory upon your hand madam this woman on red lift your hand I'm seeing an angel pour oil on you. I stretch my hands. Take that grace now. Bring out. There is an anointing that is coming on the worship team. The Lord is, I'm seeing you people climb ladders. And the Lord is saying he's about to announce some of you. There are some of you in a strange way. He's about to aparaka toskedina katia. Locating you and lifting you. It will happen by the spirit. Madam, where are you coming from? Hold on, please. Where are you coming from? You are in this Abuja. I want to pray for you. Listen to me. Your days of crying has come to an end in this country. I don't know you. But the hand of the Lord came upon you. And I'm prophesying to you that that which makes for shame and reproach, my God is taking you to another, like a, like a bigger hotel. I'm seeing that anointing is on you. It's coming on you. And the Lord is saying he's connecting you in a strange way. You will marvel and wonder at what God will do through you in this city. It is the anointing. What do you do, my friend? Huh? Are you a student? Yes, sir. But you know you have the destiny of a man of God. Yes, sir. He's called you into ministry. Yes, sir. But you are in a season of training. Yes, sir. Be careful with wrong associations. Eh? God will help you. But all this overzealous thing in ministry, don't waste your time. Just focus and let God build you to be a solid vessel. Can I pray for you? Yes, Lift your hand. I pray that the anointing that makes for encounters, may that grace right now come upon you in the name of Jesus. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus. This man, please tap him for me. Where are you coming from, sir? What do you do? Don't be embarrassed. I'm a pastor. I'm doing a little business. <laughs> My friend, look at me. Um, man of God. I will... Please look at me, sir. Don't be embarrassed, but I will link you to somebody to help you. Hold on. Help, help is not... Help means... With what I'm seeing now, huh? don't be embarrassed, but this is not ministry. There needs to be a total overhaul. Like, 
complete this is don't be embarrassed like I said I believe that God brought you to help you you see you can be in error sincerely you, you get what I'm saying now you can be incomplete if I intend to go to Lagos and I turn towards Kaduna and I fire on four cylinders I'm sincere but I'm on my way going somewhere else and in meetings like this I'm not you know we are not a family that condemns and point fingers at people are we together once the hearts of people are open God is willing to help them but I need to pray for you man of God look at me I love you with all my heart but something needs to leave you now I stretch my hands I curse that spirit lift your hands right now by the power of the Holy Spirit let him go in the name of Jesus let this be the beginning of a new season for him now in the name of Jesus and you my friend this man I'm seeing something come out of you in the name of Jesus release him now by the power that raised Christ from the dead in Jesus name I pray be gone from him I'm not I'm praying against something I'm seeing let it leave you now in the name of Jesus so this to someone who will just help you the Lord will honor you in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah please be silent everybody just bring all the people who start shouting now under the anointing Parakatosh Kadiata let them go right now release their destinies by the power of the Holy Spirit we're already entering the deliverance session right now usually I will ask the instruments to play but the Lord is telling me to shut everything down I'm praying I told you it's not about the ritual of it it's about alignment now please hear me I'm seeing two words written and the Lord is saying as soon as I announce that word all those who have been victims of it that deliverance fire is coming upon them two words I'm seeing one reproach I'm seeing one shame these two words right now I stretch my hands everyone here Kabari Katoshia bring them out the power of God is bringing deliverance right now for individuals and for families shame and reproach that everything that makes for shame and everything that makes for reproach it comes under arrest now there is a lady there is a mighty deliverance coming for you you are a foreigner you are not a you are not a nigerian you came here in the name of jesus i don't know where you are but let that fire touch you right now in the name of jesus christ hallelujah please play the strings for me there is an anointing that is breaking business failure right now this is what i'm seeing of course i know everybody but there are people who are calling to this and there are people who there are yokes that are holding their hands down you will be surprised to see what happens now as i pray in the name that is above all names at the count of three i want you to shout that name jesus everyone here involved in business of any sort and it looks like the devil has held on to you this is koinonia this is the house of god at the count of three i bring you victory and liberty one two three shout jesus bring them out babu wani kamaruka ya yesu babu wani kamaruka babu wani kamaruka ya yesu babu wani kamaruka babu wani kamaruka this is very strange this will be the first time I'm seeing this happen 
usually when the lord wants to touch states the map of nigeria would appear and then a hand will point to me the states that the lord wants to visit and i'm seeing an anointing and i'm seeing plateau state this is i'm seeing the anointing just touching and bringing visitation to people now you belong to that region here the power of god is touching you and then extending to all those who are connected in the name of jesus i declare let this happen by the spirit now let this happen by the spirit now let this happen by the spirit now i'm taking in a vision the same map is open to me and i'm seeing a hand touch emo state right now i stretch my hands emo anyone who help them please this is a sign and a wonder how god does these things that all those who are connected to that territory something miraculous begins to happen madam this woman no not the back this one lifting her hands now this one Where are you coming from? Plateau State. Huh? I'm from Abuja here, but I'm from Plateau State. I want to pray for you. Your life is about to change. You believe that? Yes, sir. What do you do? I work in a non-governmental organization. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. There is an anointing. Leave her. Leave her. I'm going to speak to her too. Where are you coming from? Here. Huh? Abuja here. I want to pray for you. Will you be embarrassed if I talk to you? The Lord wants to take bad luck from your life. I'm looking at you, but in the realm of the spirit, I'm seeing a human being with no face. And the Lord is saying, I should pray for you. Let me pray for someone here. If there is anything that has taken away your identity in the realm of the spirit, because you see your identity is what distinguishes you. In the name of Jesus Christ, let there be restoration now. Help her please. Restoration now. In the name of Jesus, this is my sister. I stretch my hands towards you and I pray. May God lift you in a way that will surprise you. In the name of Jesus Christ, may God lift you in a way that will surprise you. There's someone you've been having severe pain who will soon begin to pray for the sick. Severe abdominal pain. This thing started October or November last year and it has not left you. The pain is there, severe, sharp, severe pain. The power of God is touching you right now. In the name of Jesus, release her now. Release her now. Release her now. I have searched and searched all the earth searched and searched all the earth and found that I have searched and searched all the earth searched and searched all the earth and found that no one like you Jesus, no one like you, no one like you, yes, no one like you, no one like you, Father, no one like you, Master, you're the God of everything, no one like you. Your faith in God and your faith in the vessel that he uses is the third key that connects you. Third key that connects you supernaturally to the power of God. Now I want to minister deliverance by the power of God. Listen to me. What is deliverance? It's a separation between you and the obstacle. It does not necessarily have to be a spirit most times it's a spirit 
the gentleman holding the passport come come please hurry up we have to we have to rush ah. who is this king of glory the lord the lord mighty in battle amen where are you coming from i want to pray for you as i saw you lifting that passport the lord said i should use it as a sign to release your entire family uh, where are you from not where you are you're I'm from Imo state sir. Imo state yes sir lift your hands who is this king of glory the lord strong and mighty the lord mighty in battle amen for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory forever and ever amen for thine is the power and the glory I stretch my hands my friend in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God may that anointing come upon you for the sake of your family members whether they are following or not in the name of Jesus the son of the living God I bring liberty right now passport is a token that gives access therefore every door that has been closed over you and over your family according to the word of the Lord you are given unrestrained access right now in the name of Jesus Christ now let me pray for you hmm. separation most of us like I was sharing when I was giving the charge there are spirits that are back of the many symptoms we call problems the symptoms are there but let me tell you sincerely it is not just the financial problem or the marital problem or the whatever problem most times there are spirits that are back of it Jesus said loose hand I mean um, he, he told the woman who was bound that she should be loose from her infirmity for 18 years when she was loose then he laid hands on her and the healing happened the healing would not happen if the spirit is there so I want to pray for you now you will be surprised that for some of you even before we begin to pray for the sick and let me tell you this when it is time for testimonies testimonies is not only for healing some of you under the anointing here you get up and find out that something has happened to you when it is time for testimonies you can join them too and let's hear what God is doing in your life it's just that there's no time that's why we just limit it to healing miracles alone but there are some of you whilst you came here you would be surprised that things would just shift like that I hope you came with something as a point of contact tonight remember don't worry a time will come we'll lift it but now I want to pray for as long as I live the devil will not find peace As long as I live, Nina Kane, you have bought me with a price, Nina Kane. That as long as I live, Nina Kane, you have bought me with a price, Nina. You know why I sang that song? If I buy something and you come and hold it to take it away, what are you called? One more time, what are you called? If this body belongs to the Lord and another spirit wants to come and cohabit, deliverance is simply asking the landlord to claim ownership. Landlord, rest upon your property so that everything that is not you 
when you see empty houses that are unoccupied people can come and squat there temporary but when the owner of the house comes and he wants to find his place every squatter will go out I want to pray for you now at the count of three I want you to shout that name Jesus and as you shout that name please I want you to help those under the anointing and then bring them out we're going to be very fast here there are spirits sitting on the destinies of men there are spirits responsible for disfavor responsible for wickedness there are spirits responsible for all kinds of atrocities we want to bring them under arrest now by the power of the holy spirit i decree and declare by the anointing that breaks the yoke by the spirit of grace every family here represented all our viewers following from across the globe following from your homes if there be any entity that is not of the Christ causing all kinds of problems as you shout that name make sure you shout it those who are following from your homes everywhere that the power of God right here on ground and through the airwaves will rest upon you and bring that permanent separation are you ready now at the count of three one two my god three shout jesus release their destinies now please bring them out release them now release their destinies now powers of witchcraft powers in the air territorial spirits sitting upon the destinies of men bring them out very quickly in the name of Jesus we arrest you now we arrest you now we arrest you now we arrest you now please whether you are an usher or not just help the ushers I'm sure their hands are limited whether you are an usher or not someone is under the anointing you can do well to just help them bring them to the front so that we'll save time we are still going to pray there are families under all kinds of yokes you will still shout that name again this time around not just for yourself but for everyone connected to you so that even if they could not make it for your sake are you ready now father visit families may your fire and your anointing burn off altars that are speaking against the glorious destinies of families at the count of three one two three shout jesus we set altars on fire in the name of jesus christ we set yokes on fire let them go let them go by the power of the holy ghost let them go open your mouth in one minute and begin begin to declare your release I declare liberty in the name of Jesus will never be a victim of any orchestration of foundations yokes of darkness manipulations of witchcraft is someone praying release your children release your destiny please pray release your ministry release your business hallelujah hallelujah the Lord is showing me two families you are from Kogi state the Lord is taking away the spirit of death I'm seeing this my God Parakatosia wherever that family is represented in whoever whichever individual is here I command that sword of death to be averted from your family now 
Shali kesurate raha sala branda gaduska di brandi kapa paruga de shila karusi adamani. Hallelujah. Now I'm seeing there is someone you've been trusting God for a visa to meet with your spouse abroad, and you've not been able to have that visa. This has been for a while. Is do we have someone like that here? It's time for you to go now. Come. Please make sure you verify. Spouse, spouse, spouse. Give this man the mic. Let me. Don't. How long? Three years. You've not seen your wife? Yes. Where is she? She's in Poland. And I came here for a visa. And I was denied. Ah, 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 ah. Where are you coming from, sir? Huh? Lagos. Lagos. Yes, sir. Your spouse? My spouse is now in US. Your cousin? My wife is in US. Is in US? Yes, sir. And you've not been allowed to go and meet her? Yes, sir. Do you believe in miracles? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm not saying if you are looking for a visa, it's good for us to listen. We're in a prophetic atmosphere. So please make sure you understand what we're saying. Spouse means someone you are married, you are married to that you help, help her now. Your name is to be hallowed. Madam, this woman, please tap her for me. You believe in miracles? Yes, Lift your hands. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus. I want to pray for you. Listen, the Bible says the heart of a king is in the hand of the Lord. And like the wave of the sea, God will toss it here and there. It is not spirits and angels that are in the visa offices. They are human beings. And in as much as they have a modus operandi, let me tell you, God is able to show mercy and to grant you grace. We are not praying here as a way of downplaying the due process. No, we are people of order. But I am telling you that God is able to step in. And many of you will be surprised. Who is doing an appeal? You are the one doing an appeal. Your paper is behind Your paper is there. Go and bring it. I want to pray on it. Your name is to be honored. Now let me pray for all of you in the name of Jesus. Two of you right now, the power of God is coming on you. This is, I saw something that just came from the earth into you. And the Lord is saying it must leave. Two of you among those standing here, I stretch my hands. I don't know what demonic thing came from whose village for whatever reason. But in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, it must let you go now. Two of you, the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Please help that woman so she doesn't fall with her child. Out of her now. Out now. Ah, 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 ah. Please lift this man up for me. Sir, look at me. Where are you from? I'm from Lagos. State of origin? Edo State. I want to pray for you. 
please don't be embarrassed this is a family that loves you the kind of witchcraft i'm seeing on you because i'm seeing you inside a coffin this is what i'm seeing i'm not even it's not even that somebody from the realm of i'm not a prophet of doom i'm going to pray for you i'm looking at you and i'm seeing a man who is already here and i'm seeing the month of july you are on your way towards ouchi and i'm seeing an accident yet the thing has already finished i stand by the god of heaven who called me and i decree and declare right now oh death hear the word of the lord let him go now i command that spirit help him out of him now if there is anyone here the pronouncement of death or a programming upon your life you are walking but already it looks like you've been finished from the realm of the spirit we have been given authority even over the grave right now i pray anyone here appointed unto death be delivered from death now can i surprise you the person who will help you is here now in the name of jesus christ May the Lord show you mercy. I'll leave it at that. Go. Now for all of you, in the name of Jesus, ah, please don't be embarrassed. The Lord is giving me a very serious... God bless you. I've prayed for you. Please, you can go back. Now, there is something serious I want to pray for now. Don't be embarrassed. Don't be embarrassed. But there is someone here. There is a spirit that is not, you are not a bad person. But when this spirit comes on you, you can steal anything, even if it's inside the bank. You are not a, a, you are not a wicked person. This is an addiction you have fought and fought and fought. It's not like you're a criminal. But this thing has brought you embarrassment. I want to pray for that person now. I usually would not, I would just ask you to save yourself and sit down somewhere. But I want to pray for that person. Please, if you are here, don't waste our time. God wants to bring you deliverance now. This addiction of stealing. You came here sincerely and it's in your heart. Come and stand though. Let's appreciate them as if, if there's someone like that coming. Praise the Lord. Please, when you identify them, allow them, if they are coming from outside this place, let them come to stand. I want to pray for them very quickly. Very quickly. Can be male or female. When it has to do with demons, it doesn't matter whether you are. Please. God bless you, my dear brother. You are not the only one. I want to pray. This is a family of faith. In fact, hold on. Let me use the opportunity right now. This is a family of faith. And I'm not going to mention any particular thing, but if you are a victim of any kind of addiction, any kind, addiction is something that has control over you. When it comes upon you, you have no control until it destroys you. Come and stand here right now, quickly. God wants to set you free. Quickly, please come and stand. God bless you anything at all addiction is destroying people don't sit back there you know that this is your chance come and stand before jesus and while you stand be praying don't just be looking at me please hear me you don't have to come if you have a child you should if you are the one who is who is the victim of this please come the lord will be setting you free but if you are standing for someone maybe your spouse or a child or whatever please just sit where you are for the sake of space move forward small those of you in front they are so are you, are you seeing look at this now this is not to condemn them listen my my beloved people look at me we're a family that loves jesus and loves you passionately 
it is the job of the church to build and to help so there is nothing to be embarrassed about just make sure that as you are coming you are really sincere to be free quickly come addictions my god from the rising of the sun to the setting of the sea your name is to be hallowed. Now listen, please look at me. Let me explain to you something. Listen carefully, our viewers around the world and then you who is here. Please, if you are following also online and you are a victim of any kind of addiction, this is your chance to connect. All those people coming from where now? Please, um, if, if, the, if the hall is full, they can just stand where they are or, if, okay, those who are already inside, they can just stand in the straight line there and then others can stand in front of their LEDs. It's the same effect. If not, this place will soon be rowdy. Let's just take it easy. Please, protocol, be easy with them so that no one... People, you see, these precious people are coming because they are tired. Can I tell you, counseling can only go so far in helping addictions. drunkenness masturbation pornography every kind of thing they are spirits and let me tell you the truth it is not about being good or bad it's about being a victim of wicked spirits these spirits are territorial i'm sorry to say it but most of them come from social media most of them come from movies that sometimes we just expose our spirits in the name of westernization and we pack all kinds of demonic luggages you gather 10 people and I can tell you 7 out of every 10 people are suffering addictions. But can I tell you, you came here for a miracle service. Because some of you, let me tell you what happens. Look up please. Let me teach you how these spirits work. You see, the moment a great door is about to open, that urge comes. And the moment, whether it is drunkenness, whatever, that door is closed forever. Ah, 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 ah. Hallelujah. Hold on. There is there is one person here you inject yourself. Who is that? Let me see your hands. Like I'm seeing a syringe. Now I don't know if the injection with what, but I don't know if it's inside or don't be afraid. Who is that? I'm seeing something that has to do with a syringe. Who is that? Help this lady. I hope she's not falling under the anointing. Like a syringe, like giving yourself shots of injection, literal injection. I don't know what you are injecting. There are people who snuff this thing they use to fix tire of car. What is it called? Huh? Now, do you think any right-thinking human being with his brain will go and bend down to snuff that thing? It's a spirit. Now, do you know why this is a lesson to the body of christ most of these people you see have at least one christian near them but this our obsession for condemnation is why people just keep quiet and suffer in silence nobody wants to be stigmatized and to be made you think these people standing are wicked people some of them are more sincere and honest than most people you know until the body of Christ returns to the place of love, genuine love, we will keep losing our people to Satan. Let me tell you, all of you who are standing here, I want you to know that number one, I love you sincerely. And number two, you will be delivered now. Yeah. Hallelujah. Lift your right hand. Repeat this prayer after me loud. And at the end of it, I'm going to pray for you those standing anywhere at all and then those outside those maybe addictions following um, respectfully speaking i know that many of our western people who are connecting 
please don't think because you are in america or europe a spirit is a spirit addiction is addiction and you can open mama you can stand in for your child parents you can stand in for your loved ones say after me father, father have, mercy on me. have mercy on me say it again father, father have, mercy on me. have mercy on me say in the name of jesus, name of jesus i declare as an act of my will that the spirit responsible for this addiction by my god-given authority i choose life i choose freedom from that spirit therefore from tonight i declare my liberty in jesus name Get ready the power of god is coming on you right now at the count of three satan you had their confession the bible says for with the mouth confession is made unto salvation they have declared their liberty at the count of three every spirit responsible for any kind of addiction at the count of three go now one two three go 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 out of their destinies out of their destinies Parakatoshkadia, i break that addiction go forever in the name of jesus christ and every altar servicing that addiction in the name of jesus i come against you now anything you cannot control has become a god over you be free now be free now now look at me just two instructions to help you for those of you who have listened to my teaching on the mystery of deliverance there are three stages to total deliverance and I'll be I'll be teaching you we're soon getting to the series number one is freedom from the spirit influence that is back of whatever issue of concern number two is called deliverance through transformation that means your mind has to be exposed to renewal and then number three is called the discipline of conformity you have a role to play say for instance if yours is drunkenness and then you still go back to the bar chances are excellent that when you see all your friends and colleagues and you see those bottles of beer sweating in the cold brought out of uh, 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 the freezer you will go back in, in, in that thing again can I tell you change your friends did you hear what I said Sh don't insult anybody but change your friends some of you you don't have one good friend one good friend A friend to a thief is what? Are we together? So I beseech you by the mercies of God. Now that you have received this, please be grounded in the house of God. Go to Koinonia Global. You can get the teachings. Listen to them for your renewal. This is, not, this is a battle for your destiny. Number two, you can on Tuesdays, our prayer department meets at the doa uh, you can whether you are a member of prayer band or not you can come even if it's just for two weeks and come and stretch with them and learn and allow the spirit of grace to help you in the name of jesus christ there's someone among you people standing here you are soon going back to your seat but there's somebody that god needs to deliver from anger you can use your physical hand and kill when you are angry it's not you it's a spirit it's about to leave you now don't worry you don't have to tell me you are the one if you are the one the anointing will look for you now huh anger like i'm not talking of just this rage you literally can hold a human being and until that person dies you will not leave him it's not normal remember what i taught you right now every wicked spirit male or female i don't care what every spirit of anger 
Can I tell you? Look at this. Look at this. Listen. Do you know when people come to me for counseling or they are ready to get married, before I start asking them any question, the first thing is proper deliverance from these things. When you marry somebody, you are marrying everything they came with. The assignment of a man of God is to help you edit those wicked things before you get into your home. That's why you see men who can get angry and tear their wives into pieces and say sorry and do it again. Or you can see a woman who will carry hot water from the, from the pot and, put, and spray it on her husband and say sorry and do it again. In the name of Jesus, the spirit of anger, not just for those who are out here, but for everyone here. If there is anyone who is a victim of the spirit of anger, right now by the power that raised Christ from the dead, be delivered now! In the name of Jesus. Now please, let's be patient and appreciate them as they quickly return to their seats. Please, let there be... Huh? The person injecting himself, who is that? This lady? Oh my God. Let the rest go, let she can stay. Please stay darling, I'll pray with you right now. Eh? The devil is a liar. In the name of Jesus Christ. Those under the anointing can stay. Please the rest. If you are moving, please move quickly. We are still, we are about to pray for the sick now. Is someone seeing what God is doing in this place this night? Your name is to be alone. Where are you from, my dear? From Edo State. You are from Edo State? Yes, sir. I want to pray for you. You believe that Jesus can set you free? Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands towards you. Whatever spirit makes you to inject yourself, as painful as injection is, so you can see. It has to be a spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, please look at me. Don't feel bad. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, I command now that spirit and that influence, it leaves you forever. Yeah. Is someone agreeing with me over this lady? You see... The secret, hold on please, and, and we teach this in, in the school of ministry. One of the secrets of ministering effectively is to put yourself in the shoes of people. It's called compassion. Compassion fuels the anointing. If you, are, if, you are, if, if you imagine that this is your sister or your daughter or your wife or your relative, then compassion will well up within you. For as long as you think this is some stranger somewhere, she's from Edo State and I am here from another place, you will not be able to help people that way. In the name of Jesus, as the house of God, we declare you free. Yeah. As the house of God, we declare you delivered. Yeah. We will never lose you to Satan. Yeah. The Lord is showing you mercy. Yeah. In Jesus' name I pray. Yeah. Amen and amen. Let's pray for the sick now. Let's pray for the sick. Please look up. Why is the healing ministry important? Let me teach you something very quickly and then we'll pray for the sick. Why is the healing ministry important? I will tell you why. Because every man is spirit. Please look up. Man is spirit. And every spirit resides legally if it is to function in the earth here it resides in a body are we together and for as long as you have a body you have the legitimate ground the authorization to function within the earth whatever deteriorates your body to a point where it no longer becomes functional is administering death to you because there is a threshold level of health that your body must have for your spirit to be able to safely reside within it. Are we together now? The assignment of Satan is to ultimately lead you to that point of separation by deteriorating your health condition. It can come in any form. So when your health is deteriorated beyond a certain threshold, what happens to you? 
Satan now ensures that your body is separated from your spirit. So every time we minister healing, it is a way of preserving your life so that you will have that body to be able to serve the purposes of God. He says, a body has thou prepared for me. Are we together? Except through understanding as you age and as time passes because of the wear and tear of this body naturally medical people begin to tell us that you will begin to see certain things and i have found out that about the most common of these things for men prostrate high blood pressure uh, what do we call it again paralysis and all these things um what do we call this sickness where your mind is not coordinated again you start forgetting things and all of that you see that now and then of course women it comes as all kinds of things but i want you to make up your mind i know there are doctors here i respect you and i respect whatever it is that you have studied i want you to believe that the word of god becomes the definition for your life for as long as you start believing some of these things they subliminally start programming you i am 50 now i expect enlarged prostrate and the devil says you are thank you for welcoming it and you receive it by faith are we together you have a right to reject anything at all that is not of god reject it and stand with faith and in faith why am i saying this so that when we are praying for the sick you don't say since my own condition does not necessitate admission in the hospital i am fine remember what i taught you about the devil the moment he tests you and you allow him unrestrained he will move further to bring another version of that thing so right now that i want to pray for the sick please i want you to release your faith that anything that does not represent god's design for you as revealed in scripture it is time for it to leave is someone in agreement please rise up on your feet while that is happening how many of you have your prayer requests here all the overflows to the basement outside those following online now we'll do two things at the same time number one is our ushers will be collecting the prayer requests now what I want you to do please still write if there are things you need to write I'll give you one minute very quickly you want to add something your faith has been enlarged and you still want to add one or two things write it down quickly and then pass it may I request that you pass it to someone maybe by your left and right let there be one person who has nobody will read your request just pass it for ease ushers please you can begin to walk around very quickly so that we'll collect it if you're still writing just take a minute or two and write believing the Lord to step in for you you heard what the Lord did in the life of our dear one who testified writing something in the prayer request unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come very quickly very quickly medical reports terminal situations unfavorable conditions for you your children parents spouse company business church the bible says be anxious for nothing but in everything so there is nothing that should be left out of the scope of prayer in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving it says let your request be made known unto god let your request be made known unto god be anxious for nothing philippians chapter 4 we we'll start reading from verse 6 you'll find that and it says and the peace of god will garrison your heart and your mind very quickly now i want to pray for the sick listen i have seen the healing power of jesus i was so touched by the testimony of our dear sister look the miracle that Jesus did for her husband literally from the dead 
and then correction brand new organs the mighty God is able to do this I want to pray for you now hallelujah now please lay your hands why do I ask you to lay your hands as a point of contact it's a way of releasing your faith before God stepped in we're talking about the three components that must be present to create an atmosphere of the supernatural one is passion for God and complete surrender number two we agreed that the second key that I wrote here is deep heartfelt worship number three is faith now you are about to exercise your faith I hope you know that faith is simply obedience obedience to the Word of God obedience to the demands that commit God to your life without action you are not walking by faith it's as simple as that faith is more than confession faith is more than believing faith is your action now here's what I want you to do we're not going to take too much time the moment I begin to pray for you others as you fell under the power of God miracles began to happen to you all kinds of supernatural connection corrections do you know why we ask people to come out when they are healed it's not just to show that the man of God is powerful no you see it, it, with all humility at, at this point in ministry there is nothing to prove again God has honored himself beyond contention but the goal is in coming out to testify three things happen number one you help the people to see the power of God on display truthfully number two it acts as a seal to what you have done are we together the Bible says we overcame them by the blood of the lamb and by the word yes the word of your testimony is part of the weapons of your overcoming so I'm going to pray for you right now all the overflows outside following all our viewers across the globe as I pray for you right now immediately I want you to begin to send in your testimonies for those of you who are out outside of uh, the local environment and for those who are here the moment I ask you to come out to come and testify do not be afraid do not be ashamed I want you to come out we'll take a few testimonies then we'll pray over re the requests and I prophesy into your life are you ready now please lay your hands and begin to pray one minute Jesus step in for me with your mercy over whatever condition it is mention it please pray don't tolerate anything that does not look like Jesus I'm beginning to lose hearing don't tolerate it I'm suffering the issue of blood don't tolerate it I'm beginning to have whatever symptoms don't tolerate it it looks like I'm having heart palpitations breathing problems don't tolerate it lumps all over my body don't tolerate it talk to Jesus Jesus step in step in over my life step in over my destiny hallelujah hallelujah in one of the visions that I had as God began to release me into the ministry I saw I was in a place and it was like the hospitals were closed it was like a curfew but then there were people lying down some sick some lifeless you know just littered across an open space and I was outside and I saw them I felt very very terrible and irritated by their conditions and they were looking up to me and it was in the night and it looked like these people were hoping that I would do something and I heard a voice that voice spoke to me and he said to heal them and that is why what opened me up to the healing ministry I really believe in the power of Jesus to heal I believe I believe he heals he heals he healed yesterday is healing now and he will heal forever the healing ministry is one of the cardinal components that puts the power of God on display are you ready now let's pray
the saints and the angels bow the redeemed worship you now holy 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 are you lord the saints and the angels bow the redeemed worship you now holy holy jesus something is happening here i'll sing it one more time the saints and the angels bow the redeemed worship you now holy 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 I was given an example about this a large prostrate but it's not just an example the Spirit of God is ministering to me that he's healing someone of that condition right now it's beginning to happen to you this thing happened from when you were around 55 it started all of the symptoms that show an enlarged prostrate in the name of Jesus be healed now I stretch my hands and I decree and declare everyone here who has any blood condition you've seen Jesus change genotypes here you've seen Jesus remove all kinds of things from your blood every stranger in your blood that should not be there in the name of Jesus I flush them out now I flush them out now be healed right now migraine headaches the Lord is healing migraines very severe migraine be healed now every damaged organ in your body we declare a brand new organ now The pelvic area for someone you've had severe severe pain in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord is bringing you life and healing right now please believe it you are receiving something right now in the name of Jesus Christ eye conditions for one of you you are just beginning to see it symptoms of, of, of a very severe eye problem and for others it's been there for a while it does not matter how long I command eyes be open now honestly I'm sensing a very very strong anointing there's someone your chest your chest that demonic thing around your chest I declare be released from it now this is this is not like you have fever but many times your tongue just tastes bitter very very bitter for reasons you do not know and the moment that thing happens it comes with ill health it looks like a, a severe case of typhoid but you've treated it is returned you've treated it is returned is a demonic thing right now I stretch my hands be healed in the name of Jesus Christ every blood condition I'm repeating it again HIV in the name of Jesus be healed now hepatitis be healed now sugar diabetes be healed now severe waist pain the Lord is healing severe waist pain in the name of Jesus Christ there's someone I don't know what it is at this side of your neck as soon as I'm done praying I want you to check yourself you will see that a miracle has happened right now let that demonic growth leave you now Amen. there is someone you're not in the main auditorium but you are losing your teeth I've prayed over this kind of condition before something is happening and it's like your your teeth your gums or whatever is weakening and if you have been pulled out already and I'm seeing that more of it is, is like it's weak the power of God right now is bringing you healing and restoration 
now anyone who is on crutches anyone who is using an aid to walk i declare life and strength to your limbs now be healed in the name of jesus christ every deafness partial deafness total deafness i command that ear to be open now someone there is like a growth in your truth but it's inside it's not like thyroid but i don't know what it is it looks like it it, it looks to me from what i'm seeing like it's a boil but it's inside you with severe pain not it, it looks like tonsillitis but it's not tonsillitis wherever you are right now as i'm praying the power of god is resting upon you now in the name of jesus christ every joint pain hear the word of the lord i declare be healed now now every other situation whether i mentioned it or not in the name of jesus christ i am praying for you inside outside everywhere i bring you life and healing in jesus name life and healing in jesus name life and healing in jesus name I want you to check yourself right now everywhere check yourself I want us to celebrate miracles for a few minutes check yourself the moment you find out that something has happened to you now or as at the time I was praying my God I'm seeing people coming out celebrate them very quickly you find out that a miracle has happened please I want you to be bold walk to the front right now and there will be people here to receive you let's take a few testimonies please very quickly koinonia is this what you are doing is this the best you can do check yourself very quickly miracles are happening right now do what you couldn't do before stretch stand walk let someone speak over you are you seeing what jesus is doing here i believe Yes, Lord, I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. You're the Son of God. Lord, I believe. I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. You're the Son of God. One more time. We believe, say. Jesus is bringing miracles. We believe you're the Son of God. Hallelujah. Are we ready? All the overflows, just stretch your hands. We're praying right now. I want you to stretch your hands and begin to declare our global family. I'm praying over the request now. I believe in the ministry of prayer and prophetic intercession. When we pray like this, it's because we believe in the God that can hear and can act unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come i want you to stretch your hands and begin to declare that in the name of jesus i receive answers by faith i receive answers by faith to everything that i've written here for those of you who came in um, and, and brought requests for your loved ones go ahead and, and release your faith in the name of jesus christ are you praying? Shapranda gatos kate predege de belekatos. All the overflows. You are praying now. Lord, step in. Do the impossible. Do the impossible. Remember the last component: faith. Release your faith. God is doing miracles right now.
sapratege de balados embrata caparato kato sapratege de beleko sadi brahasia alleluia alleluia for as long as i live i will never stop interceding over the desires of god's people because i know that we serve a god who answers prayers are we together i want you to believe in every declaration that we'll be making here it is not we're not acting this is not just some show believe me you will get answers to this request yeah. father in the name of jesus i stretch my hands over these requests and i declare by the power that raised christ from the dead that these egyptians you see today may you see them no more forever may you see them no more forever may you see them no more forever every spirit that is back of these tragedies we declare let judgment come upon them now in the name of Praise the Lord. Okay, thank you. For those of you who have put timing, timing to your requests, in the name of Jesus, it will not delay by a day. Let me repeat it again. If you have put timing on your request, I prophesy to you, it will not delay by one day. Whoever has vowed that this request will not be answered, in the name of Jesus, we overturn. We overturn. We overturn. We overturn. We overturn. And we give you what is rightfully yours. Every system and every structure that needs to come under the influence of the Spirit for this request to be answered, we put pressure on them now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I stand upon this prophetically and I decree and declare. In the name of Jesus Christ, it will never be an issue of concern for you again. The Lord gave us an instruction to come with any point of contact. Lift it up now. If you came with any point of contact your credentials your whatever it is now this is not ritual we are doing this based on the understanding that we are bringing a token a point of contact whatever you can lift your hands if there's nothing in your home whatever anything that is a point of contact please believe believe in prophetic instructions do the impossible do the impossible, do the impossible. Do the impossible. I stretch my hands over these points of contact, whether it is your credentials, whether it is your employment letter, whether it is your, your business, whatever, whether it is a court case, whether it is a summon from the court, whether it is a real estate project, a project with institutions, systems, and structures, whether it is papers for your ministry, papers for travels, in the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the living God, prophetically, I lay my hands on every one of these contacts, and I declare, I command them to bring back joyful testimonies for you. I command them to bring back joyful testimonies for you. The Bible says, for everyone that asketh, receive. To him that seeketh, he shall find. And to him that knocketh, the door shall be opened. Every closed door over these things lifted. I stand by the power of the prophetic and I command those doors to be opened now. <laughs> Hear me. For some of you, after this service, they will call you. And by that call, you will know you have stepped into a new season. Everyone lifting 
your credentials by faith trusting God for a job in the name of Jesus Christ we shift every space that needs to be shifted and we create space for you for all those who are holding legal documents in the name of Jesus if there be anything against you we plead mercy and if anyone is lifting a medical report or anything of that sort in the name of Jesus Christ for you or for whoever you are standing in for let there be a testimony now I declare those documents anointed I declare them graced may they produce results for you in Jesus name I pray now please listen listen I, it just it just occurred to me I don't know why I didn't say it don't and pray give me an encounter even by your spirit Someone is praying. Our hearts are open the spirit of the living God. Make sure you participate in the prayer. Shalim prete is kapi la kasho don prakas kati la kapahar ya teke te prostia. Soda ban teke te balakusa pratis kibiata. Shalabata semeken dos kibiata. Harapatus kaparondas kati berendas ya nekatosi. Harunda baratus teke ni balakusia. Let there be a mighty move of your spirit tonight. Let there be miracles, signs, wonders, the demonstration of the superiority of the kingdom of light, even over darkness. This we believe, this we decree. Shamandos kabila katos. Shabrateke paradu kavene kate balatus yata. In the name of Jesus. One more prayer request and then we sit down. Genesis 24 and verse 1. And the Lord visited Sarah as he had said. And the Lord did unto Sarah as he had spoken. 21 1. 21 1. Genesis 21 and verse 1 and the Lord visited Sarah as he had said and the Lord did unto Sarah as he has spoken he only does what he says and because he has said it the Bible says and whatsoever Adam called it that was the name thereof I'd like you to lift your voice and say Lord do to me as you have said do upon me as you have decreed do to me, do for me as you have said. Is someone praying? Sabratiki palashivas. As you have said. By your spirit. As you have said. By your word. As you have said. By your servant. Let there be a performance in my life tonight. For in Jesus' name we pray. For in Jesus' name we pray. Please be seated. Yesterday we began to discuss on the subject of dominion and I just want to tie up a few things and then we'll have the time to pray. The presence of God is mighty in this place and I'd like you to be very sensitive because in this atmosphere many things happen. Hallelujah including your healing, including your deliverance, including your breakthrough, including your restoration, 
including an ascendance that is granted unto you in the spirit that you will rise to higher levels and higher dimensions in Jesus name so we considered Hebrews chapter 2 we attempted to answer a question verse 8 particularly Hebrews chapter 2 and verse 8 it says thou has put all things in subjection under his feet for in that he put all things in subjection under him the bible says he left nothing that is not put under him but now as far as the reality of the moment is concerned he says we see not yet all things under him and we started probing into the reason why many believers are unable to command power and authority to walk in dominion as far as the program of God is concerned let me recap on a few things that I said that there are two aspects two dimensions aspects of dominion number one that dominion is about creation and manifestation of divine possibilities you are only in dominion to the degree to which you sustain the ability to create and manifest divine possibilities he said let there be and there was let there be and there was hallelujah the centurion said for i am a man under authority having soldiers under me i say to one come and he cometh he does not come on his own he's commanded to come by my speakings to another go and then he goes and jesus said i have not found such faith not in israel who mentored you who who designed your spiritual understanding to know the power of dominion the ability to create and to manifest divine possibilities through the speakings of god and the speakings of men empowered by god hallelujah so there is no dominion until and unless we see creation and manifestation number two the second aspect of dominion involves correction and restoration hallelujah so that dominion gives you the ability to correct and rewrite narratives to correct anomalies many times in the speakings of jesus he said but from the beginning it was not so that means many things as they are were not they are not as designed it is the assignment of the spirit and the character of dominion to restore all things to reflect the intent of god is that not why the church was empowered ephesians chapter 3 paul was speaking about the basis of his apostleship and when we get to verse 9 and then verse 10 Ephesians 3 please give it to us verse 9 and verse 10 he says and to make all men see what is the fellowship of the mystery verse 9 let's finish up verse 9 before we jump to 10 which from the beginning of the world had been hid in God who created all things by Jesus Christ please read verse 10 with me if you can see it ready one to read to the intent that now unto the principalities and powers in heavenly places might be known by the church the manifold multifaceted wisdom of God that means something about the manifestation of the church would reveal unto principalities and powers the vastness the extent of God's wisdom hallelujah correction who sinned that this man was born blind himself or his father and jesus said that's not the issue right now the most important thing is that this situation needs to be corrected there are many things that the anointing and the power of god seeks to correct in our lives and may tonight be that night in the name of jesus christ but from the beginning it was not so but from the beginning that family was not so but from the beginning that ministry was not so but from the beginning based on the prophecy upon your life it should not be so hallelujah it says casting down every high thing 
and bringing every knowledge to the obedience of Christ. This you must understand this so that when we are discussing the subject of dominion, you understand the scope of what you are dealing with. Number one, I repeat again, creation and manifestation. That means you should never be worried about what is not here yet because there is still a technology where you can draw it to make it present in your space. Don't be surprised if I have something tomorrow that is not yet in my life now. That is the assignment of dominion to make possible and to make manifest everything that is required for life and godliness and ultimately the revelation of the Christ. Hallelujah. And then number two, correction. So if someone came, for instance, holding a crutch, that is a situation that from the beginning, it was not so. The assignment of dominion is not to be aware that that situation needs to be changed. The spirit of dominion insists. Are we together now? Until that situation comes to the obedience of Christ. How do you know what the obedience of Christ looks like? Let it be done in earth as it is in heaven. Heaven is an atmosphere that has zero tolerance for disobedience. This is why the atmosphere and the culture, the dexterity of heaven is a reflection of what the obedience of Christ can produce. Are we together? This is very important. Because most believers talk about dominion and yet we do not know what the assignment of dominion is now let me say one or two things i hope that we'll be able to get before um, we begin to pray what exactly is the purpose of dominion you see because if we do not understand the intent and the purpose of any any spiritual provision not only will we abuse it we cannot even maximize it Dominion itself is not the goal. Dominion is only a means to an end. Are we together now? If you do not understand this, you will never truly walk in authority and power. To what intent? Why did God go so far to take that risk and invest upon men the capacity to walk in dominion? What is it about? Are we together now? There is a principle in theology called the reflection principle that a body or an entity cannot glorify himself until and unless he invests that glory in another body. It is the excellence of the object that you invest your glory upon that becomes a testament of your own glory. So the father cannot glorify himself. The father depends on the excellence of the son for him to be glorified. The son cannot glorify himself. The son depends on the excellence of the church in partnership with the Holy Spirit for the son to be glorified. The church cannot glorify herself. It is the dominion of the church over the cosmos. Are we together now? That is where the church gets its glory. So the church is glorified by the ability to subdue, to dominate the entire cosmos. And you know the jurisdiction of our dominion already. I taught you this. Psalm 21. The earth, the resources, the fullness, the mindsets, and the inhabitants. The earth is the Lord's, the fullness thereof the walls the systems and then they that dwell therein as far as the physical realm is concerned and now in christ we have the advantage to reach forth beyond this realm because the bible says that he has been exalted above thrones dominions and every name that is named and the bible says we have been risen with christ do you do you believe that so the scope of our dominion in Christ is not limited to physical things, our territories and our landmass. I told you that based on God's organogram of authority, the only entity for want of word higher than man is God. Not angels, not cherubims. No, after God is man. How do I know that? Because only man 
was made the host of the Holy Spirit who is God you see the Holy Spirit hovers around creation but he lives in man there are no three thrones in heaven you will never hear about three thrones in heaven because the third throne permanently resides within man are we together now it is the presence of the Holy Spirit that brings man to now be in unity with the triune Godhead you need to understand the implication of this that means as far as God is concerned the only the only limit to man and his operation should be God and the will of God not the limitations that come from situations and circumstances hallelujah so john 17 and verse 1 jesus made a very profound statement the bible says jesus lifted up his head to heaven praying now and he said father the hour is come watch the reflection principle now glorify thy son that thy son may glorify thee so god glorifies the son in order to get glory are we together now yes when you watch a couple and you see a, a dear wife wonderfully dressed and adorned people would usually look at the husband and say you are doing a very good job and a wise woman will agree and not to and say we give the credit to him the moment there is rebellion what happened to Vashti happens to that person you see the problem with Vashti is that she did not understand that her being queen was simply because she married a king so the moment she she started manifesting in the the similitude of lucifer to have a government of her own and the elders came to advise and said get this woman out of here she will spread a mindset that would destroy your reign hallelujah are we together now so when god invests such power and grace please listen carefully upon the church in my life and your life it is to the intent listen carefully that jesus be revealed not god be revealed is the assignment of jesus to glorify god not men listen carefully it is not our assignment the father is ultimately glorified but our concern is to reveal and glorify jesus but automatically in the revelation and the glorification of jesus the father is glorified you do not bypass that protocol the scope of our office is to project and to glorify jesus are we together now jesus did his job well because his concern was the father father the hour has come glorify thy son that thy son will glorify you and jesus said as my father has sent me so send i you he didn't say the father sent you the father sent me and now i send you hallelujah that means everything in your life given to you by God that does not sustain the ability to reveal and glorify Jesus is a waste. Even if it is God who gave you. Everything, please listen, in the kingdom, anything only derives its relevance to the degree to which it submits as a tool to reveal Jesus your beauty, your wisdom, your anointing, your power, your church. Nothing has any spiritual essence in itself until the revelation of Jesus partners with that thing, whatever it is. So when you say, I have money, that is a useless statement in the realm of the spirit. I have money that will be used to reveal Jesus. Now that money has value. I have anointing is a very useless statement in the realm of the spirit. To what intent? Is someone getting this now? Because the church, we keep shouting power and dominion and don't get it. Because usually we want it to prove a point, to cure complex. And it's a very well-meaning desire, but that is too small a reason to receive such investment. Hallelujah. Very powerful. The revelation of Jesus. The revelation of Jesus. The revelation of Jesus that means something about the excellency the outworkings of the power the wisdom remember what he said that it might be known to principalities through the church the manifold multifaceted wisdom so for everyone 
who is going isn't it incredible that we're sitting here quietly right now and then in a few minutes this whole place is on fire that's what God can do but you see I warn you in advance that when these things begin to happen you are making a mistake if you keep looking at me all of us should together including myself look up to the Christ he becomes the epicenter behind everything let me tell you this show me a life that is doggedly committed to the revelation of Christ and I show you a candidate for dominion in experience Fasting without the intent to reveal Christ is only a burdensome ritual. Prayer without the intent to reveal Christ will only multiply your pain. Because you are doing the right thing yet you will not get the result. Bible study without the intent to reveal Jesus. Church growth. This thing is not very difficult. Just focus on the revelation of Jesus and you have your compass has brought you to a place of safety. Hallelujah. Dominion is not about the saints. Dominion is about the revelation of the multifaceted possibilities that are resident in Christ through the saints. Understand this very simple teaching and we're ready for the miracle service tonight. So when the breakthrough comes, people say, what happened? And you can say this and that happened but your story is not complete if your testimony ends with you if your testimony ends with you you did not do a good job then i got the money then i got the car then i was healed and heaven is still listening there is a sound there is there is something they are waiting to hear then i this happened then the child came aha uh -huh. from my heart to the heavens Jesus be the center it's all about you yes it's all about you from my heart to the heavens Jesus be the center it's all about you yes it's all about you do you believe this you see, all the people we read about in the Bible and those we call God's generals, let me tell you the truth, by the privilege of God's grace, I have studied every one of these people as much as I can find. I submit to you, I did not find anything in their life that we are not doing now. We are fasting more than many of them fasted. We are praying more than many of them prayed. Believe me, I'm a student of history. But I found something their commitment to see Jesus revealed is the one key that we are missing. When you saw Reinhard Bonke, you saw Jesus reflected. When you saw T.L. Osborne, they were not ashamed of every opportunity to demonstrate their frailty. They didn't hide it. That was the extent to which they wanted Jesus seen. That everything that seemed to make them superhuman, they would almost make efforts to neutralize it. Because they wanted Jesus in. And look the possibilities that they saw from nation to nation. But for some reason, maybe because of our backgrounds, maybe because, you know, people did not believe in us when we started, or our sociological context, there is still locked up within us a desire. Lord, I want you to shine, but don't forget about me. I can't hide the fact that me too. Let's do it together. Hallelujah. It is the one secret I have found about dominion and authentic power when it becomes true in your heart. To see you high and lifted up. You are shining in the light of your glory. Pour out your power and love as we sing holy, holy, holy. We'll see you high and lifted up. You're shining in the light of your glory. Pour out your power and love as we sing holy, holy. Hallelujah. So this, I must emphasize, 
is the reason for dominion don't just stretch your hands to say lord the grace to walk in power and authority man of god you must understand businessman you must understand that everything that gives you access to create and manifest to correct and restore also has an assignment the end of all things is the christ himself you never put full stop till you arrive at jesus so as the blessing and the lifting comes make sure it passes through you and does not stop at you that journey must continue until it gets to the foot of the cross this is a very powerful secret john said in chapter 3 and verse 30 he says that i may decrease he didn't say that i may vanish but that i may decrease and that he may increase john got it right but for some reason i don't know what happened for as long as he was about jesus his relevance remained but for as long as he got angry and felt jesus this thing i don't even understand again you know how john died he died as a birthday gift from a little girl what spirits could not do what warriors could not do a little girl's dance remove the head of a prophet that is not how god rewards those who serve them but this is what happens when you are at the wrong end of this dominion thing the scribes and pharisees because his entire process of baptism was about jesus nobody could touch him nobody could kill him provided the mission was the revelation of jesus the disciples of john at a point in time together with him he got offended and he said go and ask jesus are you the messiah forget that i ordained you i'm not even sure of what i did again and jesus said aha uh -huh, i know what the problem is you have taken your attention from the revelation of me now to yourself for as long as the disciples walked with jesus and the goal was to support the revelation of him they remained invincible and powerful then they asked a question he said come on this thing is it all about you what shall be done to us and division started destruction started until they all disappeared it is dangerous when you listen when the light of god shines through your heart if it is your image that reflects back you are in trouble you are truly yielded when it is jesus that is reflected back because if i stand in front of a mirror and see a dog i know that there is a spirit i'm not a dog if i stand in front of a mirror i should see myself so if you say that he has consumed you and you stand in the mirror strangely you should not see yourself are we together but for many of us when we stand in the mirror our ambitions and self and everything is what we see then we back it up with spirituality and say i must have dominion no it does not work that way god is not a fool are we together now jesus revealed i say jesus glorified this is the simple childlike but potent intent to the whole subject of dominion when i found this many of you may have heard me narrate a few of my stories and i told you that the lord spoke to me many years ago and said son if you will let men see me there is nothing i will not give you if you will let men see me if you can be foolish and stupid enough to hide behind the cross and let jesus be seen and his power revealed help that lady i just saw light there are levels of possibilities in the kingdom you can get out of a realm of trial and error the bible says he that strives for mastery is not crowned unless he strives lawfully 
listen there are realms and dimensions in the spirit job said there is a path which no fowl has seen that the whelps of the lion has not even gotten there there are virgin dimensions in the spirit that are waiting for the saints your yieldedness your yieldedness lord i want to see you revealed in this church see you revealed in my family see you revealed in portacot see you revealed through this business that is the language of dominion the language of dominion is not me the language of dominion is not my agenda now listen you see why the centurion's discussion caught jesus he said for i am a man under uh -huh. not i am a man with not i am a man alongside i am a man under and jesus said who is speaking my language i am under the authority of the government of rome and my my power is derived from coming under only those under authority can be given authority it is a law i am a man under so when the sons of skiva tried to demonstrate dominion the demon said jesus i know we know him by the authority structure paul i know we know him by the authority structure but where do you stand remember there was nothing false in what they said we adjure you by the jesus whom paul preaches that's not the fake jesus so it's not in the pronunciation not the recitation be healed stand up no no it's not a charm it's not it's not some genie that you chant the foundation for speaking that produces result comes from your heart from your relationship and the purity the sincerity of your desire to make jesus known not the accuracy of your english it is not the correct pronunciation of the condition that brings healing or miracles no hallelujah praise the name of the lord these are secrets that i will continue to share for as long as god grants grace it is so simple yet so difficult you would think just because i'm saying it's so simple it is working in it you need an extra grace to live a life that is dedicated to revealing jesus it is when you are about the mission of revealing jesus that you know how stubborn the flesh is the flesh will leave you in peace provided you are revealing yourself but the moment you shift your attention on Jesus, that is when you will see the strength and the rebellion of the flesh. The flesh is stubborn. I have suffered. Let me find expression too. For you are holy, righteous and worthy. Oh Lord, believe Do you know? Many people who experience the miraculous do not even know at what point the power of God started flowing. Usually they will say after an encounter. But let me tell you sincerely, what really happened is in the year King Uzziah died, I saw in the year the flesh died, in the year my desire to be known died, in the year my desire to be the epicenter of my achievement died something happens to men when flesh dies now let me tell you the irony ladies and gentlemen is that it is impossible to be about revealing jesus and then be without relevance no because if i be lifted up from the earth i will draw men beginning from the man lifting me I would always give an example please everybody look up and look at this pulpit the focus is on this part of it is that true but can you pretend not to see this this is not what the pulpit is about but you cannot deny the dexterity of the support so every time while your eyes focuses here it's impossible to ignore this this is you When you become this, you are in trouble because I cannot keep this Bible here. That is not the assignment. So it will keep falling 
and you will keep giving a useless explanation no it was a mistake you don't have faith that's why you were not healed no let God be God and be comfortable being a vessel when you're done please take the glory I'm satisfied just to see you glorified very powerful song when that song becomes true in your life then everywhere he goes whoever is lifting him goes with him if he goes to men of influence the lifter goes to if jesus enters a plane the one supporting him will enter the plane this is how it works i am a man under authority because i am under authority i have soldiers under me and within the jurisdiction of my authority i say to one go and he goes that is dominion it's not saying it and he goes and he's healed and it appears saying it is not dominion it's the effect genesis 1 verse 2 and 4 and god said let there be and there was and he saw and it was good so you know you are walking in dominion when you say and it becomes and then it finds visible manifestation jesus looked at the centurion and said you are an incredible man there is an understanding you have about the kingdom first that the power of your authority is the strength of the authority you are under if i say to those go and they do not go the authority above me is what punishes the authority under me are we together so paul puts it this way he says submit therefore to the authority of christ then he says resist the devil and he will flee he didn't say whenever you see before you speak verify that that authority is still in place if you are sure resist the devil with no fear and he leaves you with an assurance he will flee you are intelligent why will he flee will he flee because you are resisting him no there is a relationship between his fleeing and the validity of the authority you are under are we together now so hear me for all of the miracles and the mighty things look how arrogant it would sound if i were speaking this by my own strength look the kind of intelligent people seated here inside and outside and then i come around the podium and i'm talking with such audacity that in a few minutes there will be healings deliverances miracles and breakthroughs are you that weak for me to play with your mind what gives you the confidence to want to embarrass yourself before the whole world what if nothing happens <laughs> what if after all of these stories nothing happens no healing no deliverance no breakthroughs no testimonies what then happens How does a man speak like this this is what jesus said and they said something is wrong with you you speak with authority when the scribes speak they factor in plan b they are very careful with their statements because they are not even sure where the power comes from but now you show up in a temple and you speak with authority that the spirit of the lord is upon me and then you tell somebody with a withered hand stretch forth your hand stood before lazarus and said lazarus come forth Help Peter's mother-in-law and said, stand up, go and make something for us. Five loaf and two fish, he said, ask the people to sit down. The disciples did not get it for a long time. But then they got to a point where now they had understood the power of that authority. The Bible says when it was the time, the hour of prayer, while they were going, they saw a man who sat at Gate Beautiful. And Peter, now having that understanding, he said, look on us look on us 
you know why he says look on us because they looked on to him if you can look on to jesus then it is all right for men to look on to you because they will not be ashamed look on us and the bible says he looked expecting to receive something and he says silver and gold i do not have but such as i have give i unto you in the name of jesus of nazareth he said rise up and walk and the man was still watching them and he says no based on this technology it should not fail he held him and lifted him and the bible says the man leaping stood the man leaping stood the man leaping stood hallelujah i may not have the time to give you the three keys that activate dominion but maybe i will just list it we may not have the time to explain because my spirit is boiling and i know that god is ready to turn someone's mourning to dancing and someone's sorrow to joy in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god but the first key that really activates dominion is revelation access to light access to light high level spiritual illumination this is a kingdom where possibilities that are activated are based on the strength of your spiritual illumination hallelujah praise the name of the lord ephesians chapter 1 when we begin to read from verse 16 ephesians 1 16 please give it to us ephesians chapter 1 and verse 16 he said i cease not to give thanks for you making mention of you in my prayers uh-huh that the god of our lord jesus christ the father of glory may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him please keep that scripture there you know what revelation is revelation is beyond knowledge when you know a thing it does not mean you have revelation revelation is a combination of knowledge and understanding it is knowledge and understanding revelation comes out of knowledge the bible says you have revelation in the knowledge within that knowledge will come revelation when you know and you understand it has been revealed to you most people have knowledge knowledge talks about awareness awareness of a principle a concept the awareness of a possibility but just having the awareness does not make it manifest understanding now helps you on to know the dynamics of the operations that govern that possibility when these two happen to you you have revelation hallelujah so knowing that god prospers is not revelation that is knowledge understanding the dynamics that surround the economic system of the kingdom in addition to that knowledge is now what revelation is about are we together now and so he says revelation in the knowledge of him verse 18 he says the eyes of your understanding okay we have it there being enlightened that ye may know what is the hope of his calling and what is the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints i like verse 19 and then he says what is the exceeding greatness of his power the exceeding greatness of his power to us word who believe according to the working of his mighty power revelation is powerful every time you walk with the spirit of god and the word of god something begins to happen to you the strength of your knowledge your understanding your revelation is how your dominion grows he says grace and peace is multiplied through knowledge the word there is not just awareness you are coming into a deep comprehension number two is faith for sake of time the second key that truly releases dominion is faith faith it is very important to understand the operations of faith the bible says in mark chapter 11 when you read 22 23 24 mark 11 please for sake of time 22 23 24 jesus answering said unto them have faith in god and then he explains what he meant that whosoever shall say 
so the character of faith is that there must be a saying or there must be action mountain be removed and be cast into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass then he shall have whatsoever he saith verse 24 he says therefore i say unto you what things soever ye desire when ye pray believe that thou receivest them and thou shalt have them you see clearly from that scripture that receiving and having are two different things you can only have what you have received you cannot have what you have not received receiving is an entirely spiritual business hallelujah and then he says you shall have it shall be made manifest in your life so the ministry of revelation activating dominion number two faith taking action that is consistent with the demands that commit God and commit his word number three the anointing this is the third key dominion cannot be in isolation to the power of God Isaiah chapter 61 the spirit of the Lord is upon me he says for he hath anointed me please give it to us reading from verse 1 to 4 he says he hath anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek he had sent me to bind up the brokenhearted. So let me leave the other words and just speak a few words. The anointing came upon me to preach, to bind, to proclaim liberty, to open up the prison. Verse 2, look at the various possibilities. These are dominion components to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all who mourn in Zion. Verse 3. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion to give them beauty for ashes that you can bring beauty as a gift and give people you know what that means to give them beauty is not to it didn't say to make them beautiful to give them that there is something called beauty in the spirit you can bring a man and say take I look at your life and it does not look like the Word of God I can give you beauty as a gift these are not parables beauty for ashes the oil of joy for mourning the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness that they might be called the trees of righteousness the planting of the Lord that he might be glorified let's look at verse 4 verse 4 says and they shall build the old wastes they shall raise up the former desolations and shall repair does that sound like dominion they shall correct the waste cities even the desolation of many generations the anointing of the spirit is powerful it empowers people to anoint classically means to legitimize your operation by making available to you all the resources that makes for your efficiency that's what it means to be anointed to be anointed means to legitimize your operation that means if i send you you are not anointed to go until you have the message the address and the money you see if i say go to a store and buy something i must give you the message buy something the address the store and then the empowerment you see that now because knowing what to buy is the basis of your obedience the address is where you will get it but when you get there an exchange must happen you can have the message you can even know where to go like many people know the message many people know the message they even know the address my family Port Harcourt, Nigeria Europe and they take bold steps of faith but at the point where you stand to exchange the gates will ask you who is this king of glory the lord strong and mighty the lord mighty in battle amen the gates will ask you why should we be open for you now you know that you should heal 
you know that you should heal in the name of Jesus to lay hands on the sick now your hands are on their head without the anointing that is where it ends imagine someone standing in a store and you say listen I was sent look at there is even a letter here that proves that I was sent yes is this XYZ pharmacy yes I was told to come and buy Panadol you are in the correct place how many I need one carton you have the audacity to demand for one carton and they say all right bring hundred thousand naira." say sorry I didn't know I was supposed so Jesus tells the disciples I have taught you the message I mentored you well I have given you the description that you are going to the ends of the earth but tarry tarry having a correct message is not enough <clears throat> even knowing where you should go and what you will do is not enough he gave them a caution tarry tarry until you be endued with power the bible says now when the day of pentecost was fully come acts chapter 1 acts chapter 2 and verse 1 that they were gathered together in obedience because he said tarry listen there are many of us who do not know that the anointing activates dominion things do not change just because you want them to change there is an agency that can come upon men that compels things to change so if this gentleman has a situation in his life just because i am sympathetic towards him does not mean things will change this is a realm beyond sympathy compassion is powerful but let me tell you the the factor that corrects is that anointing acts chapter 10 and verse 38 how god anointed jesus of nazareth with the holy ghost and with power the bible says he went about doing good and healing all day that were oppressed of the devil is that in your bible for god was with him how god anointed jesus of nazareth with the holy ghost and with power how god anointed jesus of nazareth with the holy ghost and with power let me read it again how god anointed the word with the holy ghost and with power that he was the word did not mean that he would go about doing good how god anointed the word the word had to wait for 30 years as the logos of god until he was endued with power the power component is the last digit in the dominion equation in all your getting there must be an investment of god's power upon your life otherwise please forget about dominion you would think that jesus would just show up and begin to do mighty things no the message was already given to moses but moses said listen going to tell pharaoh that you sent me is absolute nonsense pharaoh is a stubborn person who will i tell him has sent me and what will be the token i need something and moses carried the message he knew the address but he carried the rod of god in his heart and on his hand and he was ready and with that mighty miracles happened ladies and gentlemen please hear me i know that there are many things that will be happening here but there are some of you the reason why god brought you here is because in truth in the area of revelation god has helped you some of you your heart is ever inclined to obey but this power dimension has been missing for a long time this is why you preach sincerely you do your best but now at the point of performance in luke chapter 1 and verse 34 the angel appears to mary and brings her glad tidings of great joy and mary is concerned about that salutation and he said how shall these things be seeing that i know not a man 35 is the answer gabriel now replies and says the holy ghost shall come upon you he says and the power of the highest shall overshadow you apostle how will my business rise from portaco to the nations if you think it's just by informing people and letting people know on social media thank god for that but you will see the limitation of men without the power of god <laughs> there are some things that do not happen by human strength 
it is by the power of God how do you stand here and speak that God is going to touch someone and an intelligent person who is seated he came to church consciously is seated quietly minding his business and at the instance of a word something happens no sir that one is not the power of a man that one is the power I'm saying that because it is my prayer that something will fall upon someone and that will be the that will be the last card as far as dominion is concerned that you will rise out of this conference and you will write this date and say on this day on this day I encountered the power of God for ministry I encountered the power of God for my life I encountered the power of God the ability to create and manifest the ability to correct and restore this is dominion but now we do not yet see all things now we look at your life and we do not yet see all things there's still some disease trying to threaten the integrity of the world in your life there's still some negative situation around your life demonic patterns and occurrences that come to mock the integrity of God the assignment of the power of God is to insist that the word of God does not look like a lie in your life without the word of God the anointing of the spirit does not have an assignment the assignment of the anointing the power of God is to ensure that the speakings of God become true in your life hallelujah so number one revelation number two faith number three the power of God Psalm 89 and verse 20 now we'll begin to pray hmm. Psalm 29 89 verse 20 Psalm 89 and verse 20 I have found David my servant with my holy oil have I anointed him reading to 24 verse 21 now with whom my hand shall be established my arm shall also strengthen him 22 it says and the enemy shall not exert upon him nor the son of wickedness afflict him 23 i will beat down his foes before his face who will beat it down i but when you look from a physical standpoint you will think he's the one killing the lion and the bear and everything but he says i will beat down his foes before his face and plague them that hate him 24 he says but my faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him and in my name shall his authority be exalted please hear me Potter court hear me house on the rock I believe that the Lord brought us together even tonight it is not just the miracle service as a display of power from a man of God to a weak people who are hoping that an anointed man will bless them far from it that is not the narrative the lord is bringing a superior orientation to let you know number one that in christ you are a bona fide candidate a recipient of this dominion if and when it happens to understanding light revelation faith but the power of god is important i long to see you he said that i may impart upon you some spiritual gift to the end that he may be established when it has to do with encounter with power there are two principal platforms from scripture as far as encountering genuine power that produces dominion is concerned number one you can receive directly from god through encounters the bible is full of men who encountered god directly for instance solomon and they were given power to command certain possibilities hallelujah but number two which is the more classic operation of God is through vessels that have been empowered by the grace of God I want you to please listen carefully God anoints men principally through men not through bottles no God does not anoint men through bottles or through oil or through mediums those things only find their value if the men who are anointed anoint those things and albeit within the framework of scripture hallelujah so the assignment 
of a vessel that has been anointed by the grace of God is not only to use the power that has been given to command possibilities but to extend the same you see the way the power of God works huh, is like lighting a match or a candle if I light a candle and I use that candle to light another does the first fire reduce one candle can light ten that's the meaning of the word dunamis that by lighting others it does not reduce what you have no no dynamic power that is able to reproduce itself again again so it is possible that part of Moses' spirit can come on 70 elders and yet he still has it and yet the people that it came upon they could not keep quiet and this man remained in silence for a long time with that level of power and part of what was on him came on 70 elders with experience and their mouths could not keep quiet only god knows what men are carrying if one man can carry a legion of spirits you would see the man and just think he's, he's just a man who is a bit depressed not knowing a man who has a legion it, there is nothing a bit there that is the same way you can see a man and think he's just a bit anointed. You would not look at the madman and see spirits. Every, you just saw a level of energy that was not human. He would cut himself. You know how painful it is to cut yourself? And yet he will inflict pain and live in tomes. What did he do with the cold? What did he do with the rain? That's what happens. Unusual manifestations because of a legion. Now imagine what happens when a man stands by the grace of God as a compendium of the multifaceted dimensions of the Spirit of God as revealed in Isaiah 11. The Spirit of the Lord, dominion, the Spirit of wisdom and understanding, counsel and might, fear, the fear of the Lord. Men look like men except that something in them has made them look like God. We all look like men until you stand in the presence of darkness hallelujah so while we begin to pray and among the many things that God begins to do in this place listen to me if you are sick in your body I want you to insist and ensure that you will not walk out of this place with that sickness you see you have a responsibility to agree with God that the season has come to an end take your eyes the key listen for as long as they looked at the snakes it kept biting them and until they died but when they looked onto him your eyes should not be on the situation i know you call it whatever name it is let your eyes be on jesus so you mean that growth can go so you mean that all of these things can leave are you trying to say while i'm seated god can start turning things around and god can can bring healing listen you may have heard me say the lord revealed to me that before jesus returns there will be a a return of the healing ministry again authentic genuine manifestation of the healing ministry some of you may not be sick but the condition that you are going through, you would embrace sickness 10 times. If you were given the option of that pain and sickness, you will embrace it. Growing up, we sang a song that says, some have food, but cannot eat. The part of the song that disturbed me, some can eat, but have no food. Do you know what it means to be able to eat and have no food? You can stay in a house but have no house. I can preach but have no platform. I am sincere but nobody can hear me. I kill the lion and the bear but who will know? It is dangerous to have ability and yet not have visibility. I'm saying that because there are some of you here you have paid your price working with God but it's just that 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 access for the nations to know that God has invested so much in your life is not there and you cannot announce yourself you see you can respect yourself but you cannot honor yourself 
honor is conferred upon you by another there are some of you who are tired of negative circles circles that seem to repeat itself by february you thought it will end now we are in november if you keep quiet like this i pray that it does not happen that next year by this time you still come again don't forget that the man who was at bethesda the bible says he had been there for 38 years i'm sure after the fifth year he would say no problem by the sixth year everything will happen time does not change anything the day you get angry and in the name of jesus said tonight is my night this moment is my moment there is no reason why i should walk away without a testimony listen the woman with the issue of blood said to herself since there was no one to listen to her she said to herself if i may but touch let me just know when jesus is passing i don't care what will happen you can insult me when i'm healed i will tell you sorry if i step on you let me get the miracle first we can discuss the issue of we look to yahweh yahweh our hope is yahweh yahweh lord we look to yahweh yahweh forever yahweh lord i look to yahweh yahweh forever yahweh lord we look to yahweh Yahweh forever Yahweh please listen beloved people of God I want you to make up your mind that you are not the one who will clap for others today that in the name of Jesus for the sake of your children born and unborn for the sake of those who are connected to your destiny you are a man of god here tonight is your night to cry lord i hold on to the horns of the altar something must be loose about my life and my ministry i must access power from heaven that grants me capacity to walk in dominion hallelujah hallelujah praise the name of the lord now please listen I want to begin to minister now hallelujah I just want you to bring for me out those who are under the anointing now please no talking no shouting if you can I just want you to be silent I don't know why God does this but this is the wisdom of God sometimes he just acts in a very very strange way hallelujah praise the name of the Lord now I'm going to pray for you when I mention that case please whether you are an usher or not I want you to bring those people out you call it a miracle service hallelujah praise the name of the Lord the fire of God is going to begin to come on certain people and I will tell you what it is for I want you to please pay attention hallelujah you see there is always one vessel that God uses in every family to be the one who is a deliverer are we together now in every family and sometimes it's not just by the chronological firstborn secondborn you can be the least and yet you are the one that God has chosen now the power of God is coming on these people these sets of people that God is calling to be battle axes particularly in their families I stretch my hands right now please bring them out my God you don't have to be an usher please if if anyone is under the anointing close to you please bring them let's see what we can do with the space we have here in the name of Jesus I decree by the decree of heaven over families raised by God like a reed that has been taken out of fire in the name of Jesus the son of the living God 
like a reed that has been taken even out of fire by the finger of God anointed to be deliverers even by the spirit of the living God Alanda Gabaros Katika Shobra Katikas Shagra Kateva Rekos Kaliga Embra Katekateva Katos Kapra Kaska Venekateva Lakunyata Hallelujah Praise the name of the Lord I'll just pray over this one so that we can have some more people because I'm about to declare and announce deliverance right now over people who have been held bound by all kinds of demonic things in the name of Jesus for all those who are in front here I decree and I prophesy over your life that mantle and that grace to open ancient doors that have been locked up over your family and as I'm praying for them I'm praying for everyone by the power that raised Christ from the dead I hand those keys over to you now in the name of Jesus the son of the living God I decree and declare by the power that created the heavens and the earth here at activate conference 2022 I decree and declare in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God may that anointing rest upon you grant you capacity to bring others out your family members out all who are connected to you by bloodline in the name of Jesus Christ Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I declare this upon you to the glory of the name of Jesus now please hear me I'll pray for the sick shortly but you see spirits do not only manipulate men spirits can manipulate conditions spirits don't only possess men they can possess conditions that means a spirit can find expression over a condition and you find out that the same way men behave that is how that condition will behave hallelujah the bible says now the lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty i want to pray for you that if God be God everything that has threatened your liberty that is in Christ I want you to open your heart to receive because you will be surprised that many things that you are going through in your life are orchestrated by the presence of spirits even in ministry even in family even in hell in the name that is above all names I decree and declare over God's people that everyone who is under the yoke of any demonic influence by the power that raised Christ from the dead and by the blood of the eternal covenant help them I decree and declare be set free now be set free now be set, help them please be set free now I command those spirits in the name of Jesus let them go by the blood of the eternal covenant for the Bible says blotting every handwriting and ordinances that spoke against us that he nailed into his cross therefore we establish the victory that is in Christ and we announce your liberty in the name of Jesus we announce your liberty in the name of Jesus we announce your liberty in the name of Jesus the spirit of death the spirit of inheritance the spirits of poverty the spirits that control patterns repeating cycles shabakatoska pegata embreketes kapata by the fire of the holy ghost anyone here who is a victim of repeated patterns in the name of jesus and by the grace upon this altar we announce your liberty we announce your liberty please help that lady we announce your liberty 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 in the name of Jesus I want you to pay attention every chain that has tied you down that will not allow you make constructive kingdom progress I stand upon this grace tonight 
and under the corporate anointing in this place i'm seeing chains breaking from people's hands as i speak in the name of jesus chains break chains break chains break chains break stagnation comes to an end chains break in the name of jesus christ hallelujah there are families here that have repetitions of sicknesses that you find out everybody has the same kind of sickness and no matter how medically attentive they are to that situation it does not seem to have a solution i make reference again to what was said in the time of jesus who sinned that this man was born blind him or his father and jesus said neither but this has happened that the glory of the lord be revealed therefore in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god and upon the authority of that which christ represents i decree and declare that everything that is inconsistent to the program of god and the liberty of the saints be delivered from it now hallelujah he delivered from it now he delivered from it now be delivered from it now be delivered from it now all doors open all doors open all doors open i'm saying it to someone this is not for everybody all doors all doors open i declare it all doors but God, hear my voice all doors open all doors open ministry doors open business doors open help that woman career doors open all doors open the doors of influence the doors of access the doors of opportunity for he said a great and effectual door is open but many are the adversaries i clear the adversaries out of the way but as for that door by all means be open in the name of jesus and for certain doors we not only declare that be open we declare be broken it says he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god we decree and declare i say it again that the gates and doors they represent systems of access that transit people from one realm of possibility to the other i stand by the god of heaven every door that has shut you and impeded your advancement i speak to it now let it be open hither and deeper in the name of jesus christ hallelujah listen jesus speaking about the power of faith and relating it to doors he says which of you that a man comes to knock your door in the night wanting that you help him with food because he has visitors or because he's late and you tell him listen you came at a wrong time your timing is not correct i've already gone to bed with my family but the bible says because of his importunity his consistency to knock that you will get up and give him as many loaves as he's desired there is a level of pressure you mount upon the integrity of god that compels doors to be opened for the last time i declare over those doors in the name that is above all names we are not praying that some will open in acts chapter 12 the bible says all doors open not some not some the door of your spiritual life should not open leaving your finances the door of your finances should not open leaving the door of character no we declare again all doors open say amen all doors open all doors open in the name of jesus according to revelation chapter 3 from verse 8 and 9 it says that i set before you an open door and it says none can shut it and he said that happens by the mystery of the key of david he that openeth 
and no man can shut that means when doors are open it's men that shut them but there is something i can do to that door he that is the holder of the key of david that opens a door that no man i say it again that by the mystery of the key of david access to superior light this door be open and remain open isaiah was prophesying and he says your gates shall be continually opened they will not be shut day or night so that you will receive the forces of the gentiles hallelujah he said where you have been deserted so that no man will walk through you that you become an eternal excellency even a joy of many generations may that be so for you and for those who are here in front i decree and declare by the power of the holy spirit it is a new season for you now i want to pray a very serious prayer that god just put in my spirit hallelujah those in front if you can god bless you you can return back let me pray for this officer i was very touched um just seeing him just come and lie in the presence of god sir i want to pray for you i believe in the power of the holy spirit and i believe in your hunger i want to pray that that which you seek you see according to james 2 26 a body is useless except it is empowered by a spirit in every component there is the body and there is a spirit a business is a body without a spirit it is dead are we together now ministry is a body without a spirit spirits empower bodies so be sure that everything you are doing has its spirit component i want to pray for you sir a man wearing his uniform as an officer would not come and officers are powerful people they have been trained using the highest levels of strictness possible but you see the same way you are standing before the people of God that is the same way God will announce and honor you visibly listen there is an anointing called the kingmaker anointing a, a kingmaker never becomes a king but he enthrones and dethrones kings Samuel never became a king, but no king ever ascended to the throne, ignoring his ministry. Let me pray for you, sir. No eye has seen, no ear has heard what God has prepared for you. So you submit to his work in you till Christ is formed in you. No eye has seen, no ear has heard what God has prepared for you. So you submit to His work in you till Christ be formed in you, till His glory be formed in you, His wisdom revealed through you, His power rests on you so you submit to his work in you till Christ I stretch my hands towards you by the privilege of the election of grace I release grace upon you the grace for visibility I measure a thousand cubits in the realm of the spirit and in the name of Jesus first as far as your practice is concerned receive grace take that anointing right now you will break lips and bounds you will in the name of Jesus you will run through a troop you will leap over walls even by the power of the Holy Spirit and I declare upon you rise to the highest level in your practice even by the favor of God you will not die in battle you will work valiantly in the name of Jesus Christ this is by the decree of the watchers may the Lord honor his word in the name of Jesus I pray amen and amen I want to pray right now listen every territory is in trouble until it can find a rich investment of the spirit of prayer and intercession I want you to listen very carefully there is a relationship between the spirit of prophetic intercession and the corporate territorial manifestation of dominion you can have dominion as an individual 
but a territory only assumes a posture of dominion in the spirit to the degree to which you find men who understand the mysteries of the altar i want to release a grace upon you because you see when a territory does not have men who pray strategic prophetic prayer ezekiel 22 said i sought for a man that he would stand in the gap i sought for a man it is in the place of prayer that you will have access to negotiate destinies like abraham did over sodom and gomorrah God came to Abraham to report what he was going to do. That is what it means to be a friend of God. Shall I hide this from my friend Abraham, seeing that he would be a great nation? And Abraham said, hold on with your judgment. Per adventure, you find 50 people, then 20 people, then 10 people. He said, for their sake. And he gave him a chance to rescue Lot. And the wife of Lot would have been rescued except she turned back. And I said, if any man draws back, my soul will have no pleasure in him. Please listen carefully. River State, Port Harcourt, South South. The program of God, as far as influence and dominion over systems and structures, is at the mercy of men and women who know how to transact possibilities in the spirit even through prayer when jesus came he was not just learned he did not just teach the disciples and let me tell you when it has to do with the ministry of prayer and prophetic intercession is more than give me tea and give me bread god can literally listen there are three levels of authority this is not my assignment tonight but let me just share it with you the first and the lowest level of authority is authority over things. When God grants you access to things, it is not such an accomplishment in the spirit. Authority over things. The second level of authority is authority over nations. Are we together? The highest level of authority a man can command on earth is authority over God's program. Listen carefully. Authority over things. Then authority over nations and territories. Men. But the highest level of authority is God can commit his program to you. And say, listen, this is what I desire to do over a people. And I am trusting you. You will steward that move. There are people here. This, I'm saying this because there are many levels of impartations that will happen. Others are receiving that impartation that grants you access to authority over things. Others, God is measuring a thousand cubits for you. And he's increasing your territorial influence. People do not just command territories across nations. It is not just about human recommendations. No, this thing is an accreditation in the spirit that is reflected in the earth. A man approved of God, he said. Are we together? In the parable of the five, two, and one talent, if you remember Matthew 25, the blessing that was given to them for faithful stewardship of talent, he did not just give them more talent. He said, well done, good and faithful servant. I now commit to you authority over kingdoms. So he used the talent as a test. He gave unto one physical things as the first level of authority to steward things like money, you see, when God gives you money and gives you things, land, that is wonderful. But in the realm of the spirit, you are not very much. But then he gives you authority over nations. You step into nations and regions and change the spiritual climate over that place. You see that now. And it has a physical reflection. Elijah did not say, let there be no rain in a radio house or a TV house. He stood from a position and influenced the territory and it responded physically then the highest level is the program of god where god can say because you are alive i know that my program for this dispensation is preserved so i want to pray the spirit of prayer and prophetic intercession this is more than the realm of give me tea lord give me bread lord help me I'm saying this because some of you hear me some of you if not for this conference your bishopric is about to be taken by others because God has committed this to you but because you see the ministry of intercession is very unattractive 
it does not seem to carry physical rewards because nobody knows you you may not be invited for conferences no honorarium as Anna the prophetess yet that is the ministry that brings Jesus to the earth I decree and declare men and women by the power of the Holy Spirit according to Ezekiel 22 the mantle of the intercessor the mantle of a watcher Makatos Ketepa let that grace fall on you now the spirit of prayer and supplication understand the mysteries of the altar command power in the heavens I decree and declare in the name of Jesus Christ over the climate of Potakot over the climate of River State over the climate of the South South help this woman please I decree and declare right now may you be granted access to the seeing eye and the hearing ear in the name of Jesus Christ discern the speakings of the spirit and obtain grace to hold on to the horns of the altar till the program of God is better within a season prayer that allows or disallows the program of God hallelujah let's pray for the sick now I want you to pay attention please please listen everyone whether you are inside or outside why is the healing ministry important i will tell you the healing ministry is important principally because god designed the human spirit to only find expression in this domain when it is in partnership with a human body listen carefully please and everybody is given one body per lifetime you are not given the liberty of having many bodies within one lifetime it is the exhaustion of one body that is called a lifetime from birth till the time you transit are we together now a lifetime is not measured by longevity of time the day the physical body is exhausted your lifetime has finished even if it's one day so there are babies that have a lifetime of two hours is that true you only measure it by the presence or the absence of the health of their bodies and God so designed the spirit of man to only dwell in a body when it has a threshold level of health and vitality please listen and learn that means when Satan wants to kill you he begins by administering sickness to your body every administration of sickness is death coming to your corridors are we together now so when we pray for people to be healed it is more than validating the anointing of the man of God God is giving your body and your spirit a chance to coexist for the purpose of his program are we together why does God heal he does not just heal to reveal his love which is important he does not just heal to reveal his power which is important but he heals because if your body is dissociated from your spirit based on the law of territory you no longer has have legitimacy to function upon the earth your spirit will have to relocate to a dimension are we together now this is very important it is the reason why no spirit functions on earth except and unless there is partnership with human bodies and the human body was so designed to have so much space in the spirit that many spirits can coexist within a human body are we together yeah it is the reason why demons clamor for human bodies they clamor for bodies but the best is the body of a human and i hope you know for you to be a human you first have to be a spirit you can't be a man except your spirit every man is first a spirit then he resides within a mortal body are you learning now so when we pray for the sick and we correct by the power of God and normally within your body I repeat again that it is more than just it is an extension of your life it is proof that God loves you and now he's granting you a chance to live resurrection is simply giving a spirit a chance to come back to a body 
so that it can live because the spirit is not dead but if it does not come it cannot walk again that is the reason why when Jesus Christ was coming from heaven the first time he didn't have a body God needed to partner with a woman to manufacture a body for the word called Jesus are we together and when that body came watch this now when Jesus died and resurrected you thought he would leave the body on the ground like Moses and go he went with the body again so that the next time he's coming virgin or no virgin the next time he's coming there is no discussion with anybody he can come any day because he has a body this is why we know that the return of Christ is true because the body he will use to return he already has so I want to pray for the sick right now please hear me it is wicked for you to think I do not need healing when you are sick sorry to be that harsh the reason is because you need to know that there are many destinies connected to you are we together now and even if you love your condition like that for the sake of those who need you man of God for the sake of those who depend on your vitality to hear the gospel you must open up yourself to be healed and listen I hope you know that even for your loved ones who are afar off like it happened to the centurion and stand by faith and believe for them are you ready for healing now now here's what I want you to do very quickly for those outside let me encourage you I do not know the condition for those outside and I want you to know that no matter what price you go through tonight I want you to know that this is a sacrifice and an investment for the sake of what God is doing in your life everybody God you uses mightily today had moments in their lives where they made sacrifices in the rain in the sun and in any condition you must love where you are going better than where you are and be willing to pay any price are we together now I'm going to pray our time is up and I need to be very fast about this I'm going to rebuke that devil of infirmity and the moment that happens I will declare your healing all those who find out that the power of God has touched them some of you I'm sure when you fell under the anointing or something happened to you there are all kinds of miracles that have happened may I request when I allow you to that you come right to my left here in the front or to my right there will be a few pastors who will take that testimony and even if it's just two or three for us to glorify Jesus and then I will end up declaring over your life is that fine Please lay your hands where you are trusting God for healing. Lay your hands where you are trusting God for healing. Lay your hands where you are trusting God for healing. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just make contact with your chest. And then if you are standing for someone, you can make contact with your chest as a point of contact. As we worship in your presence, there is healing. The Holy Spirit's gentle touch is flowing, Jesus, we believe, Jesus, there is healing in your Saints and the angels bow, the redeemed worship you now. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. I decree and declare now, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, the power that defeated death, hell, and even the grave, in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God I declare that every spirit that is back of any and every infirmity here represented leave now in the name of Jesus shout a believing amen leave now shout a believing amen leave now 
shout a believing amen leave now now i release the power of god to your body i declare my god i just sense fire leaving my hands and just touching people be healed right now be healed right now be healed right now be healed right now eye conditions i declare be healed right now bone conditions you are here and you could not walk or you are using an aid in the name of jesus i want you to lift it and begin to walk now by the power that raised christ from the dead i pray for everyone with heart palpitations heart palpitations i declare be healed right now anyone who cannot see completely or partially i bring restoration to your sight in jesus name every growth and every swelling in your body i command it to disappear now the lord is healing back pain very severe back pain be healed right now peptic ulcer be healed now please help them blood conditions you don't need to bring them out don't worry blood conditions right now i decree and declare my god miracles are happening there is someone i don't know if it's that you hit this side of your head just this side whether you hit it on a wall or is it that you fell and from that time you've been having excruciating pain the power of god is touching you right now the power of god is touching you right now there is a lady you have suffered excruciating pain on your left breast it's not like there is a swelling or something but there's been severe pain in the name of jesus that devil leaves your body now anyone here suffering the issue of blood be healed now Lift your hands and give him praise. Give him all the worship. Father, we worship you. We bless your name. King of kings and Lord of lords. Let's lift our hands to heaven, to the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. The Mighty One, to Jesus, the Son of the Living God. You are my hiding place You always fill my heart With songs of deliverance Whenever I am afraid I will trust in you I will trust in you let the weak say i am strong 
in the strength I will trust in you I will trust in you let the weak say I am strong like you to open your mouth in one minute and cry to the God of heaven I have come tonight oh God for an encounter this is a miracle service I have come to see Jesus enthroned over every pain every sickness every infirmity are you praying He will come and save you. He will come and save you. Say to the weary ones, your God will surely come. He will come and save you. He will come and save you. He will come and say, Lift up your eyes to Him. You will arise again. He will come and say, Father, tonight we pray that you will walk wonders in the midst of your people. We have come to experience your power and to experience your grace. We cry, O oh God, and in the name of Jesus, that everything that does not name the name of Christ, it must bow to the Lordship of Jesus tonight. Let burdens be lifted tonight. Let gates and doors be opened tonight let age-long captivities give way finally and for someone here your life is about to be an explanation that jesus is still alive that after tonight you will not need to talk much something about your life will testify that jesus is alive hallelujah Last week I taught you that results are also evangelists. There is a kind of gospel that only results can preach. Hallelujah. For some of you, you have been talking and giving explanations too long. It's time to be still and let the mighty results that come through your life do the speaking. Your results will tell men there is a God in heaven. Your results will tell men he still loves you. Your results will tell men he's still a restorer. Your results will tell men he's still a deliverer. In the name of Jesus Christ, let your faith be alive. Don't be distracted. This is a night to encounter God and to receive all that he's had in store for you. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. God bless you. Please be seated. I welcome every one of us to our miracle service for January. Happens to be the first for this year 2022. What should you expect in, the mir in a miracle service like this? The manifestation of the power of God. It's as simple as that. To heal, to deliver, to bless. The preaching of the gospel is not complete until there is a demonstration of the power.
power and the grace of God. It is important for men and women to know that Jesus is alive, not just by the speakings of the saints, but the performance that only the mighty hand of God can bring. Hallelujah. Let me prophesy again that tonight there must be a performance in your life. Yeah. Hallelujah. It was Charles and Francis Hunter of blessed memory who said, one genuine miracle will be worth a thousand sermons. One genuine miracle. I believe in miracles. I believe in the power of God. I believe in the God that heals, the God that delivers. I believe in the God that restores. I believe in the God that can change the stories of men. It would be a dangerous thing if there is no possibility for our stories to be changed. That means your yesterday will still be your tomorrow. But there is a God who can create a divide between yesterday and today and tomorrow like the Red Sea parting. Listen, I want you to know that the power of God is in this place and you must lend your destiny your attention because as surely as the Lord lives, whatever came with you here that was not sent by God, we know what God sent to go with you. And if there is anything that followed you to this place, as surely as the Lord lives, you are only seeing it for the last time. You are only seeing it for the last time. He said, these Egyptians that you see today, that you shall see them no more forever. You shall see them no more forever. This embarrassment, this shame, this reproach, this poverty, this hardship, you shall see it no more forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are in the presence of the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the all-powerful God. As soon as I came down from the vehicle, I started sensing, I know when one of the graces that God has given me is the ability to not only have anointings but to discern graces and know what it is what kind of workings of the spirit to be found in a place by the kind of grace that flows hallelujah and when i began to sense that anointing i knew for sure that there there listen there will be such such a grace there is a grace that makes for performance performance means what you have heard you will see it is it is the grace listen it is the grace for performance that converts that which is spoken to that which is seen in the name of Jesus Christ give God a chance to surprise you tonight hallelujah let me start tonight the Lord put it in my heart while I was praying just to pray and speak a blessing all all of our precious family who have come from diaspora if you have come from any part of the world aside nigeria please stand i want to start with you tonight what nation is that what's that angola let's celebrate angola hallelujah we may not have the time but there are literally people coming. Please help me honor and bless my uncle and auntie all the way from UK. Please can you give them a big, big God bless you. Hallelujah. Whether you are the overflow, whether... And then for those following online, by the way, you are part of us, so I'm going to pray for you. Thousands of people from everywhere. 
why would someone travel 17 hours five hours one hour seven hours from one region to one region to encounter god only for them to return and the only testimony is that i came to church not here gentlemen there is a god in heaven this is the place of encounter do to me what you want this is the place of surrender this is the place where your life is changed in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god i pray for all our foreign delegates and all those who have come from every part of this nation and then those who have come from around the world non-nigerians or those who have come in from diaspora in the name that is above all names i prophesy over your life right now the challenge you came here with by the god of heaven the maker of the heavens and the earth let it bow to the lordship of jesus now let it bow to the lordship of jesus now delay retrogression financial embarrassment spiritual bankruptcy we declare judgment over you now in the name of jesus the son of the living god every nation here represented i speak to you rise to a new dimension a new dimension of fire a new dimension of grace in the name of jesus christ and we use you as points of contact to speak to your nations by the power that raised christ from the dead every nation here represented let there be angelic visitations over those territories hallelujah one of the ladies that came from angola where is angola the power of god is coming on two of you right now please bring them out let's start with you i'm seeing an anointing atmosphere she now chains be broken hallelujah in the name of jesus i stretch my hands you will take this grace and go back to angola great fire what do you do what tap this man for me what do you do I'm a come again I'm a businessman. You're a businessman. Stand. Your life is about to change. Listen. Listen. There is a grace that enthrones. No king makes himself a king. There is a grace that enthrones. I stand by the apostolic and the prophetic. I stretch my hands towards you. I shift you to a new dimension in business. Take that fire. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will never, never, never be the same. In the name of Jesus Christ, I open the gates of your business fair for you. You will return a sign and a wonder. My dear, stand. What's your name? Who is Patricia? What's your name? Antonieta Patricia. I want to pray for you. There is an anointing that is coming upon you. What do you do? That's that's all right. Create business for the government in Angola. Okay, you create business because I am seeing not only Angola. Huh? Write it down. You have something to do with Congo. Congo yes, DRC. True. Congo DRC. Correct. What do you have to do with Congo? Uh, we want to do commercialization of diamonds. Because I'm seeing God is bringing you favor from Congo. Amen. By reason of this, I stretch my hands. May that anointing come upon you may the gates of congo drc be open for you in the name of jesus christ celebrate jesus please go back to your seat quickly there is only one name 
There is only one name, power to save. With power to save. Hallelujah. Who is Sylvester? I'm hearing a name Sylvester will be seated shortly. Who is Sylvester? You are wearing a brown like traditionals. Brown with short hands. Is there someone like that? Come. Where are you coming from? What's your name? Come. Where are you coming from? I'm coming from Kuchigoro Airport, sir. My dear brother, your life is about to change. You came here praying. I don't know you. I don't know anything about you. Yes. I raised that song and the Holy Spirit told me, Sylvester, yes, in the name of Jesus Christ. Listen, the grace tonight is the grace, this kingmaker anointing. The grace that is, is enthroning man. He said, there is a, a, I have seen a mystery that servants are riding on horses while princes walk afoot. Hear me. Anywhere you should be seated now, anyone sitting there or any power stopping you from sitting by this anointing in the name of jesus help them please in the name that is above all names be seated in your rightful place by prophecy in the name of jesus Servants ride on horses while princes walk afoot. But my Bible says we have been made unto God kings and priests and that we reign on earth. I'm about to pray. I want you to bring those people outside. There, I'm seeing the number 21. There are 21 people. If the anointing comes on you, there is something wrong with your family. There is witchcraft that is stopping people from rising. This is what I'm seeing. 21 people, wherever they are, by the name that is above all names, I decree and declare, let the power of God bring liberty now. Please bring them out. Every anomaly that is stopping those who should rise, champions in the spirit, yet bound by witchcraft, he said, lose him and let him go. Lose him and let him go. Open your mouth and begin to pray in the name of Jesus. Those chains, those chains over my life. Please bring them out. Lose him and let him go. Bound by the orchestrations of witchcraft. I'm still praying. Families, men and women destined to rise. But there are powers sitting on their destinies. And nobody seems to make progress. You go to school, it's like you didn't go to school. You are connected to great people, it's like you are not connected. By the fire of the Holy Ghost, let there be judgment over every wickedness. Judgment over every wickedness. Judgment over every wickedness. hallelujah justina i'm hearing a name justina will be seated shortly but who is justina please let's not be careless don't just rush out carelessly justina who is that Where are you coming from, madam? Stand up. I want to pray for you. I'll pray for all of you. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing both of your hands tied in the spirit. Physically, there's nothing like that. But in the realm of the spirit, I'm seeing both of your hands tied. Can I pray for you, madam? I don't know anything about you and your family, but I want to pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, the chains that hold your hand and will not let you go, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, let it release you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Ah. 
there is a woman here i'm going to pray for people but there is a woman here i'm seeing a hand like this and it's counting five years without a child who is that five years one two three four five you're trusting god for the fruit of the womb it's time to end this thing once and for all please make sure you don't just come out carelessly five years there is a god in heaven i want to pray for you thank you jesus salika toza madam look at me is your husband here i think he should be outside oh he's outside <laughs> madam you believe in jesus i stretch my hands towards you i will pray for you that have come but particularly careful careful with her so she doesn't injure herself listen look at me in the name that is above all names i prophesy to you according to the time of life i don't care what the medical report is in that name that is above every other name like eli prophesied to hannah the power of god is coming on you right now you receive your miracle child now what's your name my dear this lady jumping i want to pray for you Madam, I stretch my hands in the name of Jesus Christ. God is restoring business people. This is what I'm hearing in my spirit. There, there, there is a certain crown that was on your head and yet that crown has been taken and you are moving as a king without crown. This is a prophetic word for someone but God is saying by his mercy, he's putting back that crown upon your head. He's putting back that crown of honor. There is no king without a crown. In the name of Jesus, let there be that enthroning upon you by the Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please make sure you, are not, you don't just come out here carelessly. What is this gentleman doing? All of you five years, this is your wife husband and wife hold your hands two of you just lift it up i want to pray for you look at me i curse that spirit huh now in the name of jesus let them go now i release you by the spirit of god the same way you stood here this is how you will stand with your wife holding your baby in the name of jesus christ now i use this as a point of contact and i pray for all those who are standing here every demon that is stopping you from taking in for 13 years sir you see the the church of the lord jesus christ is like a hospital you understand don't be ashamed and afraid when you are before the presence of god because he can surprise you Madam, 13 years. Yes, sir. You believe that you can return with your testimony? Yes, sir. Please lay one hand on your stomach, even though I've prayed for everybody. Seven miscarriages. Huh? Seven miscarriages. It's all right, madam. Don't worry. You see, when Jesus comes, he does not come to sympathize with your problem. He comes to change it completely lay your hands let me pray for you father lay one hand on your womb lord jesus i stretch my hands right now over this man and his dear wife in the name that is above all names i decree and declare that the spirit that is back of miscarriages seven of them let them go now release them and according to the time of life right now in the mighty name of jesus return with your miracle in jesus name i pray why is that gentleman here huh Sir, I'm here. My, business is not working at all. my friend i will pray for you where eh? you just go back and i'm just just come when i call the cases right i know that you desire but you see we this thing we're not guessing we walk as the holy spirit helps us and leads us don't feel embarrassed huh? 
but I'll pray with you right so you just hang when we are praying you receive or if we call a case that is similar to yours then you come hallelujah why are they here 10 years you 10 years too I'll pray with you hallelujah eh. hallelujah eh. The power of God is coming on one of you. I just saw an anointing come on one of you. I'm going to pray for all of you, but this is the instruction God gave me. I just saw an anointing coming on one of you. And I decree and declare by the Spirit of grace, please don't come out at random. Um, let these ones represent all the ones who are not here by now. Praise God. The power of God is coming on one of you. And in the name of Jesus, I rebuke everything that represents embarrassment in the area of career let it go now i prophesy to you in jesus name listen to me that soon after this miracle service the lord will surprise you with a job you will come and stand before the people of god and you will testify and i use them as a point of contact please help i'm seeing two people in the spirit like i will always say I'm seeing them run out by the anointing. Just help them. You can bring them out carefully so they don't injure themselves and those around them in this auditorium now. You know, there are angels that walk based on what the Holy Spirit is doing. And so sometimes uh, it's not just what I'm saying. There is God walking in the midst of his people. I am just seeing angels. There's, there's, there's a strong angelic manifestation and I'm seeing two people running, like running out by the anointing. God is breaking something that represents delay in their lives so when please when you have those two people bring them right now let me pray for these people so that we'll get into the business help them so they don't injure themselves and injure others gentlemen i use you as a point of contact to pray for everyone who is trusting god to honor you in that wise in the area of your career in the name of jesus let this be the miracle service that releases you in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. amen and amen. Please bring them, those two people that I mentioned right now, who will begin to run out by the Spirit. If you've, if you've identified them, let me have them here. I want to pray for them right now. Hallelujah. 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 They call you Junior. Who is that? Junior. You are at the back. This is what I'm seeing. They call you Junior. The Holy Ghost is showing me that this man is at the back. Who is that? What's your name? Huh? What's the name? Junior. Come. I want to pray for you. Where are you from, my friend? Niger State, sir. Huh? Niger. I want to pray for you because there is there is restoration that God is bringing not only to you but to your family members I stretch my hands right now may that anointing come upon you and let things turn around take that grace now in the name of Jesus Christ I prophesy restoration even as the Lord is revealing to me let there be supernatural restoration even over your family in the name of Jesus Christ nothing missing nothing broken kept by the power of God in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah something is going to happen here right now the Lord is opening my eyes I'm seeing the map of Nigeria and in that map, I just saw like a wind and it's going towards the southwest. And listen, 
when God reveals things to me like this is because he's imparting people sometimes when I mention the states the power of God will meet the people of that state so I believe that the southwest represents a Yoruba nation I'm stretching my hands right now in the name of Jesus please bring them out the power of God there are families within that region if you belong to that region and there is anything tying you down this is your moment of release I decree and declare right now I'm telling you there's fire just coming on people I like you to identify them bring them out right now by the power of the Holy Spirit some of you are standing in for your family members you are not just standing for yourselves you are standing for your family members God is bringing liberty help that woman please in the name of Jesus at the count of three that anointing is coming right now one two southwest three take that fire now in the name of Jesus take that fire bring them as fast as you can every under the yoke and the bondage of darkness as represented in that region I decree and declare that cause that yoke that enchantment is broken now that enchantment is broken now that enchantment is broken now there is a cause listen to me i'm seeing a yoke and an embargo that perpetuates poverty over families this is what i'm seeing no matter how hard working no matter how diligent this is not just the southwest thing again i think i should just finish with that because i want to break that yoke now listen pay attention to these prayers they are not just empty speakings it is the holy spirit identifying people's problems all those who are in front here and all those who are the overflows or wherever in the name of jesus every yoke tying your family those in front here at the count of three i command those devils to leave one two go go out of their lives now out of their destinies release them release their families in the name of jesus christ release them release their families in the name of jesus christ now i want to pray listen listen it is a dangerous thing to be a victim of the spirit of poverty it is poverty that leads to servitude it is poverty that creates the distraction that interrupts people from giving god their all waking up in the morning sleeping late in the night only to eat the bread of sorrow he brought you here to end this once and for all listen for some of you, your loved ones are sincere people, but they didn't have the opportunity to encounter the grace that will set them free. They were not lazy. It's just that these spirits move from generation to generation. Can I pray for you? This is a very serious prayer. Father, every family inside the overflows outside following online that is under the yoke and the siege kabarata sadi salata parandesh kebarus kadila kapa krate gadila kosia covenants of fathers they went to consult powers to look for wealth and it backfired help them please harato shadegedea covenants of fathers when to meet enchanters to give them the power to make wealth it is only god who can lift and give sustainable blessings right now i decree and declare anyone bring them out any family under the siege of the covenant that leads to hardship paratos i'm seeing fire just coming on people breaking covenants innocent people went to consult with mediums consult with spirits of the dead slept in graveyards 
all in the search for wealth i stand by the anointing of the holy spirit i decree and declare that covenant is broken now that covenant is broken now that curse is lifted now that covenant is broken now wicked spirits that will not allow individuals rise wicked spirits that will not allow your glory to be seen even financially putting you in a position of perpetual embarrassment you start a business it dies you get a job they sack you you step into partnership you go down in the name of jesus anyone who is a victim of the aforementioned by the power that raised christ from the dead be delivered now be delivered now listen I've shared with you you have listened to my encounters but let me share this with you for those of you who have not heard it please bring them will soon be seated thank you for your patience I told you that many years ago I was praying in my room then and while praying the Lord opened my eyes and suddenly my ceiling shifted and it was no longer the building and then I'm seeing this creature looking at me giant eyes one of the eyes was like a human head two of them and then it looked like something like a dinosaur and then the tail the tail had its own life that means you could detach the tail and it will still be alive and I saw it with red eyes looking at me and he said so you want to bring God's people into blessings and I saw that that is the spirit that is responsible for the poverty of territories sitting over the glory of men from the day I saw that thing I knew that there, there is a dimension of poverty that comes with laziness there is a dimension of poverty that comes with lack of value and lack of product productivity but hear me there is a dimension of poverty that is spiritual I'm saying it again everyone here trapped under the yoke of that spirit or your loved ones they may not be here some of them have been abroad for years but there is absolutely nothing to show for it some of them have been in several regions walking in choice places but this spirit will not let them build a glorious life in the name that is above all names i command that influence to live now i command that yoke broken now one of the strategies of satan to distract your commitment towards spiritual things is to use economic distraction the moment you are distracted economically you will not have the time to focus on the things of god hallelujah i declare deliverance for these ones by the power that is in the name of jesus christ be delivered right now in the name of jesus christ amen please be seated if you can one of the blessings please look up one of the blessings of miracles and signs and wonders and supernatural manifestations of the hand of god one of the blessings is that it can cause men to know for a shorty that there is a god in heaven that rules over the affairs of men when the miraculous is absent most times that god consciousness is lost over the lives of a people but when they see the mighty manifestation of the hand of god 
it can reveal to them the might and the power of God then it also reveals to them the states of their hearts it was by the miracle that happened to Peter Peter was fishing and he did not catch anything and Jesus said little children have you any catch he said cast your net to the right side when he caught so much fish he looked at Jesus and said depart from me I am a sinner something about that miracle revealed to him the state of his heart hallelujah when the miraculous happens without Jesus being at the center of it let me tell you what happens people enjoy the miracles they receive the manifestations of the power of God but most times their attention will just end on the man who was used by God to perform the miracle and they forget about Jesus and they never live with a functional relationship with Jesus Christ I've shared with you my passion and this is our passion in this ministry that in everything and through everything that is done the entire goal is to use it as a means to cause men to believe in that name the name of Jesus the one exalted as Lord and Christ if we lose that then no matter what happens no matter how powerful and how great it is it will be very small as far as impact is concerned from the standpoint of heaven God's measure of impact is the degree to which that activity revealed Jesus not just to the degree to which the activity blessed men blessing men is secondary the degree to which whatever activity reveals Jesus and glorifies him is how impactful that activity was as far as the realm of the spirit is concerned and then of course the degree to which it transformed and blessed people so the miracle service is really no miracle service except and unless it is able to connect people to Jesus Christ the son of the living God let me show you two scriptures and then I'll begin to minister proper mark chapter 3 we'll start reading from verse 13 mark 3 13 mark chapter 3 from verse 13 the Bible says and he goeth up into a mountain the he being Jesus and calleth unto him whom he would and they came unto him verse 14 he says and he ordained 12 to what end number one that they should be with him then and they and that he might send them forth to preach the first assignment is the relationship he didn't just call them to be preachers he called them to be with him to build a functional relationship with him and then they should go forth and preach verse 15 the last verse now it says and to have power to heal sicknesses and to cast out devils all because they were with him are we together now desiring the miraculous desiring the manifestation of the power of God in isolation to that desire to know Jesus will lead men to catastrophe you will receive the miracles but it will not profit you because the presence of the person that immunes you permanently from that attack and that onslaught of darkness is not there so whatever you receive through the prophetic or through whatever vessel God uses will always be temporary you see when you go to a herbalist a native doctor a spiritist a diviner he's not interested in a relationship with you all he wants you don't even need to know his name except if the spirit ask him to ask you the name otherwise you can just go and say look I'm looking for power to get wealth or power to do this and that and he tells you he will bring the list go and provide this once you provide it he does it he gives you whatever you have to collect and you leave you don't need to know his name he doesn't need to know your name in fact you may not even know where you went to because usually it's wicked people that take others there so it's possible that you don't even know the place you just know that you were driving in thick darkness until you got somewhere so satan is not interested in, in a relationship he's interested in oppression he does not lead people through relationships he leads people through fear 
are we together now but when you come to jesus more than just giving you things he wants to build that relationship with you and then on the strength of that relationship he can now release you to first be the number one beneficiary of that relationship through the manifestation of his hand on your life then from the standpoint of that conviction you can now reach others this is how it works when he met moses he was not just interested in sending moses to pharaoh he had that relationship with moses a deeper relationship moses said who shall i tell pharaoh has sent me and he said i am that i am go and tell pharaoh i am had sent you are we together in acts chapter 4 acts chapter 4 we'll start reading from verse 8 acts chapter 4 and verse 8 this was this was peter in defense he was he was defending the miracle that just happened to the man at gate beautiful before the elders and the council he said peter filled with the holy ghost said unto them ye rulers of the people and elders of israel if we this day be examined of the good deed done to the impotent man and by what means he is made whole next verse be it known unto you all peter now and to all the people of israel that by the name of jesus christ of nazareth whom ye crucified whom god raised from the dead even by him doth this man stand here before you all that means peter was saying the miracle is not the most important thing the miracle is a signpost leading you to the person you crucify so he performs the miracle to remind you that you once crucified him but now he's alive and he can reach out to you next verse he says this is the stone which was set at naught, you know, you builders, and has become the chief of the corner. We're reading verse 12. He said, neither is there salvation in any other. Look at how one miracle gives him an opportunity to preach a sound sermon. Are you seeing that now? So that it was not just the miracle. The miracle was the basis to now introduce Jesus. Neither is there salvation in any other now if he did not perform the miracle and he said neither is there salvation they would charge him of blasphemy but now his result was standing before him while he would preach so even though they didn't want to agree with him they could not deny what salvation had come to that man neither is there salvation in any other for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved 13 it says now when they saw the boldness of peter and john and perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men they marveled why they took knowledge of them that they had been with jesus the basis of their exploits they had been with jesus not that they had listened to jesus not that they had received impartation from jesus they had been with jesus the presence and the relationship factor was what was responsible for that marvel every time we are used by god to heal the sick to cast out devils to bring all kinds of mighty manifestations of god's power listen carefully over the lives of people and over territories it is to this end that means if you just stop at celebrating the miracle you rob god of an opportunity to be introduced to men the miracles are the evidences you need to stand before you while you remind the world that there is a name and there is only one who is worthy of their allegiance their loyalty one who has given his life for them your gospel is not complete if all you do is celebrate miracles the miracles are signs a sign points that there is something greater than itself if you want to go say to a babin saloon and you're looking for it and then they tell you there's xyz saloon here the sign leads you there 
If you stand before the sign and you keep admiring the sign and say, what beautiful, um, um, what beautiful signpost, this is wonderful. You're not, it, it will not profit you. It's not the sign that will give you a haircut. The sign only directs you. Is that true? It is good to celebrate miracles. It is good to celebrate signs and wonders, the manifestations of the hand of God. But I remind you again, I remind you again, I remind you again, that at the center of it all, it's you that I see. It's you that I see. Not Joshua Selman. At the center of it all, it's you that I see. It's you that I see. Let me tell you a secret. This is one of the reasons why many people, respectfully, even we men and women of God, we do not see the power of God in ever increasing dimension. Because we are ashamed of getting out of the way to let people see Jesus projected through our lives. We feel very embarrassed if we have to move out of the way because we feel as though God is cheating or scamming us. Now is my opportunity to shine. I need to stand before that miracle so that I receive an attestation that it was through me it happened. But those who love Jesus say it's not necessary. The most important thing is to verify if Jesus will be lifted through that process. Are you getting it now? Learn this as a principle. Every time I pray for the miracle service or any other service for that matter, believe me, my prayer as always is, Lord, walk wonders in the midst of your people. But whilst you are doing that, as they look at me, may they see you. I've told you, you are not yielded when your presence reminds people of you. Your presence must remind people of Jesus. That's how you know you are yielded. That means when they look at you strangely, the more they see you, the more they forget about you. And another image is what is built in their hearts. So they look at you for five minutes and they nod their head and say, Jesus, you are mighty. Are we together? Yes. Is the reason why there is a lot of confusion as to who performed the miracle because for a long time we kept silencing Jesus in the equation and we kept projecting ourselves so now the people know preacher a preacher b preacher c and there's nothing wrong with that except that in magnifying ourselves we shut Jesus out of the program so many of the people who were healed when they came back they did not find us and we did not leave Jesus with them so they we became their idols because we're supposed to present Jesus so that even when we are not there, he'll be there with them because he's the friend that stick it closer than a brother. Are we together? Yes. Tonight you have come because the Lord brought you here by his spirit to bless you, to lift you. I believe in the whole counsel of God. And when we spend time learning the ways of God like we do week in, week out, there must be moments in every meeting where we dedicate that time to allow Jesus come in the midst of his people to take burdens away, to open up doors. You will never truly be able to serve God acceptably, living a defeated life by Satan. There must be an evidence to your gospel. There must be an evidence to your gospel so miracle services are designed to give that opportunity that God will step in and help his people and, and all of a sudden you see people come to testify the mighty hand of God in a moment in a twinkling of an eye an age long captivity just like that I've been involved in the miracle ministry for a while and the ministry of signs and wonders and I can tell you sincerely you will think that after many years of seeing these things you should get used to it you know like a professional a, a consultant or 
you know, an architect or someone who has been in the thing for a long time. But for every time, every time, I marvel at the wonder-working power of Jesus. When I see people coming here just because a man spoke, when I see people's lives just open like that, like a book that was closed, and now it's open. When I see people receiving these things, it, it, that is a message to me as the preacher. The wonder-working God. Look what he's able to do. That from one point you can stand as representing him, and you are speaking to nations and territories, and the spirit of the living God, who is not bounded by time and distance, going to the lives of people and correcting all kinds of things, and somebody will leave and say, I can't find that pain again. The pain did not go. It was driven. You think the pain wants to go? No. I can't find that captivity again. By Monday morning, someone is ringing your phone. Where are you? I'm here. Please come. What for? You just come. Aha. Uh -huh. And you get into a place of prepared blessings and you sit down and ask yourself what am i doing here what am i doing here what am i doing here then he reminds you do not lose this opportunity to project jesus when you return back and tell people look what jesus has done usually they will clap for you and say things like you are lucky or your man of god is powerful or where did you go to get the miracle after telling them all those things Tell them, hold on, we are not done. If I just stop here with you celebrating the miracle, I wasted an opportunity. Because all of this thing is supposed to bring glory to the name of Jesus. And you would join them to worship Jesus and say, Jesus, thank you. This has happened so that men will know that you are still in the business of making. You are still in the business of lifting. You are still in the business of changing. And let me tell you what happens. God will look at you and say, wow, because of this that has happened right now, someone who was not serious will say, so what do I do now? And you can give him one message to listen to. And heaven is clapping for you. You did not waste that miracle. You are ready for another one. Because this, your evangelism is effective. One open door. Now three people are coming to Jesus. You will leave that office and someone is saying, Lord, I think I need to be serious with you. I'm tired of this kind of thing. And he tells you, get ready for another one. Someone is calling you and you come and see him hold a key and say, God said I should give you the key to this house. House? Sorry, this is my name. He said exactly that. House? Please don't embarrass me. If you are a scammer, I can leave you to go in peace. It is yours. And you stand before that house and raise a song until everybody is gathered there. And they say, what are you singing for? Ah, and with our hands lifted up, we will worship our King. And with our hands lifted up, we come before you rejoicing. With our hands lifted up to the sky and the world wonders why. We just tell them we love in our King. Oh, we just tell them we love in our King. Look at me. If you are a business owner, we're about to pray. If you are a business owner and someone comes to you and you give him your product and say, I'm giving you this product, just, just, for visiting me and in three hours he returns with ten clients and he said what for and he said I, I, there is something this man presented your product in a way that we need to see who made this will you throw that person away will you allow them kill that person hmm. and then the person says can you give me the privilege and you say how much will I pay you and he said no 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 I don't need payment. It's an honor for me to be able to market this. Five hours later, you bring in 50 people. There will be a board meeting on your case immediately. And say, although this guy does not seem like he's employed, there is something about his tenacity. A whole city 
comes to know that product and to love that business and the owner because of your influence do you know what will happen they will make you something called a brand ambassador are we together Who, a brand ambassador means that you have you have the level of influence to compel people to pay attention no matter what they invest in you they don't see it as a loss because it's nothing compared to what comes to them on account of your presence so when God tests you with a little anointing, a little breakthrough, one open door here and there, one contract of 500,000, and you don't see, he does not see you again. You hear tight, you say, God forbid. <laughs> okay, at least bless other people. No, no, no. Kingdom advancement, nothing. You run away, and then when it's over, you come and say, God, are you not merciful? He says, I'm merciful, but you are not productive. I won't drive you, but I will watch you. Love is not conditional, but trust is conditional. Both the man he gave five talents, two talents, and one talent, he loved all of them, but he did not trust all of them. Can I tell you this? I have learned from scripture by the privilege of God's grace through my life. I give you a great secret. Get out of the way and let jesus be seen through your life it is truly the secret of rest in getting out of the way you will find out that everywhere you move to men will move there too because there is something about the efficiency of your witness so all the miracles that happen in this house the miracles that have happened and the many more that will be happening shortly may i remind you dear people of god and the nations of the earth that this is not just about Joshua Selman thank God for the privilege of ministry the privilege of partnership with the Holy Spirit but I'm drumming it to you again that more than this man standing there is one who is high and lifted up and that for everything you see happen here see it as a message a message if you come to me I can pray for you I can bless you but if you go to him he will give you life everlasting the highest I can show you is compassion but when you go to him he says and I if I be lifted up from the earth I will draw all men to myself this appetite for fame this appetite to want to be the face behind the manifestation of everything i want to be the one listen we will keep punishing ourselves forever and ever and not get anything be lifted high be lifted high oh lord be lifted high for you are holy everything God does in your life listen to me and everything God does through you must directly project Jesus oh you are a kingdom millionaire and you just sit down and say well I, I don't want to be proud but I mean this is no don't just say hey, glory to God carelessly be intentional God means many things which one a young man comes to you and says well I, I'm, I'm looking for a business mentor you are a billionaire help me you don't just sit down and start telling him do this buy and sell no listen young man let me tell you this Jesus Christ is the Alpha and Omega of my life before we talk business principles I present to you the one who helped me I don't know how he helped my neighbor but this is the one who helped me the person may not want to take you seriously but your evidence is before you are we together if every politician every businessman every man of God every career person every successful person makes a determination 
that your life will reveal and project Jesus. Not in a way of some fanatism that downplays others. No. A sincere declaration of your faith and your conviction. That you love him with all your heart and your life is a testament of what he can do. Believe me, if this becomes your disposition, sit back and watch with wonder how your life becomes an unending, it's like, it's like a page that opens and never comes to an end. One miracle, one manifestation of the power of God after another. Just when you think you have exhausted everything, you will see another dimension again. This is a simple secret that I'm giving you tonight. You will think that because you've heard it once and again, you've gotten it. The desire of man to replace Christ as far as the spotlight is concerned is unbelievable. It will take the word of God penetrating your mind and bringing you to a point where you see the profitability of projecting Jesus. I will give this last example and we'll pray. I can't remember where I gave it. I, I'm, I, I'm sure it was here that this bar right here is holding this beautiful, this, this um, pulpit here. The, play, the center of focus is not the bar. The center of focus is the pulpit here. This, um, are we together now? But then this, the assignment of this bar is to hold this in place. Your attention is not on the bar. But no matter how you close your eyes, provided you look at this bar, you must see this too. You see it now. So while this does not become the ultimate focus, this is where your eyes is. But whatever is lifting it high for you to see must also be featured there. This is how we are. Jesus is the central focus. He is the one who should be the object of people's admiration. But because of the privilege of standing in partnership with the Holy Spirit to lift him, it is impossible for you to just see him and yet not see the one lifting him. John said, I may decrease. He didn't say that I will vanish. No, we don't vanish. And that decreasing is only relative to how high and mighty he is. Because no matter how small you are, if it's Jesus you are lifting, you are big. His size will magnify you. It's all about you. Jesus. And all this is for you. It's for your glory and your fame. It's not about me. As if you should do things my way. You alone are God, and I surrender. Oh, you alone are God, and I surrender. It's all about you, Jesus, and all this is for you. For your glory and your faith, it's not about me. As if you should do things my way, you alone are God, and I surrender. Oh, you alone are God. Join me and sing this song one more time. It's all about you, Jesus, and all this is for you. It's for your glory and your fame. It's not about me, as if you should do things my way. You alone are God. Ah. about you Jesus and all this is for you it's for your glory and your fame it's not about me 
As if you should do things my way You alone are God And I surrender This is your prayer now Oh, you alone are God And I surrender I surrender that ambition I surrender that ministry I surrender that family Oh, you alone are God This is all about you, Jesus, and all this is for you, truly, it's for your glory and your fame, it's not about me, as if you should do things my way, you alone are God. And I surrender. I say, people, oh, you alone are God, and we surrender. I say, businessman, you alone are God, and I surrender. Listen, anything you hand over to God, you can guarantee that it will not die hand over your children to him hand over your business that is killing you jesus said my yoke is easy there are people carrying all kinds of luggages that jesus did not give them luggage of ego luggage of demonic oppression luggage of ignorance and confusion you alone are god and i surrender This is the miracle service. So a real miracle is happening to you as you are listening to me. I do not know anyone who gets to a point of total surrender and leaves the presence of God without a miracle. No, not this God. It's all about you. Listen to what you are saying. Jesus. Hold on. Don't rush the song. For some of you, your version of the song is, it's all about you, my destiny helper. For some of you, the song is, it's all about you, government. For some of you, it's all about you, oil and gas. It's all about you, real estate. It's all about you, federal government job. It's all about you, job with UN job with um, uh, mention all the places some of you it's all about you ministry church some of you it's all about you preaching apostle prophet my simple assignment before i pray for you is that sincerely from your heart you're going to replace all those idols with only one name those things only find their value when he's lifted above them they are not useless I've taught you all these things these are success systems it is not very difficult for God to exalt and lift and honor a people it is a degree to which he finds himself lifted in you so as I sing that song don't join me listen and pray I'll sing it two or three times and then I'll minister to you the Holy Spirit is speaking to you don't just you are not listening to it I'm, I'm not a musician i'm not singing a special number i'm sending something from the realm of the spirit into your spirit telling you give up that pride jesus is talking to you now let him win that war once and for all over your destiny it's all about you in my life jesus and all this is for you It's for your glory and your fame it's not about me as if you should do things my way you alone are God and I surrender it's all about you 
Jesus and all this is for you it's for your glory and your faith it's not about me as if you should do things my way you alone are God and I surrender one more time it's all about you Jesus and all this is for you it's for your glory and your fame it's not about me as if you should do things my way you alone are God oh you alone are God and I surrender oh you alone are God This is true. I surrender everything. Ambitions, the quest for success, the passion to make it. I don't throw it away. I only surrender. Don't bow down if your crown is still on your head. The 24 elders remove their crown. That's what gives their bowing down value. Don't bow before the king with your crown on your head. That Lord, no matter what you make out of my life, and no matter where you take me, my assignment is that through your marvelous workings in my life, the nations will see you. They will see you exalted. He is exalted, the King is exalted on high. I will praise Him. He is exalted forever, exalted, and I will praise His name. He is the Lord forever. His truth shall reign Heaven and earth Rejoice in His holy name He is exalted My King is exalted Very powerful He is exalted Now, I'm going to make an altar call before we start. In this kingdom, you strike when the iron is hot. Haven't spoken about Jesus. Even before I begin to pray for the sick, it's going to be a very quick one. Listen to me. Let me tell you what an altar call is. Please look up. The church, we, we need to use every opportunity to educate God's people. An altar call is not a funeral service where you have weak and defeated people stroll their way in shame as though they are coming to confess before a cruel deity see an altar call like an award ceremony where you are coming before the one who is the lover of your soul indeed jesus the one who was crucified now exalted as lord and christ is giving you an invitation to hold his hands to become a partaker of his life that together you can now begin to live a meaningful christian experience an altar call seeks to do two things number one to give people an opportunity who have not yet connected in truth who are not yet recipients of the life of god the only way to have life and life eternal 
is through the son and then number two an altar call gives an opportunity to those who need restoration over their spiritual lives they are saying my life is scattered i do not even know if i'm saved or not so whenever we make an altar call or any man of god anywhere across the globe do not see it as a funeral service where those who come out feel so ashamed they feel they feel stupid they feel church is hypnotizing me i'm just coming out to answer an altar call no jesus is standing and he's saying give me a chance i gave you a will and i will not force you however if you have failed in every area of your life let the first and greatest demonstration of wisdom be to come to he who is the fountain of life himself you came here tonight you are in this auditorium all the overflows outside and our family watching from all across the globe you've heard me preach the song itself is a message and you are saying apostle i need jesus desperately for some of you you are saying for many years i've had preachers preach about this jesus i've laughed i've even clapped for those who came out but i really really need to make it serious with jesus i'm going to make an altar call whether you're inside you're outside those following in your homes i'm going to give you an instruction on what to do but be prepared whether you are watching the rebroadcast later on after now or where it does not matter jesus revealed jesus glorified when that is done we can now celebrate miracles with joy we can now expect him to move this is the protocol the protocol of bringing glory to the name of the lord so i'm going to make this altar call i'll count one to five the holy spirit would have spoken to you through the songs through the miracles initially that happened here and through the entire service if jesus is speaking to you don't be ashamed wherever you are from beginning to the jesus nothing else matters. to the heavens jesus be the same jesus be the center leave your seat and come if the holy ghost is speaking to you and saying it's time to give up everything and come to him one time a rich man met jesus and said good master what do i need to do to be saved so sell everything that you have it was a mystery jesus was not telling the man to become a poor man he's saying enthrone me above everything the man said i have great possessions great possessions and i tell you whether you like it or not someday jesus is coming and when you stand before him he won't ask you whether you're a businessman he won't ask you how educated you are as important as that is he will not ask you how many sermons you preached or how many crusades you conducted thank you for coming those outside all of the overflows listen to me you came for a miracle service this is a real miracle you should be proud of for the rest of your life yes hallelujah i'm going to lead you to pray this simple prayer this is what the bible teaches that when we confess his lordship and we believe that he was raised from the dead that we become recipients of this life it's a new beginning for you this is not some church thing i want you to know that something supernatural is happening to you that you can go back home and tell the people that i'm a changed person something happened to me very definite very exact may i request that you lift your right hand before this one who you have unashamedly come to stand before jesus Mm. lift your hands before him would you dance with me oh lover 
tell you listen before I pray with these people do you know why we do not have plenty miracles again because most of those who work in the healing ministry were called healing evangelists that means their focus was revealing Jesus it was through the gospel that they saw all the miracles we record today but many of us want miracles for no reason no the supernatural is connected to the gospel if you are not interested in revealing jesus you can be something else other than a communicator of his life and power are we together now you cannot do a discussion that has nothing to do with jesus and expect the kind of miracles you see on a crusade ground no sir the signs and messages they are validating something the great generals, both in Africa and those we read through history, and even in the Bible, they saw the miracles that they saw because the gospel was at the center. Mention any great man through history today that you have seen the mighty hand of God in their lives. It happened because the miracles were like trays carrying a message that Jesus saves, that Jesus heals. Is it Reinhard Bonke? Is it T.L. Osborne? These men who have joined the cloud of witnesses. Today we love their miracles and we are searching for their anointings without the message that brought them. We want power in isolation to the gospel. We want power in isolation to the message that saves. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, my brothers and sisters, for coming to stand boldly before this Jesus, not another one. The one who saves, the one who heals. I'm going to lead you to pray a prayer. Those here and all our overflows outside, those following at home, just place your hand on your chest and pray this prayer after me. Let it be from the depth of your heart. When you're done praying, you can let our people know through the links that you have on our social media platforms that you just gave your life to Jesus and there'll be someone to just uh, minister to you there. Praise the name of the Lord. Say this loud and clear. Say, Lord Jesus. Tonight, I have heard your word. I believe in you, that you are the Son of God. I believe that you died for my sin. I believe that you rose again for my justification. Right now, I receive eternal life into my spirit. I declare that from tonight and forever I belong to you I declare that the power of sin Satan hell and the grave is broken over my life I am a child of God I go forward ever and backward never in Jesus name please keep your hands lifted father thank you for this once you have brought them by your spirit to Jesus and they have made these declarations by faith and the Bible declares that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life I declare by the authority of Scripture that your sins are forgiven and that from today until forever you become active recipients of the life of God the power of sin Satan hell and the grave is broken over you may you find your place in destiny and live victorious lives in Jesus name I pray amen. amen and amen now very quickly thank you so much for making this great decision I want to plead with you just move to my right which is your left there are counselors waving their hands they'll have a minute or two with you very quickly and you'll be back to your seat please be careful with the base uh, the crane so that they don't hurt you let's celebrate them <laughs> koinonia is this the best you can do
Hallelujah. Now, let me tell you how it will be. It will be very, very fast. Three things. It is time to cast out devils. Oh, yes. It is time for the spirits that sit over the destinies of men that will not allow Jesus revealed. It is time to wave them goodbye and the Holy Ghost will force them to wave you back in the name of Jesus Christ. Number two, it is time for the sick. Do you know the healing ministry? Um, I, I, I was discussing with someone and I said, we have to trust God for grace to really restore the healing ministry again. With all due respect, what we call the healing ministry in the body of Christ, we need to go and think again. We have fallen short of that bar by far. By far. We jump over. No, no miracle is small. But we are praying that God will once again, that whatever dishonor and stubbornness made this grace to look as though it's hiding, that God will bring it again, again to the body of Christ. Manifestations of the healing power of God. So we're going to trust the Lord. You came here with a medical report. You came here trusting God. And then, for some of us, we may not have any physical sickness, but there are all kinds of challenges. Some of us direction, some of us breakthroughs. Whatever it is, when the presence of Jesus, we have exalted him. And when Jesus is exalted, something always happens. He reaches down to the people to validate every claim that was made about him. If we call him a miracle worker, then he's reaching down to us as such. If we call him a way maker, he's reaching down to us as such. Therefore, I want you to expect that everything that is antichrist, as written on your request or written on your life, it must give way in the name of Jesus Christ. Are you ready now? Please jump up on your feet. God is a miracle worker. God is a glorious God. God is, God is a miracle worker. Miracle worker. My God is, God is, He's a glorious God. A glorious Two more times. God is, he is a miracle a miracle My God is, he is a glory of God. One more time. Say God is, God is, he is a miracle a miracle Please lift your voice in one minute and begin to talk to the Lord. That which you desire to see happen in your life now, the time has come. Lift your voice and pray. You are trusting God for that sickness to leave you. Go ahead and talk to him. You are trusting God for restoration. Go ahead and talk to him. You are trusting God for rest round about. Go ahead and pray. You are trusting God for speed to break the yoke of delay. Are you praying? Lord, you brought me here to change my story. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, listen to me. It is true that there are spirits behind the many, many, many tragedies of God's people. And one of the assignments of the anointing is to bring a separation between you and that demonic influence that would not let you go. He says, say unto God, how terrible art thou in your ways. 
through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves there are spirits behind the career failures of people there are spirits behind sicknesses and infirmities that will not let people go free are you ready now i want to pray for you please whether you are an usher or not i want you to help them especially for those under the anointing when i pray for you then we'll minister to the sick and we'll see how god will help us it'll be a very very quick walk that we're doing let your heart be open don't be a spectator at the count of three we're going to shout the name jesus there is a reason why we shout that name it's not a ritual we shout it number one because god instructed it number two we shout it because we want the nations to know that every miracle and every manifestation of the power of god comes by that one jesus who is lord and christ listen at the third shout the power of god to deliver will fall like rain upon individuals whether you are the balcony whether you are the back inside outside wherever you are we're going to shout that name three times this is what god is telling me so we we'll shout once we we'll shout the second time and by the third time every orchestration every legal access some of you may not even know that behind the many problems is one spirit you don't have to deal with the issues one by one when that one spirit goes you will find out that the same spirit causing problems in your marriage is the same one causing problems every other place it's like an octopus many hands but the same spirit are you ready now one shout jesus The name that is above every other name the name that is above cancer failure the name that is above retrogression and shame and pain are you ready to shout the second shout Jesus now I'd like you to be sensitive there is an anointing on this shout Paratalikata. This is the name that lifts. For some of you, you are shouting your way to a new level. Some of you, you are shouting your way to victory. Listen, as you shout, the power of God is going to rest right now upon people. Please bring them out very quickly. I announce to every devil, I announce to every principality, every spirit that is not of the Christ, manipulating the destinies of man, not allowing god's people to experience liberty this shout is the healer is the shout that brings down the wall of jericho are you ready now shout jesus now i decree and declare in the name of jesus christ every spirit bring them out i cause every devil every wicked spirit go now in the name of jesus go now spirits of ancestry yokes of darkness tying down the destinies of men release them right now in the name of jesus christ bring them out we're praying my god evil and wicked dreams seeing yourself in secondary school primary school writing exams that never finish orchestrations of witchcraft everything that represents shame let that fire come upon you now shame and reproach is a spirit shame and reproach i call you by your name and i curse you by the god of heaven shame and reproach Bring them out. Hallelujah. Listen to me. There are people carrying an embargo upon their face of disfavor. This thing they call bad luck. The moment people see you, even if they vow to help you, 
it's like there is it's like there is, there is something that is not really you right now the power of god is tearing away everything that makes people do not want to help you i decree and declare upon i'm seeing nine the number nine there are nine people that embargo is about to leave you right now at the count of three one two three let them go now i cause every demon i cause every spirit every spirit of darkness in the name of jesus christ bring them out covering your glory covering the greatness that god has put within your spirit now i want to arrest the spirit of delay the spirit that makes you see your blessing and yet never hold it close to you and yet never hold it i tell you i'm seeing fire coming on so many people right now in the name of jesus that spirit of delay i call you by name and i decree and declare at the count of three release god's people right now one two three be released now be be released now for you and for your family be released now let that sword of judgment bring a separation between you and every spirit of delay someone prophesy i'm moving forward i'm making advancement go ahead and prophesy prophesy over your destiny no more retrogression no more retrogression I move forward I make progress by the power of the Holy Ghost hallelujah hallelujah the Lord is opening my eyes in the realm of the spirit I'm seeing a padlock on a door this is what I'm seeing and this is a prophetic representation of somebody's destiny you are wondering why everything in your life is failing why it's okay some things succeed and some things don't succeed at least it, it gives you a consolation but there are people here everything literally is at a standstill i'm seeing that padlock in the spirit as i'm prophesying the hand of god is coming upon them now i decree and declare everything that has locked and capacity locked and cage your destiny inside and outside everywhere in the name of jesus i declare let it be open now let it be open now destiny hear the word of the lord be open now be open now hallelujah we may not have the time to prophesy but i'm seeing someone i don't know if it's a demotion that happened to you in your place of work this thing surprised you they called you and it's like you were relieved of the current position and you were demoted to somewhere lower who is that person i want to speak to you now your season of breakthrough has come if that person is here quickly just identify so that I pray with you and cause that demonic spirit. In the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God. Where do you work, madam? In the name of Jesus Christ the Bible says the path of the just is as a shining light and that it shines ever brighter in the every spirit that will not want you to move forward but that you are up today and down tomorrow I'm using them as a point of contact to prophesy to someone you should never have a better yesterday where you look at your yesterday and rejoice and keep wishing in the name of jesus 
for those in front here every power that will not let you rise consistently i curse it now in the name of jesus i curse it aparus i curse it now in the name of jesus that it is from glory to glory hear me there is a pastor you are watching me your concern right now is that there is a strange decline in membership it's not like you did anything wrong or whatever it is but in a strange way you are watching me right now you are in a room you are watching me using your phone and you are wondering it, it ought not to be so you, you are a sincere person this is a demonic thing and a plot against your ministry i want to pray for you the lord is giving me that instruction you are a man of god father by the mercy of the god of heaven i pray over this your servant in the name that is above all names every time you call a man and you raise that man you send to him the men and the women who will receive from the grace that you have given him for this dear one who is in pain because of a decline and frustration in ministry i decree and declare from tonight let there be a miraculous turnaround in the name of jesus christ for those of you who are in front here i pray for you and i prophesy you have come by this prophecy whatever represents a demotion a going down i curse it now by the god of heaven and i declare may your life begin to change you will go upwards you will go forward only in the name of jesus the son of the living god in the name of jesus the son of the living god go and prosper in jesus name now very quickly let me pray for the sick i'm sensing a very strong healing anointing now what are you turning to wine you open the eyes of the blind there's no one like you none like you into the darkness we shine into the darkness we shine out of the ashes we rise there's no one like you none like you Our God is greater, our God is stronger, Lord, you are higher than any other. Our God is healer, our sovereign power of God, our God. Please lay your hands right now. Hallelujah. Mighty God, we give you all the praise. Lift your hands and give him praise. Give him praise like you know your life will never be the same. Give him praise like you know tonight is your night. Everywhere across this auditorium, all of the overflows, those connecting online, viewing from across the nations of the world, give him thanks. Thank you, Jesus. For the things you have done For the battles you have won Only you are worthy of my praise I magnify your name For the things you have done And the battles you have won only you are worthy of my praise i magnify your name for the things you have done and the battles you have won only you are worthy of my praise Wave your hands to Jesus and magnify him. Tell him thank you. Thank him in advance because you will never be the same. Now the Lord is that spirit. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you,
where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty if someone giving quality thanks thank you jesus thank you for the testimonies for his marvelous hand upon our lives this is but the finger of god for the revival fire blazing across our territories and the nations of the earth the spectacular display of his power and his wisdom give him thanks Give him thanks. And for tonight, can you cry out your heart, Lord, do not leave me the way I came. Someone pray. Someone pray. Let me not go back the way I came. Take away the burdens. Give me direction. Give me an encounter with your power. Let something from heaven rest upon my life upon my destiny set my ministry on fire change my story give me a turn around tonight someone is praying let there be healing over my body bring to end every long-standing issue let every age-long captivity bow to the name of jesus take away fear and unbelief from my life someone is praying let me enjoy the liberty that comes with your spirit tonight In the name of Jesus Christ. I can assure you and I know by the spirit tonight that someone's change of story is finally here. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every day cannot be the same in a man's life. There are, there are certain moments where you encounter the power and the grace of God and it will turn your life around. May this day be that day. The morning that the man at the pool, Bethesda, I'm sure he woke up that morning thinking it would be like every other day, not knowing that was the last time he would lie down there. You woke up this morning believing it may be every other miracle service. But let me prophesy to you. In the name of Jesus, the son of the living God. May tonight be a spectacular night for you. May tonight be a spectacular night for you. Hallelujah. Why do we come to God? We'll sit down shortly, but why do we really come to God to encounter him like this? Number one, because we love him. But number two, because we know he is the only one who has the answers we are looking for. <laughs> Let no man deceive you. Except God gives you, no man can give it to you. And I announce to you that this God is very benevolent and he will give you all things richly tonight. <laughs> For someone, God will arise this night and end circles in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. For someone who have been saying, God, where are you? You are about to hear him answer you tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. That after this service, everything around you will let you know he came to you. In the name of Jesus Christ and every power in existence that will not let you receive from God we cause it in advance tonight in the name of Jesus Christ so please I like you to be full of faith and expectation it doesn't matter where you are seated whether you are in any of the overflows outside by the roadside following from any part of the world be intentional don't waste your time you have come to God are we together you have come to him to receive Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 6 
it says and without faith it is impossible to please him for he that cometh unto him must believe that he exists and then that he is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him hallelujah you won't go back the same there must be a change of story and God will visit you in a way that even before you announce it, people will know something has changed in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. There is a way God can visit you. The Bible says, when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, it was not them that were doing the speaking. The Bible says the heathen said the Lord has done great things for them. May God visit you in a way that is your enemies that will testify. And for someone tonight, weep not, your crying comes to an end. In the name of Jesus, your crying comes to an end. For another person, the mockery comes to an end. In the name of Jesus Christ. Someone will know tonight that it pays to serve Jesus. I was very touched listening to the testimonies and you can imagine the gentleman the footballer just crying and do you know what it means for people to once laugh at you and then see the other side of God's goodness may that be your testimony this night listen if you didn't come here to receive go home because for as long as you came here tonight in the name of Jesus the giver of all good things is ensuring that something must land upon your life hallelujah if you don't want to smell smoke don't have anything to do with the kitchen but for as long as you find yourself there there must be something from heaven in the name of jesus may it be clear that you met god tonight So let hope, let it rise. Darkness trembles in your holy light. Let your faith arise tonight. Let hope rise. Darkness trembles in your holy light. One more time with faith in your spirit. Let hope rise. Darkness trembles in your life. In the name of Jesus, I welcome you to that service where your life must change. In the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the Living God, I know what God told me before I left home to come here. I assure you not one jot of his speakings will, will be missing from your life. I'm prophesying to you in the name of Jesus Christ. As he has said it, he will do it. As he has said it, he will do it. As he has said it, he will do it. Please be seated for a few minutes. With your faith still alive, with your heart still expectant, no gisting, no discussion, your eyes on Jesus, your heart angry at your situation, ready to insist that it must change. In the name of Jesus Christ. Miracle services are moments where we have the opportunity to experience the spectacular power of God in the midst of his people. Every service is a miracle service. But there are times designated according to God's program where he visits men and we're glad that tonight is that night in the name of Jesus. Now, as usual, we will pray for the sick, minister deliverance to the oppressed. But the focus tonight, there are two major areas of focus tonight as God gave me the place of prayer. Number one this night is your finances. Number two is the greatness, the glory upon your life and destiny. My, my assignment tonight is to deal with these areas to make sure that except God be God. Believe me. Please help those under the anointing. Believe me, if God be God, 
something will shift in these areas in your life tonight that will surprise you please believe it oh please believe it I believe in results I absolutely believe in results results have the power to convince results have the power to change the mindset of people results have the power to reveal I wrote something about results here before we get into one scripture or the other and then we allow God to open fire in this place tonight that things have to change in our lives for sure every time Jesus saw the absence of results he caused that process including the tree when he saw that the tree had green leaves but did not have figs he caused it and said let no man eat of you again God is a God of results I have taught us here that our results bring glory to the name of the Lord in as much as the ultimate of our pursuit the reason why we seek God and we desire encounters with him is primarily because we love him but let me tell you this no man should deceive you if your life becomes indefinitely barren of results you will be frustrated is that true results mean desired expectations Results mean solutions to problems. Result means outcomes of an expectation. Results talk about consequences. Results talk about the effect that you are expecting. But the two um, expressions that I love is desired expectations and solutions. We all have expectations in our lives, expectations that range from healings to supernatural interventions to supernatural provisions to advancement and enlargement in life, restoration, and God is able to make those desires come to pass according to Mark chapter 11 and verse 40, 40 um, verse 24 mark 11 24 jesus was speaking and he said therefore i say unto you what things soever ye desire he says you shall have them no matter what it is that you desire god is able to give men the desires of their hearts whatsoever things ye desire you shall have them And as we have learned here, the agency that sponsors the actualization of desires. Please pay attention. This will be the foundation of building for building your faith tonight. The agency that sponsors the actualization of every desire is the power of God. Without the power of God, desires will remain dreams. Without the power of God, desires will remain wishes. It takes the power of God to translate desires from the realm of wishes, expectations, to the realm of their manifestation. God finds joy when believers see his hand or when his creation, really, but more importantly, believers. God finds joy when believers experience his hand his goodness his power the bible lets us know that every time there is a manifestation of the power of god there will always be joy joy is the result of the experiencing the outstretched arm of god according to acts chapter 8 from verse i think 7 now or 8 when philip preached christ the Bible says they, they gave heed, hearing and seeing the things that he did. Verse 8. The Bible says, and the people with one accord, go to verse 8. There was great joy in that city. There can be great joy in your life, great joy in your destiny, great joy in your family to the degree that there is a performance, a manifestation of your expectation. 
hallelujah even the bible says that when hope is deferred it can make the heart weary i wrote something down here everything god says and desires for the believer has a requisite level of empowerment to make it happen everything god says should happen to your life everything god says would happen to your life is not just dependent on his speaking is dependent on your accessing the requisite level of power that brings it to manifestation hallelujah now in this part of the world there are times where the power holding company or maybe your generator can it can bring light but the voltage can be too low to power certain gadgets is that true and so you find out that there is light but the gadgets that require lesser voltage they may come up but certain heavy duty gadgets may not be able to come up because there is a greater level of power required there are certain things in your life that will require higher levels of the power of god to be made manifest are we together so everything god says and desires for the believer has a requisite level of empowerment for it to happen the power of god works like money currency if you have a hundred naira a hundred naira might be able to buy you a bottle of water a hundred naira might be able to buy you something small or let's say a thousand naira might be able to buy you a bottle of water but a thousand naira might not be able to buy you a car a thousand naira might not be able to pay for a house rent or buy you a house so if it is a house you are looking for or a car you are looking for in this example you will need multiples of that amount to match the amount that can buy you that house it is true that every house you are looking for is available or can be built depending on the amount of financial empowerment in this example those there are people in our world who are called very wealthy people why are they wealthy they are wealthy first because of their mindset and they are wealthy because of their understanding of the laws and the systems that govern finances but more importantly pragmatically speaking they are wealthy because they have the financial wherewithal is that true to be able to afford living the kind and the level of life that suits them and so a man can decide for instance that he wants to build a house in his village he wants to decide or he can decide that he wants to buy a house in Europe buy a house in America and at the instance of his decision if he has the requisite level of financial empowerment that man can go and pick it up in this example I'm giving but there's someone who may look and say i desire a greater house say i'm staying in a two-bedroom flat i desire to move to say a four-bedroom flat to afford greater comfort you know and stability for my family that person has the desire and the house he wants to move to is there but the financial requirement to promote that person from where he is to the place of desire is not there man of god you are trusting God for increase, increase in revelation, increase in impact, increase in membership. The desire is there and that possibility is there. The word of God tells us that that possibility is there. However, do you have the empowerment enough to produce that outcome? Apostle, I desire for men to favor me, men to stand like the gentleman who just spoke one person at the field meeting one destiny helper and his life changed he's found himself now in europe playing and being paid in foreign currencies is what god can do but the requisite level of power do not downplay the ministry of power it is what sponsors the actualization of all desires all desires all desires with no exception if you meet some of the wealthy people today in our nation extremely wealthy people um, they can sit down and discuss that we want to build a house for someone and get architects 
and say in two months or in three months or in four months I want this house built and while they are talking the architects listen to them because they know that there are no limitations the intellectual power is already there and the financial wherewithal is there there should be no limitation whatsoever can I tell you it's dangerous and frustrating to know what should be but not have the power to make it happen I know my life should change but the power to make it happen is not there I know destiny helpers can come to me but the power to make it happen is not there I know I can be free from the influence of this wicked spirit that keep programming bad luck to my life but the power is not there tonight God has come to place power upon your desire in the name of Jesus Christ back to my example so if I meet a gentleman who now says I want to build a house maybe for my parents I love them I have the desire I have even gone as far as meeting an architect here is the plan I even have gone as far as having a land a plot of land or some plots of land but it's just the financial empowerment in this example imagine that a man looks at that gentleman and signs him a check or does him a transfer of 50 million naira right there and then what has he given him the ability to turn his dreams to reality now that gentleman can rejoice a few minutes ago he was stranded a few minutes at the instance of a transfer from a wealthy man remember the transfer has to be from the person who has it the transfer cannot be from the person who does not have it from the person who has it to the person who needs it and then that man will receive it and call the architects and by the very next day they start digging and building within a few months you see a beautiful structure at the instance of empowerment whatever is stopping you from going forward whatever is making you keep repeating prayer requests you write again you write again you write again may the power of the holy spirit bring that issue to an end now in the name of jesus christ please sit down again in this side of the world we experience sadly periodic blackouts is that true whether your gadget is new or not once there is no power it is as good as dead your fridge your electronics all other gadgets are at the mercy of the power that flows to the voltage required so there are times that people can go 24 hours sadly sometimes 48 hours and there's no blink of light except you have an alternative system and sometimes if you have a generator and your generator is small you have to off certain things to allow it stand is that true the size and the voltage matters so if you want a generator that can power everything in your house you get some technician to calculate for you the total voltage needed and then you go and get a generator that is by far more than the voltage now you can own everything and run the generator from morning till night there are times you own a generator that can only take one television you add any other thing it will shout outside and stop are we together And yet in the midst of that darkness there are people and their homes that have never had light blink once in this city in this nation there are regions that have never seen a blackout in fact there are children that if there is a ever a blackout they will run away because they wonder what suddenly happened within the same region there was light in Goshen and there was darkness in Egypt The difference is power the difference is power everything God says and everything God desires for the believer has a requisite level of power or empowerment to make it happen 
I define here the power of God as an ability that causes you to get results. The power of God is the ability that causes you to get results. The, the ability that translates dreams and desires to their manifestation. This is very important. You cannot imagine what happens in your life where certain dimensions of God's power comes upon you and their possibilities begin to manifest in your life. The Bible says, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father which is in heaven. I believe in results. I truly believe in results as consolations to our Christian experience. I have taught you here about loving Jesus and giving him everything and loving him beyond things. And that remains true. But let me tell you something. Nobody will be indefinitely committed to anything and anyone without an advantage that you derive from that person. Is that true? Yes, sir. Even for our relationship with Jesus Christ, he didn't just give us this illusion, you just serve me and continue. There are benefits. The psalmist said, bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Help me please. And forget not his benefits. There are benefits. I know you love Nigeria. I know you love the government. But when you go to work at the end of the month, you, you don't know matter what. It's not just thank you, your boss will tell you. There is a salary that is a measure of your value or the, at, at least the ability of the corporation to reward you. And then they give you something. You go back rejoicing. There are preachers who go to preach. We go to preach because we love Jesus. But at the end of it, people will package something small and say, thank you for coming. There are consolations and there are benefits to serving and knowing God. And if you have not received yours, it must land on you this night. In the name of Jesus Christ. Apostle, I love God for who he is. Congratulations, that's a good foundation. But a foundation alone does not produce a house. You need a foundation and a proper building. People sometimes don't even see the foundation. You can't renovate a foundation. A foundation remains strong there, but you need to build something on it. People will not live on the foundation. It's the building. People need to see tokens, consolations to your Christian experience. I'm getting your spirit fired up to be angry with your current level so that when we arise to pray, you must cry like Jabez and say, Lord, change my story. Nothing will change for as long as you forbear with your current level. Everybody shout results. Shout it again. Shout results. One genuine result in the Bible. One genuine result. In Acts chapter 3, they saw the man at Gate Beautiful. And Peter said, silver and gold I do not have. But such as I have, give I unto you. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth, rise up and walk. The Bible says the man got up and walked. In Acts chapter 4, they had to summon them because the ripple effect of that result, it went all over the town and they called them. And when the man went, Peter went with his testimony standing by him. And while he was speaking, the result was there. Shout it again, say result. Your evangelism is powerful if your result is standing with you. Your advancement is powerful if your result is standing with you. And now while I went to, I, I prayed preparing for this miracle service. I always will pray and ask the Lord for the area of focus. I don't just want to carelessly come and waste your time. You know, I've told you, I love you and I honor you and I respect you too much to just arrive and come and say, let's pray. No, I must pray and say, Lord, what do you desire for your people to have? Because his power goes where his word goes. So if you don't find out where his word is going, you cannot find where his power is. And the Lord told me specifically these two areas. First Chronicles chapter 29 and verse 12. Someone's life is about to change. Read it as loud 
as you can ready one to read both riches and honor come from you and thou reignest over all and in thy hand is power and might in thy hand it is to make great and to give strength to all where does riches and honor come from can i tell you it is possible to have riches and not have honor what does it mean to have honor to have honor means to be regarded and to be rewarded to match your true worth if honor is not at work in your life you will be underestimated and undervalued are we together the perception that people have about you will not match the true perception because Solomon had honor when the Queen of Sheba came to him and she saw everything she said half of this was not told me keep that scripture there please 29 12 both riches and honor come from you and thou reignest over them it says in your hand is power and might how many of you believe in prosperity don't feel bad if you don't believe that's all right how many of you believe it is the will of God to prosper you how many of you believe you can do more for the kingdom in the presence of abundance even though some of you the way you are you will backslide when God blesses you but that's why you are in church we are here to help you but how many of you believe in all fairness that many issues in your life will come to a, a, a an end with full stop in front of it when God solves your problem financially how many of you agree that most of what you have written in your prayer request now is largely finances how many of you are honest and will not lie you see ba my dear people listen to me this issue of finance no matter what else goes forward in your life if you are down financially i assure you by the god of heaven you will be limited in a way that will annoy you forever are we together now every time we talk about finances i, I i've told you this that there are two schools of thoughts there are people who are just carnally minded and their their entire scope the scope of their idea about finances is just fueling the lust of the flesh no this is not what we are teaching we are people of intention and mission we know that every time god places resources in your hands it provides the platform for the betterment of your own life and the advancement of your king the, his kingdom we've taken our time to discuss that it is important for you to know the role that the presence and the availability of financial resources can bring to your life there are needless troubles there are needless battles there are needless health concerns there are some of you we keep praying for you all the time because it's not a medical condition what is happening to your health is a reaction of something not all right with your finances I vowed a vow before God I've taught you here that I will never never raise a people who are just spiritually vibrant and then they lack the resources to be able to help them make progress I believe in influence I believe in God coming through for his people I know what it means to be in a state of limitation compromise is easy when you are in the presence of financial limitation let me repeat compromise is very easy when there's financial limitation in your life there are preachers bleeding and crying today simply because of financial resources there are many people who are even more anointed than the joshua selman's greater across but the financial resources that will help them amplify what god has given them is not there there are books that people have within their spirit that can bring revelation to the body of Christ and help us solve areas of ignorance in our spiritual work, but simply because they are limited. You've heard me say the name of Jesus is very heavy. It takes financial resources to lift it up. 
it takes more than desire if you must lift up the name of Jesus to the nations don't let anyone bring you to a point where you downplay the importance of being empowered financially believe me you may act pretend some of you the reason why the teaching on finances or teachings miracle services like this a call to receive this empowerment it doesn't mean much to you is because someone else is giving you from his harvest you've not been exposed to seeing what a have or a lack of harvest from your carelessness of not sowing if somebody can bring a harvest and share with you and so every time they say receive you say no because there is an uncle somewhere i can run to it takes financial resources to bring glory to the name of the lord and i tell you for as long as your heart is open something will come upon your life tonight it says both riches and honor come from you that it is within your power to make great Isaiah chapter 48 and verse 17 Thus saith the Lord thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, I am the Lord thy God which teacheth thee to profit and leadeth thee by the way that you should go. God, listen carefully, God not a job, God not a business, God not an investment. I've taught you here, the foundational law that governs the activation of the blessing of God upon a man's life is that you must come to a point where you acknowledge that all blessings come from God. Blessings don't come from your job, please hear me. Blessings don't come from the investment you are involved with, not kingdom blessings. Blessings does not come from your real estate or whatever it is you are involved with. The challenge with many believers, and that's the reason why we are not able to see the power of God, is that our minds are on the vehicles and the platforms that help us to prosper, not the one who gives the prosperity. The vehicles are only profitable to you when God has authorized it to come to you. Are we together now? It is very important. The Bible says, except the Lord builds a house, they labor in vain that build it. Except the Lord watches over a city. He said the watchmen watch it, but in vain. It is vain to wake up in the morning early and to sleep late at night, only to eat the bread of sorrow. Please look at me. Listen to what I'm teaching you tonight. A life of hustling and running from pillar to post, just depending on a job or depending on a business or depending on some investment to empower you. You can become, your investment can work well for you and one sickness can destroy an investment of 10 years within one month. One arm robber can come and attack you and collect everything you have labored for it is the blessing of the Lord that make it rich let me drum it again to our spirits respectfully ladies and gentlemen do not look at people who are not of faith and say after all they don't love God everybody must bow to something spiritual for authentic and lasting wealth to come let me repeat it just because you were not there when they were bowing does not mean they did not bow. It is impossible to rise beyond a certain threshold of wealth. See, there are levels of wealth when you get to bar. It's not goods and services you sell again. <clears throat> it is your allegiance and your fraternity with the spirit that continues your journey from that point ask any wealthy man some of you here god has granted you the privilege to be millionaires and billionaires you know i'm not lying this away with all that talk that just makes you ignore spirituality out and just believe that it was just brain work if you are convinced that it's only your brain work that took you so far keep watching
there are results that men cannot get there are results that businesses alone cannot produce there are financial results that investments alone cannot produce there are results that businesses and jobs alone cannot produce God's desire tonight is to purify your heart to realign your understanding and then to release something genuine upon your life that you will see changes in your life you will know can I tell you this I want you to make up your mind and believe that God is able to empower you the spirit that makes you have to sit down and wait for others to be blessed for you to eat I cause that spirit this night hallelujah because you see when it has to do with the grace of God everybody can partake of it is that true give us Acts chapter 4 and verse 33 let me show you something the Bible says and with great power gave the apostles witness of the resurrection of the Lord read the remaining part please and great grace was upon how many great grace was upon them all there are certain giftings of the spirit you will say he gave some but when it has to do his with his increasing and his empowerment is in everyone's destiny in Christ great grace was upon them all now let's talk for a few minutes about greatness and we'll begin to pray because God spoke to me most of you have not paid attention to the subject of greatness nor have we been taught the necessity greatness is very powerful to 2019 or 2020 I think around the period of my birthday usually I would take out time to just pray and ask the Lord to give me a prophetic word for the next season of my life and God gave me this scripture and there was a striking difference striking difference between those two three years of my life striking difference Psalm 71 and verse 21. Please read it as a prophetic word to your life. Ready? One to read. Thou shalt increase my greatness and comfort me on every side. One more time. For the last time. What does it mean to be great? To be great means to increase in size. To be great means to increase in size. To be great means to expand beyond your current level. To expand beyond your current level. To be great means to be beyond the ordinary or to be beyond average. To increase in size, to expand beyond your current level. To be great means to be beyond the ordinary or average. When you are above and beyond the ordinary, when you are above average, you are great. What does it mean to be great? To be great means to be important and to be distinguished. That's what it means to be great. To be given a perception of importance and to be distinguished and the Bible tells us that it is in every believers destiny in Christ to be great greatness is not privy to a group of preachers a group of businessmen a group of politicians a group of professionals in Christ everyone is destined for greatness God's servant Bishop David Oedeko will say that there are no low callings in Christ that everyone has been ordained by God for a high calling Genesis chapter 12 from verse 1 and 2 now the Lord had said unto Abraham get thee out of thy country and from thy kindred and from thy father's house unto a land that I will show you let's read verse 2 together ready one to read and I will make of thee a great nation uh-huh and I will bless thee uh-huh and I will make thy name great thou shall be a blessing just stop there what does it mean to be great 
to be great means to rise to a level where your life perpetually becomes and remains a blessing write it down to be great means to rise to a point to rise to a point in life and destiny where you can become and remain a blessing in the kingdom we measure greatness not just by how high you rise but how massive your impact and your contribution as far as being a blessing is concerned to be able to rise to a point where you can become and remain a blessing he said i will make a great nation of you genesis chapter 17 and verse 6 a blessing and a prophetic word that God gave Abraham and I will make thee exceeding fruitful he says and I will make nations of thee and kings shall come out of you do you believe this please hear me everyone at the sound of my voice I don't care how you arrived here by reason of natural descent I don't care how the things and the happenings around your life the kinds and levels and the frequency of failure around your life i'm announcing to you at this miracle service that god still um destines for you to be great to rise to a point where you listen 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 let me tell you something about greatness greatness is also measured by the degree to which your personal goals have been satisfied that you can now turn and focus on lifting others and being a blessing provided you are still at a realm of meeting your needs and trying to make ends meet you are not great are you getting what i'm telling you now that god desires believers that we rise to a point where god would have sorted us left right and center and now you can have the privilege and the convenience to use your influence your intelligence the anointing of god upon your life and then your resources to now begin to reveal jesus to many around you that's greatness unfortunately not many people are ever able to rise to that level because at best most people keep scrounging around the base of destiny fighting with one another in petty jealousy not knowing that everyone has been destined for a glorious life in christ it doesn't matter what background you came from listen carefully it doesn't matter what has worked or what has not worked in your life male or female old or young there is there is potential for greatness in everyone you know, we live in a world where it looks like God particularly handpicked a few people in ministry, handpicked a few people in business, handpicked a few people in politics, and then the remaining keep cheering and admiring. No, that can't be God. Can I tell you this? If all of us in this auditorium and around become great in Christ, it's still will not interrupt anything as far as our personal results are concerned do you agree with me question if god grants you the grace to build your house does it affect my house if god grants you the grace to take your children to good schools does it affect any other person no the idea that just a few people should stand out and the rest keep sharing like like a flock like animals is not a it's a very wrong perception about god the Bible says great grace was upon every one of them. We have a heritage of greatness in Christ. But can I tell you this? It takes the empowerment of the spirit. It takes the empowerment of the spirit to lift people. Like we read in that scripture. It is God that makes great. If God does not lift you, you cannot be lifted. Listen, even principles don't just work on their own. It is the power of God that empowers principles to walk. Principles on their own don't just walk. There is a force from the realm of the spirit that empowers principles. I like to give examples with cooking. Many of us here are good in the kitchen. As you cut your ingredients and mix this and mix that according to the principles, usually that pot is kept on fire. Is that true? something is happening under while you are adding the ingredients 
most of the foods that we eat require fire require cooking to assume the states that we want more than just adherence to principles you must encounter the power that makes for performance can i tell you a majority of what god is going to be doing tonight is empowerment empowerment just placing something on your life placing something on your destiny for some of you adding to what you already have because the validity of what you have is exhausted it's clear in your life now that you have stretched and it is enough more love more power more of you in my life more love more power more of you in my life more love more love more Man of God, you can have a thousand sermons. You need the power of God to produce results. Genuine results. Can I tell you this? With all due respect, I can tell you sincerely, human beings are not stupid. Nobody will come and gather and sit down to listen to you if they know you don't have anything to offer. Human beings are not idiots. They will not shut their shops, leave their homes, take the risk, fly from one nation to the other. Who do you think you are without the power of God? But when that power is there, to the degree that is needed. Mm. To the degree that is needed. To the degree that is needed. Please look up. In Africa and in Nigeria, there are markets that are designated for certain things. Is that true? There's what we call in Abuja here, fish market. Which other one do we have? We have all kinds of markets that focus on certain things. You cannot go to a fish market looking for material, clothes. You most likely may not find it there. But there are malls that they will tell you this is home for everything almost everything you are looking for they call it a one-stop shop for everything for as long as you step in there you go to large malls like dubai malls you can step in there and literally the only thing i'm sure they don't sell there are human beings anything at all people took out time to intelligently make sure that everything is there when you become like that mall you see that so the sick know that if I come, there is something for me. Those who say, I am not sick, but it's just still a place for me. My life is not going forward. There is still something for them. All men seek for you. You must trust God for an encounter with power. Let's stop making noise, giving explanations, wasting help those under the anointing, wasting the time of God's people. It takes power. It takes power. To turn dreams to reality it takes power to bring healing to the sick every testimony that you see here is a product of power the prophecy upon your life is power dependent for its manifestation man of God you must desire the power of God genuine empowerment sincerity of heart is good but it's not enough Don't be like the fig tree that has green leaves and yet no figs. What kind of power are you receiving tonight? Number one, the power to get wealth. There is such a thing as the power to get wealth. But thou shalt remember the Lord thy God for it is he that giveth thee the power some versions say the ability to produce wealth the power to get wealth listen there are ideas that produce wealth 
there is your value that you turn to products and services and sell it to a targeted consumer base to produce wealth but there is the power to prosper the power to get wealth most people have not encountered the power to get wealth most people have ideas that produce wealth most people have skills that produce wealth but you are like that fridge with no light you are like a television that can show different channels but no light more than your skills and beyond your skills it takes the power of the holy spirit why am i telling you this because this is what is going to land on your life this night apostle i have a shop but no customers what is wrong absence of power not absence of products there are clearly products there and it is true that your products are needed there are more than enough people for someone to come there but it takes power the gentleman who said he had a dream he had been building and it got to i think zinking or somewhere linter level and it stopped there for a long time the spirit that brings you close to it and yet you never truly actualize it the power to get wealth god is able to bring power god is able to increase people and then let me tell you this one of the assignments of the power to get wealth number one it is a supernatural empowerment that comes upon you and it will draw people it will draw opportunities and it will draw resources to you but you see the power to get wealth is also the power that opens your eyes to see there is a relationship between prosperity and your sight hear what i'm telling you i want to reveal a mystery for you if your eye is blind you will be poor it says lift up your eyes and see as far as your eyes can see isaiah 45 verse 3 isaiah 45 verse 3 tonight's miracle service was made for you and i will give thee the treasures of darkness question there are treasures but the problem is that they are in a place where there is no light how do you now know that they are there if you do not have the power to see you can pass it and not know if i drop a bundle of money here cash and i off the light and make sure this place is dark you can keep pushing it as many times and yet not see i will give you the treasures of darkness and the hidden riches of secret places that thou mayest know that i the lord which calleth thee by name i am the god of israel the treasures of darkness do you know why god put darkness there so that no one else will see it until the person appointed the treasures of darkness some of you by reason of this impartation you will pass a land you have been looking every day and this time around you say i'm seeing something that no one else is seeing every major business today you see believe me when i tell you it was a treasure in darkness it was always there but the eyes to see the eyes to see the eyes to see the eyes to see if your eye is blind you would stand and weary yourself at the gates of prosperity and not be able to see can i tell you if everybody is seeing what you are seeing they can't reward you for it there is nothing unique when everybody is seeing you can't clap for me for seeing what you are seeing no but if i am seeing what you are not seeing and i can bring it out and make it visible to you then you have to reward me for reaching into darkness with that light the power to prosper can place something on your destiny and you start seeing in a desert you will see an oasis there 
because the veil has been taken away from your eyes please listen to me most of us continue to pass wealth every day but because of the blindness of our sight you can sit down and with the eyes to see God can reveal secrets to you and in one moment look at that gentleman for God's sake he found out that nothing else was working in his life didn't go to school didn't do anything and he just felt Lord what will I what can I do and he went to the field do you know there are many football fields he would have gone to the one where his destiny helper is not he would still be playing football but it takes the eyes to see listen when I pray this prayer you will know who to not relate with and who to relate with because there is Jonah and there is Jesus beware of who is on your boat don't carry Jonah in, the, in a bit to look for Jesus listen carefully you need the seeing eyes businessmen listen to me without the seeing eyes everything looks like white from a distance it's until it comes close you say ah no this is black the seeing eyes satan always comes as an angel of light there are some of you the financial troubles you got into in your life is because of blindness you thought it was this and found out it was not the power to prosper corrects your vision so that you are able to see why am i taking out time to tell you this so that when we start praying you don't just fall and stand for nothing you know what you are receiving the financial testimonies that will arise from tonight's miracle service will bring glory to the name of the lord can i tell you this hear me i'm saying this prophetically you will hear testimonies of nobodies people who as they are standing here they are still surprised by themselves say what has brought me to this realm products of prophecy Do you believe what I'm telling you? Yes, sir. The power to prosper. Man of God, listen to me. If you have the power to heal and the power to do all of these things, if there is no power to prosper on your ministry, you are going to compromise. It's only a matter of time. I assure you, no matter how much a man of integrity you are, the bills of ministry will squeeze you to a point where you will get into things that are not godly. There are many people who started well, but financial pressure pushed them. Remember, I've taught you the scripture. Every time there is hunger, Israel will go to Egypt to look for food. When Satan wants to take you to Egypt, he uses hunger. Because when there is hunger, you will leave the place of covenant and promise to a place of compromise in search for food. Many people have sold their hands today. You see all these are young people who are doing money rituals all around some of those boys were born from christian families don't downplay the hunger of people to feel like their life is making meaning nobody will sit down and keep growing older and their lives at least financially is not making meaning they will join groups they will join all kinds of things somebody needs to arise oh somebody needs to arise you you need to be angry you need to be angry you need to be angry angry at your current level in one minute just pray in the spirit I will see continue but just pray in one minute in the spirit in the name of Jesus hallelujah hear me brothers and sisters remember sir Isaac Newton taught us that anybody will remain in a state of rest or uniform motion it will remain there for as long as it is kept there 
except compelled by an external force to act otherwise that means your destiny will remain where it is until a force from heaven comes to push it listen I came tonight as a prophetic midwife to tell you where you have stand is enough it's enough it's time for you to move for God's sake it is enough in the name of Jesus Christ arise from these ashes it's time for you to fly like the eagle that you are Micah 2 10 give it to us please Micah chapter 2 and verse 10. This is a prophetic word for someone. It just came to my spirit now. Read it from the depth of your heart. Are you ready? One to read. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Because it is polluted, it shall destroy you, even with a sword destruction. If you remain at that level, it will destroy you. Arise, it is not your rest. This is not your place. You are an eagle. Stop dwelling around with chickens. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray this scripture in one minute. Lord, I arise, I arise. It's time to arise. This is not my rest. I arise, I depart from this level. I arise in the name of Jesus. Spiritually, I arise. Financially, I arise. As touching the greatness that you have placed upon my spirit, I arise. Someone pray, this is not my rest. This is not my rest. I refuse to settle for less. Man of God, pray. Thank God for what God has done. So find your ministry, but this is not your rest. Evangelist, pray. This is not your rest. Prophet, pray. Politician, pray. This is not your rest. Professional, pray. This is not your rest. Please pray. This is a miracle service. You are praying yourself to a new level. This is not my rest. in business this is not my rest as touching the call of god what i saw in my vision is yet to happen physically i will give him no rest because this is not my rest financially this is not your rest listen listen look up everybody what does it take to live where you are to the next level on the part of God power on your part anger and hunger two things anger and hunger are required ingredients to break through your current season if you are not angry enough you will remain there giving excuses and if you are not hungry enough you cannot be filled man of God you will remain at that level of the anointing praying for 100 people and having only one person getting healed it won't work that way the nations won't place a demand upon you that way that is the honest truth professional uh -uh. not at that level someone is going to pray father i am tired of this level i am both angry at this level thank you for this level 
but Lord I know that I am overdue when a baby stays more than nine months in his mother's womb he calls for concern when a baby stays in his mother's womb if it is before nine months that's fine the baby has to be patient but above nine months doctors will tell us there is a problem lift your voice and pray bring a performance oh god at another level bring a performance in ministry bring a performance in family bring a performance in my finances bring a performance in my destiny empowerment from heaven the grace that turns dreams to their reality outside are you praying inside are you praying Shata branda gata katosko toprash Ella kata branda zagatish kalika proska sine kata Manda praka toshko dobla zikete breskiya of the Holy Ghost coming upon your life hallelujah hallelujah please listen when God answers your prayer how does he answer it by giving you power God answers prayer by sending power the power that turns that desire to its reality now listen i'm going to pray on your prayer request but before i start ministry you are going to pray on it by yourself and declare that lord in this season this and that and that make your request known as you pray please do not keep quiet And don't say God cannot do it all. Don't entertain unbelief. You don't have to lift it up. Even if it's written somewhere, you just begin to pray. Mention everything by name. Father, it is within your power to make great. It is within your power to prosper. It is within your power to lift. Someone pray. hallelujah please hear me listen carefully please in the name of jesus can i tell you i know definite times in my life where certain levels of empowerment came and i knew the change when we started this work you see and i say this with every sense of responsibility and humility as at the time this work started this thing called the power to get wealth was not there. There were ideas. I was reading materials and learning because I knew that doing ministry with integrity will need resources. And I didn't want to go around inconveniencing people every day. God's people will give, but church can't be about money every time. And then you can't be demanding money from people and not release the grace that empowers them. Do you know, let me tell you, when the anointing of God rests upon people who truly love you and they are blessed, you don't even have to ask them for anything. They will be too grateful to live. They will never allow you to beg for tea and bread. Not within. There are people who have the hearts to give. 
listen something is about to fall here right now that's why i wanted to listen i remember praying and studying i had learned principles and a day came i had to study the life of abraham david and study these people i said i found a missing link i was already anointed though but just because you have the anointing is not like a general purpose tool uh -uh. the anointing is assignment specific the anointing for prosperity will not bring healing no their allocations are different you can have a first aid box with many drugs they are all called drugs you cannot carry the drug for high blood pressure and swallow it for headache you are causing trouble the design they are all drugs you go to a doctor a professional and he will diagnose you oh you have malaria he will give you the drugs for malaria even if you have malaria and another sickness most times doctors will choose which one to treat first when you are fine they will change the drug and treat the other thing many of you have received many impartations you can know the one that is missing this night don't keep quiet but as far as god spoke to me oh this issue of the power to prosper i've done teachings on prosperity many of you have given but i want you to be angry know that god is able to help men you are ebenezer ah. you are ebenezer this i know about the helper of men you are Ebenezer You are Ebenezer Listen You are Ebenezer The lifter of men You are Ebenezer God can help men stop struggling alone You are Ebenezer You are Ebenezer I remember praying and crying to God and say, Lord, this work is enormous. The apostolic and the prophetic ministry requires a lot. Let this grace for God's sake, come upon my life and also come upon this vision. The power to prosper can be on you as a man of God and not be on your ministry. You will prosper while the ministry suffers. The power to prosper can be on the ministry and not on you. The ministry will prosper and leave you to suffer and you will start compromising. Can I tell you this? When that grace came, with all due respect and honor to Jesus, I knew it has come to stay. The Bible says, listen, it says on the day of Pentecost, all of a sudden they saw what looked like cloven tongues and it came and rested or sat. It didn't visit and go back. There are graces that can sit and rest on you. When it stays on you, that is it. I submit to you with all humility every devil and every principality from hell knows that this is a ministry God has held the ministry is not the building the ministry is you and you must answer that name this night in the name of Jesus Christ it does not matter what spirit of poverty has tied down people in your family you saw people educated to phd but they could not build a single house that is a wicked spirit when your level of intellectual investment does not match your financial rewards something is wrong with that equation and then number two we are going to pray that god will move us do you know let me tell you this any sincere man of God who loves his people your greatest joy is not your personal testimony if someone buys me a car today or buys me a plane or builds me a house thank God for all of that but that is not really the testimony I'll come and share here my greatest joy today 
is to sit down and hear people saying i came from a family with nothing serving idols and now i am on fire for jesus loving jesus and see what god has done that's right now that's a testimony you must be a wicked leader to rejoice over your results as above and against the people god has sent you to the real joy of a leader is not his personal testimony but to know that god's people are growing in leaps and bounds can i tell you man of god this may be a secret for you to learn when there are genuine testimonies not stage managed not exaggerated genuine workings of god's power in your ministry it is impossible for that ministry to be empty lord lift me up and let me stand by faith on heaven's stable land a higher place than i have found lord plants my feet on higher ground the last prayer and then it will be a very quick one in this place tonight father i vow that as you cause me to be great it will not distract my work with you rather it will give me an opportunity to serve your purposes lift up your voice and pray that sincere prayer someone is praying pray and let my god surprise you tonight pray and let the one who backs us up surprise you tonight lord that my greatness will not be an interruption to my spiritual life it will not be an interruption to my love and my fire for you that is usually the condition if the nations will see him through your greatness if the nations will know him through your greatness then there is no limits to what he can do if that greatness will not bring pride arrogance Hallelujah. I wish I had the liberty to share some of my testimonies. But sometimes we live in a world where people misunderstand everything men of God say. Once you say A, people will say you said A to Z. And it, it turns out to not even edify people again. But I will tell you one or two. Listen carefully. I remember a time when a real estate company came and met me and they said sir God gave us an instruction that everywhere on earth we build an estate that will build a house for you it's our covenant with God anywhere on earth across the globe for as long as this company exists just know that anywhere you see us building an estate I don't know how many estates they have built now across the world if if you tell me the power to prosper does not work think again hallelujah i remember a company of wealthy people who came and met me and said apostle god said we should make you a non-executive board member of this company what for what do you people do this and that and that and that this is the instruction God gave. So what will be my contribution to your company? That spiritual advantage. You represent the ark of God to our business. I'm sorry, yo. I'm sorry. You see, this is why sometimes some, it's good to say certain things to just help you know that the man standing before you here is not talking nonsense. Let me tell you, if you think this is just a preacher's talk motivating you, think again. I submit to you with all humility what it takes to run koinon, one koinonia service is what many people may use for conferences believe me when I tell you what it takes to run one koinonia service you've never seen anybody come here to cry to manipulate to say this and that 
you see when god sends a word to jacob it lights upon israel we are not the inventors of these things we also received it from the carriers he said go to them that sell and buy hallelujah our world today only wants people to brag once you are bragging and making noise doing a lot of things aha uh -huh. but once you are modest and humble and you live your life with modesty sometimes we say these things not to attract conflict that every devil in hell knows that till Jesus comes this ministry will not know poverty just believe me when I tell you no 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 it's not a prayer point I'm telling you what has happened it will only be from glory to glory it's not pride please I'm sorry if it looks like I'm arrogant I'm only describing for you what must start happening in your life from this night apostle I'm coming from a background where nobody knows me apostle right now as I'm standing here I'm in debt of 1 billion 500 million fine rest you are not the first to get into debt please there are people who have been into debt of billions of dollars and God brought them out find rest can I tell you for anyone who is owing here business is not what you use to solve debt prophecy go and read your Bible every time you are in debt let me save you trouble it's not doing another business that will bring you out it is the power of prophecy alas master for it was borrowed we are here for you come and do what you do we are here for you come and do what you do set our hearts on At the count of three we are going to pray in fact please my people hold your hands let me start with you people this is my dear leaders look at me in the name of Jesus may this power to prosper come on you take that grace right now in the name of Jesus Christ by the power that raised Christ from the dead I release you to strange dimensions of prosperity and increase that people will arise and begin to help you in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead in the name of Jesus be shifted to a new level mysterious dimensions of kingdom wealth even by the power of God now I decree and declare at the count of three I want you to shout Jesus please bring those under the anointing some of you come from families where nobody has risen my God is about to lift you are you ready now father may this anointing this man to come upon your people please bring them out at the count of three one two three shout Jesus take that grace now take that grace now bring them out please take that grace now I lift you by prophecy from where you are I shift you to a new season please help those my God please whether you are an usher or not just help the ushers we have to hurry up now someone's life is changing I don't care what financial situation by the power that raised Christ from the dead such as I have give I unto you step into a new season of prosperity open your mouth and begin to pray open your mouth and begin to pray Lord you are changing my life changing my story please bring them out very quickly let's hurry up if you can as many as you can if you can't bring them out that's all right but we have to hurry up someone pray don't wait till you fall under the anointing open your mouth and begin to pray a renaissance of financial possibilities from your lowly estate my God is lifting you
Hallelujah. Where's Jimmy? Please arrange for him to come and sing that song, The Lifter of Men. Just the chorus. David Dam, you help. Whether it's a guitar or whatever. If the keyboardist cannot play, let someone help him very quickly, please. Please bring them out quickly. Bring them out. My God, something is breaking out here. Outside, inside, those following from any nation, the power of God to lift and to prosper is resting upon you. My story is about to change. You are the lifter of men. The lifter of men. I will. Hear me. Hear me. Some of you, by reason of this anointing, I'm seeing at least 13 people. At least 13 people. At least 13 people. Your destiny is not even in this country. This is what I'm seeing as God is showing me. Right now, that anointing is going to come upon you. Don't ask me how it will happen. Parande shekete balata. I relocate you now by prophecy. Go to your place of prophecy. Go to your place of destiny. I pick you up from where you are. The land where you must prosper. May my God take you there now. May my God take you there now. nation and whichever region where your prosperity is tied I shift you by prophecy go to that region now I release you let the limitations leave you now can I tell you this it is a dangerous thing to be in a place and there are people who are watching me you are outside this nation, but your destiny is in this nation. You are roaming around across the globe and finding out that even when you go to a place of plenty, there is no peace because you must be in your assigned place. I relocate you back to your place of assignment. Can I tell you this? Hear me. Hear me. All through my time of ministry, I'd been in Zaria. I'd become so emotionally connected there. But I knew when the season was done for my assignment there. It was a very difficult thing. But I knew that if I do not move where God is moving, as far as my assignment is concerned. Some of you, this is the simple key you came to receive. You can be roaming about. There are some of you who want to travel abroad. It's not in the blueprint of your destiny. You may visit and come back. But just because you hear that people are roaming around, there are still people suffering in every nation. Don't just emotionally enter the plane and go and die. My life will soon reveal You are the lifter of men Lifter of men I will hold on
hear me? I want to pray for those who are in any kind of financial trouble. Watch the power of prophecy bring you out of any financial situation. Hear me? There are people, some of you are owing. Some of you made careless business decisions. And as it is right now, it is only the God of heaven who can lift you. I've prayed for your spiritual life and I'll pray again. But this night, we want to deal with these things. Some of you are under corporate debt. You may not be the individual in trouble, but you are under corporate debt. Your organization is owing all kinds to the millions and billions. God can help men. Can I pray for you? Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, by this anointing, anyone here who is in any kind of debt or financial situation, personally, corporately, ministries that are owing and are in trouble, businesses that are owing and are in trouble, individuals that are owing and are in trouble, in the name of Jesus Christ, come out of that debt now. Come out of that debt now. By the ministry of destiny help us. Come out of that debt now. Hallelujah. There are spirits that have moved from family to family ensuring everybody remains poor. A family of everyone educated, nobody working. Everyone educated, nobody. The highest salary may be 20,000. Yes, we are grateful, but that cannot be enough. Now I want to pray. Fire will come upon you. God is going to set you free. Because there are many, hear me. Your salvation tonight is not just for you alone. It's for your family members. There are many of you. I decree and declare. Any family here under a spiritual yoke. Maybe something happened in time past. And a cause or a pronouncement was made over your family. That keeps recycling poverty and financial struggles. Right now at the count of three. Please bring them under the anointing. As you shout Jesus, that altar will catch fire now. Please bring them out. Are you ready? One, two, three, shout Jesus. I break financial yokes. Please bring them out. I break financial yokes. Every spirit recycling patterns of poverty. Every spirit. Whether you are an usher or not, please help those under the anointing. Every spirit, outside, inside, following online, responsible for lack and poverty and want, as the church of the Lord Jesus Christ, and by the blood of the eternal covenant, we set you free tonight. 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 Free tonight. Open your mouth in one minute and begin to pray. I release myself from every embargo. Someone pray. I decree and declare a prophetic release. Every embargo, every yoke, it tied down my father. It tied down my grandfather. It tied down wicked people. I am a righteous man in Christ. And I decree and declare that by the blood of the eternal covenant, I appropriate my healing and my deliverance. One more minute, you are praying. I break free from this embargo. I break free from this embargo. I break free from this embargo. I break free. Financial embargo, I cost you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please look up. By the privilege of God's grace, I've had the honor of meeting and learning from extremely wealthy people. Extremely wealthy people. I am not in ignorance. I submit to you by the privilege of God's grace. 
as to the financial principles and the systems that make for the blessing this prayer and this miracle service is by no means excusing your your fortitude to comply with financial principles that bless you but let me tell you something and let me teach you something there are only two ways financial resources will enter your life only two ways number one value that is exchanged number two favor that is it there is no other way financial resources will enter your pocket your value packaged and turned into products and services garnished with excellence and served to a cons a targeted consumer base that's what you call business that is one dimension but then the other is called favor i want to show you how god restored job job 42 verse 10 my life will soon reveal you are the lifter of men the lifter of men i will hold on through the storm this is for someone i will hold on through the rain my life will soon reveal you are the lifter of men lifter of sing it one more time as a prophecy that i will hold on to the storm ah. i will hold on to the rain my life will soon reveal you are the lifter of men the lifter of men can i tell you this there is no one here under the sound of my voice or will there ever be whose situation is worse than that of Job. Let me show you what God can do. And the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. Also, the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had. Thank God for that, but we want to know how it happened. Are you ready? Next verse. Verse 11. <laughs> Read with me if you're a Christian. One to read. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Are you seeing how God restored him? Number one, then came to him all his brethren. Every next level and finances you are trusting God for is in the hands of men. Until the men come, you cannot get what is in their hands. It says, then there came unto him. Where were they when he was crying? The Bible says God turn. So how does God turn? He places something upon your life that will start compelling people to start coming. There came unto him his brethren and all his sisters and they that had been of his acquaintance before. They were the ones that made him prosper before. That means how did poverty come to his life? Something was taken away from him and everybody left physically. How did God restore it? Something came. I'm, I'm showing you because it's something is about to come on you now. Please read it. Are you ready? One to read. Then came there unto him all his brethren, uh -huh, and all his sisters, and they that had been of his acquaintance before, and did eat bread with him in his house, and they bemoaned him, and comforted him over all the evil, that the Lord had brought upon him. Now, here's the secret. Read. And every man. How many men? There is something that comes on you that makes every man bless you. Not just those who do business with you. Every man. Every man. Read on, please. One to go. Every man also gave him a piece of money and everyone an earring of gold. Can I tell you this? Some of you have gone through serious financial hardship. God organized this miracle service to bring financial healing, to bring financial deliverance. And I'm showing you how it happened. Because we are going to pray now. I've taught you the ministry of destiny helpers. These are men anointed, commissioned by God to pay attention to your destiny. Not everyone is a destroyer. There are people who can enter your life like they entered the life of that my gentleman and turn his life around. Who would have told him 
that a year before or two years before there were people in that football field before he came it is what is on you that controls what is around you every man gave him a piece of money every man gave him a piece of money and everyone an earring of gold father who have you anointed in this season to hold my hands and move me to the next financial level i declare place the grace upon my life that will bring them to my destiny open your mouth and pray place that grace this is a miracle service make sure you are praying Place that grace upon my life, oh God, that will compel the helpers of my destiny to attend to me. Place that grace upon my life. Forget about where you are being. Pray. pray I will hold on through the storm I will hold on to your word my story is about to change you are the lifter of men the lifter of men Lord I will hold on to the storm I will hold on to your word My life will soon reveal You are the lifter of men Hear me, believers, in the name of Jesus Please listen to me I submit to you by God That there are more than enough people in any city to be used by God to lift you nobody will come and lift you on their own I've told you this there is the power that rests upon your head thou anointest my head with oil my cup run it over in this kingdom who hates you does not matter but who likes you matters please place your hand on your head Just place your hand on your head father this is a miracle service where you are sorting people financially once and for all my God and my king upon every head right here inside all the overflows outside I am praying Lord the grace that must rest upon them that will compel the helpers of destiny to gravitate towards them in the name of Jesus may that anointing rest upon you now may that anointing rest upon you now in the name of Jesus hallelujah please put down your hands who is Christy I'm hearing the name Christy my assignment tonight is to deal with the issues Christy who is that where are you coming from I want to pray for you I presume there may be many Christies or your life is about to change and in case I'm prophesying to people you open your heart and receive what God says to one he says to all are we together I don't mean to embarrass you but please hear me there's a prophetic word I won't ask the person to come out for social reasons there is a lady here a man kept you in a house 
Let's, hold on now. Let me finish the prophecy. You don't know what I'm about to say. Just hold on. Let's be patient and let prophecy finish before so that you don't answer yes to something that a man kept you in a house. Listen to me. That man is married with his wife, but he kept you in a house somewhere. You are in, in a relationship with the man and he kept you in a house somewhere. I want you to know that that man is going to destroy you. He has lied to you and made you believe that if he does not help you, where will you get help? I'm advising you in this miracle service in the name of Jesus and with every sense of responsibility. I know it is not easy. It's easy to tell people you are working in this and that. You must be ready to help people when you want them to make that decision. But let me tell you, whoever that person is, I'm speaking to you by the Spirit. I want you to pack out of that place because with what I'm seeing, that man did not just keep you there. There is something occultic that he's doing there. You hear what I'm saying? I'm speaking to you by the Spirit of God. Back out of there, he may be giving you 10 naira, but he's taking the glory of what 2 million from you. And we have to be careful as believers. Sometimes, you know why it is important to empower believers like this? Because if we don't empower believers, when people are desperate, they will do anything for money. They will come to church and remove the 10% and drop it. But they know where they got it from. So it's not enough to just criticize people and say you are this, you are following men, you are following women, you are following whatever. No, 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 no. We have to empower people first. Then we'll tell them this is how it is done in the kingdom. There are many parents today who are enjoying a lot of financial blessings from their children and dancing and they do not know the dirty and demonic things their children are doing to bring money. And it's easy to insult them like we always like doing in church. When we hear of people's situations who are not rational to sit down and think and approach it from a heart of love. God brought you people out here by his spirit. I want to pray for you. Madam, your suffering has come to an end this night. Please leave her. Careful, careful so you don't injure her. I know what I just saw. I want to pray for her. Hi. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. You see, let me tell you something, my dear people. For as long as God brought you here this night, I assure you by God that the power that will stop you from receiving your testimony is not in existence. I'm looking at this woman in a vision and I'm seeing a woman suffering, bad luck. Anybody that says he will bless this woman, something must happen to them and they will neglect them. If there is anybody like that, people keep making promises. Tomorrow they will say, next week they will say, whatever is stopping them from reaching out to you, I cause it to his root in the name of Jesus. I cause it to his root in the name of Jesus. hallelujah please don't 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 I, I don't want you to feel offended the, may God bless you madam I want to pray for you I'm seeing a woman you are a widow oh dear this woman has suffered oh this woman you are a widow and if I don't pray for you it's nothing at all is coming from anyone it's as if you don't have children it's as if nothing is happening. You are, you are quite an aged woman. I don't know who that person is. The Lord is asking me to call that person and let me pray for that person. You are a woman, an elderly woman. You are a widow, but honestly, as it is sincerely, that you love God sincerely, but absolutely nothing is happening. This woman I'm seeing, I know you came out, but I'm seeing this woman at the overflow outside. The overflow outside. The overflow outside I'm not just praying for every widow of course I will pray for you if you come out but the particular person I want to pray for you are outside father you are the God that can open every door there is no mystery as to how finances come it is not magic it will always happen through men the Bible says good measure pressed down shaken together running over shall men give shall men give the Lord called that name Christy and I want to pray for you for some of you you are standing as altars over your family 
because God wants to wipe the tears of your family in the name of Jesus Christ the power of God will come on you right now and believe me the only thing that will bring you upstage here after this prayer is your testimony therefore I stretch my hands right now every embargo up over your finances an anointing is coming on you right now release them now in the name of Jesus Christ release them now in the name of Jesus Christ release them now in the name of Jesus Christ release them now in the name of Jesus I open this door in the spirit and I declare walk into your high places in the mighty name of Jesus Christ hallelujah the Lord is showing me a family here you are owing medical bills you are owing as I'm speaking now you are owing medical bills even to the millions you are owing medical bills I don't know who that person is whether you are watching online or you are here it's like there's somebody let me tell you this I'm going to pray for the sick shortly do you know that many manifestations of sickness is actually an attack on your finances it's not about the sickness because there is a relationship between your health and your wealth the sicker you are the more your finances will tell to so when satan wants to attack your finances one of the ways he does is to plant a mysterious sickness it will not go up it will not go down it will remain there and keep eating finances if there is anything i know that can destroy finances overnight is health no matter how wealthy you think you are pray that you are not plagued or somebody around you plagued there are people who spend as much as a million naira every week to be alive if you have saved even if it's hundred million in how long we would have depleted everything people have had to sell their houses because of finances people have had to sell everything they spent their life building hear me God is able to lift you from that yoke I will be praying for we are not going to take testimonies that our time is gone we may not take testimonies of people to pray tonight I want to deal because we've not even gotten to greatness I must spend the next 15 minutes and flood this thing out it must step over your life honor and greatness we are dealing with finances Say to those that are fearful hearted, do not be afraid. It's a word of comfort to somebody. The Lord your God is strong and in his mighty hands when you call on his name. Mm. He will come and save you. He will come and save you. He will come and save you. Say to the weary ones, Your God will surely come. He will come and save you. My God will come and save you. He will come and save you. For those of you who are here, the, 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 the wither that came. Now, let me tell you this. Do you know, any day you see any widow or someone who is genuinely bereaved and incapacitated, even if it is 10 naira you can give them, it is a blessing unto God. You see that? Remember the widow at Nain? She had lost all the men in her life. Her husband, a symbol of her strength and defense, had gone. And now her child, who represented her future, was also gone. When Jesus saw her condition, he said, no, we can't leave you this way. And he brought up the child. Nobody prays to lose anyone. But if and when it happens, it is important to stand with them and stand by them to pray. 
God is able to help. We can't promise you that every day everybody will be giving you money, but we can promise you that something can be placed upon your life that will insist and ensure that you are not left without help. Let me pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. My dear, look at me. You are a widow. You are standing for who? Your mom. Where is she? Don't cry. Jesus is able to help you. You see, let me tell you this. You can't comfort people who mourn when your hand is empty. I hope you know that. Because after you pray for them and do whatever you do, some of them will stand and they're expecting that even if it's 10 naira, you put something in their pocket. And it's easy for us to make a lot of noise in church and talk and say this and that and that, God will do it. You must reject poverty in your life. There's no reason why you should remain the way you are, not after this miracle service. Father, I pray for these ones. You are the only one who knows how it feels, oh God. But in the name of Jesus, by your spirit, you call them out to change their lives. And I pray right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, Turn their lives around release that grace upon them your physical husbands may have gone but may God become that husband for you and ensure that your needs are supplied to the latter in the name of Jesus I decree and declare that the hand of God rests upon your life I don't know but I just feel in my heart to say this and I say it respectfully anyone here who is a widow or who has lost a loved one and there are people who are troubling you in the name of Jesus Christ we agree right now may the troublers of your destiny go now now you see anybody who troubles a woman who does not have strength on her own under normal circumstances must be a wicked person Don't cry. In the name of Jesus, I'm praying again. Anyone who is troubling you, maybe something you labored with your husband to get, and now just because he's gone, people are bullying you and bringing all kinds of trouble. I stand by the apostolic and the prophetic. I decree and declare, may your troublers depart from you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ by the power that raised Christ from the dead I use this once in front to pray for every other person and I decree in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God that anyone who is troubling any widow here I will not let her have peace except otherwise but I pray that if the fault is not from them may God show them mercy immediately In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I pray that every man destined and appointed by God to hold your hands, no matter who and what you have lost, especially your husbands, I pray for you. May God raise genuine people with no strings attached who will hold your hands and see that you don't cry again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Let's celebrate them as they go. God bless you. You will return with testimonies. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Are you ready for the next prayer? To be great means to live where you are and go to the next level of your life. To be great means to rise to a point where you can also be a blessing. You can't always be the one looking up. You need to rise to a point where you can look down and reach to others. Father, whatever it takes for my greatness, release it upon me. Someone lift your voice and pray. Don't be tired. Tonight is a good bargain. Tonight is a good bargain by the Spirit. Go ahead and pray. Lord, whatever it takes, finance, influence, relationships, results, opportunities, Release it upon my life. Release it upon my life. Release it upon my life.
release it upon my life release it upon my life hallelujah hallelujah please look up god is able to make people great from where they are to the next level genesis 26 13. give us new king james version please if you can nkjv read with me ready one to read and the man began to prosper and continued prospering until he became very prosperous verse 14 hmm. for he had possessions of flocks and possessions of herds and a great number of servants so the philistines envied him next verse 15 Hold on, hold on, hold on. Go back to King James now. I want to show you something because there is a name God is about to call someone. For all the wells which his father's servants had digged in the days of Abraham, his father. So the man had struggles. The Bible takes out time to tell you he did not just become very great like that. There were struggles. They dug a well, the Philistines had stopped them and filled it with the earth. 16. And Abimelech said unto Isaac, he said, Go from us, for thou art much mightier than we. When you read the verses after, for the sake of time, it will tell you that he dug a well and they covered it. He named it. He dug a well, they covered it. And the third one, they left him and he called it Rehoboth. He says, For God has given me my own space. My own space my own space i want to pray for you the grace for greatness is a real grace read your bible look at abraham read your bible look at sarah read your bible look at esther read your bible joshua gideon ordinary people you can start from where you are but you should not remain there you must rise for the bible declares that the path of the just is as a shining light that shines ever brighter even unto the perfect day what is greatness to be elevated to a position in life and destiny where you enjoy the blessings of productivity the blessings of influence and now you can reach down to people and also be a blessing to them in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed if that happens to you that is the epitome of greatness god wants to set us free from this life of always hoping that someone will rise and help you it is in your destiny to rise too i want to speak over your life do you believe in the power of prophecy Bazanji kunyaba Mete me kona Mete me kona Bazanji soro Bazanji kunyaba When God makes you very great, listen to me. There are many quarrels and there are many issues that are unnecessary. Can I tell you? When Joseph became great, it was easy to forgive his brothers. There are many family problems. There are many extended age-long problems that become unnecessary when you become great. If they had come to meet a struggling Jacob, uh, uh, Joseph in Egypt, 
he will tell them you are wicked and evil people can i tell you many hearts and pain you are carrying in your heart is because you have not been consoled by greatness there is a way god lifts you it becomes unnecessary to discuss the past again did you hear what i said one of the ways god heals you from the past is to make you higher than that realm by far so that the issue of money of 1995 the issue of insulting you of two times it just becomes great people have little worries because god has so consoled them in the name of jesus the anointing that it takes to rise from where you are right now to the highest level of your call of your destiny of your business of your ministry by the power that raised christ from the dead please hear me i speak it to you in the name of jesus christ may that mantle like the dew of hammon let it rest upon you now let it rest upon you now the lifting power of god let it rest upon you now can i tell you this you will be 10 times greater than your contemporaries i say it again you will be 10 times greater than your contemporaries even in all age i prophesy to you you will be 10 times greater than your contemporaries hear me anyone here overdue for promotion and either by tribal sentiments or religion you have not been lifted i stand by the god of heaven and i decree between now and the next three months rise to the position that is due you now hear me one of the reasons why people do not rise to that position of greatness is because the people who are sitting there have not stood up can you hear me for as long as Vashti is still sitting, Esther cannot be enthroned. For as long, the Bible never tells us whoever was sitting on Joseph's position. Either a space is created or the wrong people there must vacate it for you. In any case, and by all means, I prophesy to you that anyone sitting on your seat of glory, right now by the power that raised Christ from the dead, I overturn. I overturn, I overturn, I overturn, I overturn, I overturn, I overturn in business, I overturn in ministry, I overturn, I overturn, I overturn, I overturn, I overturn, I overturn until you sit there in the name of Jesus Christ. And anywhere you must get to that they say there is no space by prophecy I shift the space left and right and create a place for you I say it again I shift the space left and right politicians business people professionals we create a space of relevance for you I will hold on through the storms And I will hold on to your word My life will soon reveal You're the lifter of men Don't be tired Every word I speak is placing something on your head night could not King Ahasuerus sleep hear me there are many people whose lives you have helped but there is a spirit that came upon them to give what is supposed to be to you to another person and you keep wondering how do I keep helping people some of you are not lazy you have helped many people in this nation in this city can I tell you this please look up 
one day i was reading the story of naman and the bible tells us that a little slave girl who served his wife came and talked she spoke to him it was based on her recommendation and persuasion that the man went down to write a letter to the king and finally meet elijah hold on the bible says when he found out he had been healed he carried gifts is that true he carried gifts because you didn't come to see a prophet empty-handed he carried gifts and he took to elisha elisha rejected the gift and just healed him and gehazi unfortunately out of a life of compromise and dishonesty got into trouble the bible never shows us the gift he took to the slave girl i see the gift you took to the prophet who helped you but where is the gift of the slave girl whose persuasion was the one why you were healed there are many 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 people here you are the one that even brought so many people to koinonia here some of them have testified but where is yours that book of remembrance must be opened now hear me please receive this very prayer the bible says mordecai heard a few people who were conspiring because his assignment was to be a watcher at the gate and he found out that there were people who were plotting to kill the king to kill a king that controls 127 provinces you must be wicked people and he revealed that plot and the people were hung in the gallows and it was documented but he was not rewarded and the bible says when his season had come that night just like this night let me say it again that night just like this night the king could not sleep and the king said bring me the chronicles and they opened it where the archives of people who did good you know my bible says withhold not good from them that it is due when it is within your power do not tell them go and come tomorrow when you can do it now it was within the power of the king to honor Mordecai but there had to be a spirit sponsored by the man Haman but that night when he opened the Chronicles he said read it for me and he found there the good works of Mordecai let me speak to someone even if it was 10 years ago it was written did you hear what I said even if it was 10 years ago you helped for every time you help someone know Jesus for every time you help someone find salvation you help someone maybe get a job it was written and under a certain condition the book can be opened and he said what has been done to this man they said nothing he said who is in the chamber a man was there and they called him he said Haman what shall I do to a man whom my heart delights to honor and foolish Haman thought it was him so he decided to describe an elaborate system of honor that the king would take his robe and put it on such a man and he will ride upon the king's horse all through the cities and somebody will be escorting him and shouting bow the knee he said this is what should be done to the man that the king has honored he said quickly make sure none of these words fail go and do the same to Mordecai I want to declare to somebody while you are in church here may God open the book and cause people to start discussing how to lift you let me say it again while you are in the house of God here may somebody somewhere in Abuja in Lagos in London in US in the name of Jesus Christ may they wake up from sleep God will wake them and seize their sleep and open up the file of your kindness and remind them and insist that you are blessed I prophesy this in the name of Jesus hallelujah something very interesting happened not too long ago a man of God called me and he said apostle you came over to our church to preach this was sometime last year and he said um, just to let you know that since that time we have been putting some seeds together months after you had come and gone there were people who said the Lord instructed them that they sow into your life and we had been collating those seeds 
and he said man of god we're joking with him he said i'm surprised can you imagine this that people will keep coming with seeds and i told him i was going to tell him okay god bless you just take the seed he said no whatever grace that made these people months after you had left our church i am the pastor in this church oh you see a similar thing had happened to another pastor a great friend of mine that i went to preach for somebody now called him and said please do you have apostles account number the person said what for he said i want to bless him and the only person i can remember is you and he called me and we're joking he said how can a man call me i'm a man of god too and be asking me of another man's account number and i sent it to him and he made a transfer as if i'm not there and we were just joking and laughing very good man but i thought about it it's terrible for blessings to pass through you to others and yet nothing stops for you every time people want to bless others you are the middleman you are the one who connects people who will now connect to your own in the name of jesus yours will not pass you by in the name of jesus yours will not pass you by your job will not pass you by your increase will not pass you by in the name of jesus hear me let me bring a word of comfort for some of you can i tell you the kindness you have been showing people has been building a house that you don't know of so that when it is time they will just bring you the key to a house that is already built i'm saying this like a joke but you'll be surprised and you will ask yourself when did i build this and god will say for every kindness for every act of love for every prayer for every intercession you were adding one block upon another let me prophesy to you again there are things that because you have made happen for others you will not struggle over to happen in your life in the name of jesus christ now place your hand if you're trusting god for healing i'll just speak over your life and then if you are yet to submit the prayer request let's do it fast those who are yet to submit the prayer request please ushers inside outside station it very quickly let's let's redeem the time i'm going to speak over your life tonight's service is dedicated to our finances and increase as god revealed but i'm still going to minister i know that there are people who came with all kinds of sicknesses and diseases the bible says and as he taught the power of god was present to heal place your hand on your chest or wherever you are trusting god for and i'm going to pray for you i will praise the lamb of god who sits upon the throne i will worship him and give a praise to him alone he who was and is and is to come, I will sing before his throne forever. Now in the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare, every spirit of infirmity, I command by the power that raised Christ from the dead, it leaves your body now. Yeah. By the blood that was shed on Calvary's tree, and by the eternal sacrifice of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, I decree and declare right now, let the power of resurrection touch your body. Yeah. The power of God is touching you right now. Be healed in Jesus' name. Yeah. Back pain, be healed in Jesus' name. Yeah. Headaches, be healed in Jesus' name. Yeah. Please help them. Blindness, be healed in Jesus' name growth in any part of your body dissolve now in Jesus name ear conditions be healed in Jesus name cardiovascular conditions be healed in Jesus name arthritis of all sorts be healed in Jesus name peptic ulcer be healed in Jesus name heart conditions be healed in Jesus name HIV be healed in Jesus name cancers be healed in Jesus name diabetes be healed in Jesus name respiratory conditions be healed in the name of Jesus Uni urinary conditions be healed in Jesus name bone conditions
be healed in Jesus name there's someone I'm seeing in a vision um, there's this thing the medical people call cholesterol you have an extremely high level it's not about weight for some reason and if I don't pray for you now with what I'm seeing it may kill you in the name of Jesus you need to seek medical attention whoever that person is please seek medical attention but I'm still going to pray for you in the name of Jesus by the mercies of God you will not die you will not die supernaturally may the Lord help you high BP goes down now in the name of Jesus swellings unusual swellings across your body from your head to your toe I declare be healed now there's someone always dreaming of death even if it's just a little nap you take you must have this dream of death in the name of Jesus I curse that spirit now now whether I mention your case or not in the name of Jesus the son of the living God be healed now tonight we may not have the time to come and take testimonies because of what we took our time to deal with but please whether right now or after the service make sure you check yourself and some of you may need to visit the doctors you may need to visit our medical stand when you find out that you have been healed do well to register your testimony through our media department or you can even go to the PR stand afterwards and we'll give you an opportunity to share it in any of the services now stretch your hands please it's time to pray the general prayer over the request please if there are more requests let's do it very quickly stretch your hands remember this is I, I love to pray on our request because it is the most accurate representation of your desires the Bible says be anxious for nothing it says but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your request be made known unto God is someone stretching his hand here I will kneel you can do the standing let me kneel and pray over this in one minute I'd like you to stretch your hands and begin to declare father you have visited me and the testimony will return back to me go ahead and pray in the name of Jesus Christ father in the name of Jesus Christ we decree and declare somebody is praying Embra basa zikete prashke dilas manda brando so so preketishkalia. Father, in the name of Jesus, visit your people. May they know that you are the God of the universe. Grant results, grant results, oh God, that by miracle service may they will only return with testimonies. Grant results, strange results, even by the Spirit of God. Is someone praying? We decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit. We decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit. We decree and declare strange visitations, supernatural encounters, turnarounds by the Spirit.
there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. That's what God is asking someone tonight. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. Is there anything too hard for me to do? Father, I bow my knees to you because you hear me when I pray and I thank you because the Bible declares that this is the confidence that we have in you that when we ask anything in accordance to your will you hear us therefore Lord I bow my knees over these requests kneeling on these requests requests that represent pain expectations disappointments prayer secret tears many tears repeated tears for some lord i cry unto you the god of heaven may your power rest upon this request and lord i pray that every single request here and those who are connecting online across the globe some hearts bleeding some hearts crying some hearts in desperate expectation for some of you your prayer requests here have time timing to it for some of you if the answers don't come by tomorrow it can affect you i pray and i call upon my god this night may he visit you from america to europe to asia to africa Nigeria here, Abuja, Lagos, Jos, Port Harcourt, Enugu, the Northeast, all the six geopolitical zones, and even here in FCT. In the name of Jesus, may the angels of the Lord be dispatched to all these regions. Taking, taking fearful answers to you. Every human agent who must partner with God, for these requests to be granted answers we compel their ministry now and every force of darkness fighting the answers here in the name of jesus we terminate their ministry therefore in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit i decree and declare supernatural answers to these prayers in jesus name i pray 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 for some of you since you were part of this ministry you have never stood here to testify I decree and declare next week the stage is open for you I say it again next week the stage is open for you some of you may say apostle i'm a shy person it depends on what happened to you may god give you the testimony that you will be too grateful to sit back there in the name of jesus christ some of you will not just come here and stand alone it's the whole family that will come and stand because everybody would have received the testimony in jesus name i pray amen and amen apostle i need jesus I need him quick I need him now there are people who are saying I came here I was introduced by a friend to come here to koinonia and now I am here I have seen the power of God but I confess that I do not want to go back without Jesus let's minimize movement and just allow a minute or two so that we honor the altar call there are others who are saying apostle I remember giving my heart to the Lord but as it is honestly my life has gone haywire i need restoration to my christian life 
now for those who are in this auditorium across the balcony and those outside i'm going to make this call right now very quickly we have a minute for you wherever you are don't be ashamed don't be afraid i want you to leave your seat and come and stand here as i count five you want me to pray with you you want to make it right with jesus that at the end of your days it will not just be that you came and you prospered and you received i will count one to five there has to be somebody coming to jesus and you want to rededicate your life join them i'll begin my counting now and all the other other overflows please very quickly you come and stand in front of your projector uh, screens or your leds and then um you receive this prayer are you ready one let's celebrate them as they come two somebody is coming to jesus the God of all flesh is giving you a new beginning. Don't be ashamed. Come to Jesus. He will give you a new beginning. Are you celebrating them? Please ce celebrate them as they come. Three. Apostle, I came here. I can't say I'm a sinner, but I cannot honestly say I'm saved. Join them. You can join them and be sure. Run like there's fire on the mountain. Join them and be sure of your salvation right now. There is such a thing as the assurance of salvation. You can know that you know that you know that you are saved. Are there still people coming? Win that war tonight. Run to Jesus. He'll give you a new beginning. Hallelujah. Thank you for the courage to come. Koinonia, one more time, let's celebrate them. Hallelujah. Thank you very much for the courage to step out. Every time we come to Jesus, we are assured of one thing that he will in no wise cast us away. Lift your right hand high above your head and please say this after me. Let it be loud and clear from the depth of your heart. Say, Lord Jesus, tonight I have seen your power. I have heard your word. I know you desire to lift me. So I come to you just as I am, unable to help myself. I believe that you died for me I believe that you rose again for my justification right now I confess that you are my Savior I confess that you are my Lord I confess that you are my King I receive eternal life into my spirit and I declare that the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over my life from tonight i go from glory to glory and grace to grace i'm a child of god amen keep your hands lifted father thank you for these ones you have brought to yourself the bible declares that as many who will come to him he will in no wise cast away i declare a supernatural miracle upon every one of you right now in the name of jesus even as you have confessed you are recipients of eternal life you go from glory to glory from grace to grace in jesus name i pray amen and amen thank you for making this bold decision may i request that you move to my right the counselors waving their hands to you let's celebrate them as they come as they go god bless you thank you very much please all of you let's celebrate them as they go they'll have a word with you and then you'll be back to your seat god bless you please Let's celebrate them very quickly. Hallelujah. Now, let me say this before we wrap up. I want to encourage everyone, even though I know that we've exhausted this facility inside, outside, everywhere. There are still so many people who need to encounter Jesus Christ, encounter his power, and encounter the, the methodical mentorship that the communication of doctrine brings. There are people who need to grow. There are people who need to meet Jesus. There are people who need empowerment. Let me encourage you. Please make it a point of duty. Everyone who is part of this ministry globally is an evangelist. And you owe a responsibility whether online or offline. 
don't say we have exhausted this facility there are even if there are 15 20 000 people it is still not enough relative to the souls it's not just about the size of people that show that a man is a great man for as long as there is one soul out there who is yet to be saved for as long as there is one soul out there whose life is confused not knowing the ways of the kingdom we owe it to do the work of an evangelist make it a point of duty that you don't come to church alone come with your family members come with your friends come with those you do not know let them know that jesus saves let them know that jesus heals let them know that there is a home for them where their spiritual understanding can be upgraded where they can receive the accurate communication of doctrine do not neglect the gathering of the saints but then don't come alone let others to come he said for this promise is unto you and to your children as many as are far off hallelujah so let it be part of our kingdom responsibility as responsible people in this ministry to make sure that the work of evangelism in gathering and giving people an opportunity to be mentored to grow it is a corporate responsibility of everyone the lord will grant us grace in Jesus' name I pray. Let's rise up as we close. After the grace, I'd like you to greet someone by your left and right on your way out. I decree and declare that your week beginning is blessed. This grace you have received will start speaking immediately. And you will only return with your testimonies. In the name of Jesus, the Lord preserve you, preserve you spirit, soul, and body. In the name of Jesus Christ, let it be a profitable week for you. In Jesus' name I pray. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, rest and abide with us now and forever. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives as we dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. God bless you and see you on Sunday.
got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching. In the name of Jesus, drought in your life, that even when it is physical rainy season, it is still dry season spiritually, financially and otherwise. I decree and declare, let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain.